to rent projector and speakers. Sick. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, um, for the benefit of chat, that's kind of the big financial, not stumbling block, but like the big kind of financial step that we're taking right now is um, trying to raise funds, hopefully for SudokuCon to kind of own its own tech, um, just because we can get better stuff for cheaper overall long term if we do that rather than renting. I mean, there's also easily the possibility of kind of renting the first year and then building up our own stockpile of tech equipment, but we would love to be able to do this kind of like more efficiently and be able to do like a really good stream for you from the event. And yeah, one of the big ones is having a projector um, for people who are giving talks and everything. Okay, here's a point. Rank mm -hmm. two can't start with a two because that can't be a two. That's true. Rank two does not start with a two. Oh, this is so cool. This is very cleverly set. This is very cleverly set. Rank three does not start with a three. <laughs> That's also true, yeah. So ranks three through six all start with fours and fives. That's amazing. So either doesn't that mean we either have rank four starting with a four or rank five starting with a five? Um, yeah, that's correct. So we know that the diagonal arrow is either rank four or five. Whoa. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. That is very cool. Okay, this, this I think has been elevated to my favorite of the stream. Like, no shade against any of the other players. <laughs> a lot of them have been absolute bangers. And I mean, even the bad ones have been good. But this is really cool. Oh, and the pedaling pianist is here watching, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm really glad that you're here. I apologize and for. Phil and Philip is playing Gas Mad Libs in our chat, too, which, Philip, I, I encourage <laughs> your behavior. Apologies for bashing the rules earlier. This is absolutely the way to go. Yeah, this what is a gorgeous. cool idea. Yeah. So this is just a small thing, but rank one can't be five because we definitely have at least two that share space. Two definitely. whose tens digits share a house. So ah, rank yeah. One can't be five. Nice. Because then they would all have to be equal. And I would guess that rank one probably also can't be four. Possibly. Okay, we I mean, definitely. It seems unlikely. Surely we can't have five fives. Uh, that's correct because there are two pairs that share space. In fact, this guy can't even be a five, so it would oh, have well, to be duh, those. Yeah, yeah so, we can't have five fives. So that means we can't have four fives, right? Um, can we? Because this can't be a five. No, we can't. We can't. You're right. We can't have four fives. So that means that rank three starts with a four. It does. <laughs> For what it's okay. worth. Okay. Okay then. So that's... that could be three four. Oh. That could be three four. Yeah, there's options for that. Oh, but. Yeah, Paul that... Fly is reminding okay. us there are three pairs. I kept thinking there were just two pairs that kind of shared a house with the ten digits, but there are actually three. That's true. You're correct. Oh, that also means we can't have. Four fours, right? Because um, one four yeah, there, one four there, and yep. one four there. And that's... Have four fours, so so six starts five. with five. Yep. Absolutely correct. Which means this is not rank six. Hey, GeoGolf. Welcome. Glad you're here. I hope they're not traditional full rank puzzles. I hope they're more like this stuff, because this is very cool. I kind of love traditional full rank, too. But yeah, this is very exciting. Traditional full rank is a lot of bookkeeping. That's true. I guess this is some bookkeeping, too, but it's novel bookkeeping, which makes it cool. Mm kind of holds the interest a little better. I yeah. Agree. 
Yeah, Pedaling Pianist says that those those puzzles that Ratfinks mentioned are for the full rank super fans, which <laughs> they are out there. I'm not sure that I'm one of them, but they are out there. I guess I, I'm, I'm kind of a casual fan. They're all five by five, huh? Ooh. Okay. Okay, you have my interest. Yeah, right? Okay, that's that's going on the list. I'm intrigued. Or six column five can't be five by Sudoku. Are we sure? <clears throat> Why not? Oh, because then the one above it would be four, and then rank five would start with a three. So that's not a five. It's oh, just a tiny little look ahead, but okay, it is yeah. And by a similar token, this can't be four, right? Um, if that was a four, that was a yes, that's if, correct. Because if this is a yeah. four or five pair in general, that's a three. And we You're know right. four and five you start right. with four and five. Yep. Uh, Philip just posted about us in gas. We might be getting more viewers, people who see the gas nice. ping. Thank you for doing that, Philip. I appreciate it. Tell them not. No matter what they do, don't donate. We don't want more donations right now. <laughs> yeah, we're oh, good. We good on donations. Here from the Aww, that was quick. Well, I'm so glad that you're here. Please come and watch, and make sure that you don't donate. <laughs> Phil Philip says he definitely told them to donate. <laughs> Telling TNS BRB someone needs a nap. I'm I'm assuming they mean their child, but I like to imagine they're talking about me right now. <laughs> Could all use a nap. Nap sounds nice. Mm. Oh, <laughs> if this is not four or five, that means there's a four or five here, doesn't it? So that's one uh, or three. Yes. So that, yeah, correct. That's cute. Okay. Um, row three, column one can't be five because it's or yes, it can. Never mind. I misread your little table to the left. Philip's a monster. I want to go see if he actually said that in the gas intro, or if he's just <laughs> screwing up, screwing with us by saying he said it. Oh, this can't be four or five, because then that would have to be four or five. He definitely said it. Right. <laughs> he said, "Come donate to get them back above seven hours left." <laughs> Damn it, Philip. All right, so what did you find, Glibrel? If this was four or five, then this would have to oh, be four or five. Oh, very nice. And then we'd have three, four, fives in the row. So that's not four or five. Perfect. Just trying to see if there are any other spots where that logic might apply. That's what I was looking for as well, yeah. Okay, so the only... So there are only two ranks that don't, by necessity, include at least a four or five. Yep. Which has maybe some interesting implications for column one. It kind of does, doesn't Cause it? Because imagine if row six, column one, was a four or five. In then fact, that would mean all of these digits are like either the bulbs or the tens digits. Mm-hmm. So if row six column one was a four or a five, mm -hmm. then row five column one would also be a four or a five. Mm -hmm. So that would mean. Hmm. That would mean this would have to go one two. That would be a surely. one or a two. Oh, I, I, I guess it could two, also three, go two four, three. Above. Yeah. Or one three actually. Oh, true. Yeah, it seems like there's a few ways mm. that could work. Philip, if you can get them to tack on 13 more hours, 
we will have funded like thank god for exponents we will have funded <laughs> sudoku con 2026 by that point ah <laughs> oh, this is so cool but i'm just not quite seeing the next place if this is a four or five then that's a four or five does that somehow work in reverse? If this is a three, then that's a two or a three. That would be nice. Well, it does, but does that do anything? I think it just makes that a one, two pair. Hmm. Oh god. Clover and Glip are all like Krusty the Clown in the Simpsons episode where Bart won't let him stop broadcasting. These two, whatever they are, can't go here, here, or here. Okay. So if they repeat anywhere, it can only be there. Okay. Which... So if they're both fives, then this is also a five. In fact, specifically, it's the six five. And if they're both fours, then one of these two is a four. So we do know, yeah, so we do know these repeat. I'm just reminding myself. Um, can we color those just so I don't forget that again? Like, let's make that a sure. orange, orange. So maybe we should be using the fact that the bulbs are an extra region. Oh, wait. Surely that means that this can't be I've a five. Something. I think I've also Why? got something. OK, let's hear yours first. If, if four, five, and six all start with fives, mm -hmm. then we need the five, five here. Mm -hmm. And we need two other arrows to have a five in the tens digit. Mm-hmm. And, and we, we can't because there's only one other position. We, where can, we can get do one. That. Yep. Yeah, that's analogous to what I came up with. I was also working on fives there. So yeah, okay. four, four, for sure. Hey, digits. And wait, does that mean that those are four, four? Because the four, yeah. oh, okay, four, yeah. four can't go so on any other arrow. The other thing is now rank one can't have a four as its tens digit because we worked out earlier that we can't have ah, four. Ah, right. And at that point, at this point, that would force four fours. Heck yeah. Nice. Progress. Okay. Yeah, it feels amazing. So now we know rank three is either, is one of two arrows, basically. Because rank three, we now know, has to have a four as its tens digit. So rank three right. must be either row two, column three, or row three, column one. So we definitely and that have eliminates three from some cells. We definitely have a four in one of those two cells and a three in one of these two cells. And so we can eliminate three from a bunch of cells. Like we can eliminate three from row four, column one. Row four, column one. Yep. We can eliminate oh, three whoops. from. Uh, yeah, it's not three. Why? It can't have a four. It can't have a four as its tens digit now. Ah, right. 
Okay, so this can't also be three. Sorry, I'm kind of like mixing rationales for why we're yes. eliminating threes. Like some of them are geometrical and then some of them are just full rank. Okay, I'm following you. Um, that can't be can a four. We can eliminate three from row three, column three. Uh, yes. And we can eliminate and three from, from the cell here. below that too. Yeah, so that's one, two, five, or six. Oh, and that also can't be two, the cell above the one you're on. Because this would have to be one, yep. Ranks too high, yep. This guy, two, three, or five. So this can't be four? Yeah, because four is already um, in, a, in a circle, yeah. <laughs> duh. And same thing for nice. this guy. <laughs> yeah, very nice. So four is in, uh, oh, we can place four in column one. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just by Sudoku. And then the cell below it is not a one now. Right. And also, I think we eliminate a four to the right of that four we just placed. Okay. Okay, okay, things are happening. <laughs> yeah, things are happening. We're moving along. I'm really moving enjoying right this along. one. This is yeah. a really inspiring puzzle. Yeah, it is. This is two, three, or five. That's all still possible. One, two, three, two, Oh, here's something three, really four, cute. Five. Do you want to hear something really, really cute? Yes. Okay, so the arrow where we have the four and the four in the bottom right. Yep. That can't be the lowest rank that starts with a four, because we know at the very least rank three also starts with a four. Oh. Therefore, its unit stitch it cannot be a one. Nice. So one is it, yeah, one is in one of those cells, so that maybe gives us some eliminations on ones, maybe? Maybe not now, but hopefully eventually. I mean, this whole puzzle is kind of just el <laughs> slowly eliminating puzzle, pencil marks. Yeah. Fair. Very fair. Row six, column six could still be six because the five rank could start with a five. Five rank can't start with a five because the arrows, the diagonal arrow is used you're, up. You're, oh my god. Okay, and that means the two rank starts with a three because we can't have four fours. What did I just eliminate from this cell? I wanted to eliminate six. That's not a six. Yeah. Sorry. What were you the saying? Two rank, the two rank can't ah. start with a three, or can't start with a four. It must start with a three. And the we need a four there three. as well. So then that is a rank of three. That's a three. That cell is just a three. Yeah, and that's five. Yeah, and there we go. <laughs> well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> all right, so we got all of those. What a puzzle. And then this is not rank six, because that can't be a five. We can place five in column five now, just by Sudoku. Oh, and also, yeah, row four, column two can't be a five, so we can also eliminate six from there. We can place six in column one. And that's a one, two pair on the arrow as well. And that's a three, okay. So this is the six, so that's a five. Ha ha! Oh my god, okay. Now things are cooking. Okay, that's two, three. So we've got six, five. This guy's just good. Uh, the two three resolves into a two because we have a three in row five already. The two three. There's a three in row five. Ah, yes. And now we can place a four in row six. So we've got rank five is four six. That's definitely the biggest. Rank four is four three. Rank three has to be smaller than that, so that has to be one or two, which makes that a three, that a six, mm -hmm. that a two. One and six. Mm 
Mm-hmm. We can do some more Sudoku. We can do that. That's that, that 2-6 above the 6 is a 2 now. Ah, now rank... This is a 35 and this is a 36. That has to be rank 1 and that has to be rank 2. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. So now I think all the arrows are just done. It's just Sudoku. Mm-hmm. Have at it. I believe in you. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Oh, that was such a banger. I oh my absolutely gosh. loved that one. That was worth digging this far into into the Katadoga pillar for. That was some wow. good stuff right there. Well done, pedaling pianist. Ooh. Yeah, take a bow for that one. That was very cool. And this is average arrows. So that's actually not anything too incredibly complex. Each circle has exactly one attached arrow. The other arrow that intersects each circle travels straight through it. Okay, so for example, these are the cells that are along the arrow whose bulb is in row two, column three. Does that make sense? I'm going to do a quick reload on the puzzle and see if Go that for it. clears the cache, which hopefully it did, if chat can be believed. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, so um, it's average arrows, and the arrows are drawn in a way that's a little bit confusing, but the rules clarify it. So these cells that I've highlighted pink, those are the arrow cells for the bulb that's in row two, column three, for example. Okay, I see. So they're kind of drawn in like different thicknesses, and they kind of overlap, but everywhere they overlap, it's like it just passes straight through that bulb and keeps going. So there's two blue arrows, and there's two light blue arrows. Yeah, exactly. And it's average arrows, not like arrows, arrows. Okay. Oh, hey, pause. Glad you made it. Well, surely this can't be a one, right? Ah, uh, yeah, correct. And it, we can't ever have a one or six in any cells where we have m more than one digit that see each other along the arrow. So this average is now just... An average of five is going to be a challenge. Um, along that long light blue arrow. Well, even if this were a six, that would only be an average of like three and a half. Or no, sorry, four and a half. Okay. Right? So Actually, shit, that, would it? So right, now, yeah, so right now we're at a total of 19 along that dark blue arrow. We need one more digit, and whatever we put in has to make it divisible by five. So no, a six to be would do it. A six would make a it one, a five. It's got to be a one or a, it's it's got to be a one or six. And a one would make it a four. One would make it a four, yeah. And now what I'm thinking, Glipperl, is that the average of five, so the bulb that's in row two, column three, is going to be fairly hard to get to. Ooh, true. Right. Yeah. Because those have to sum to twenty. And so I think that means that we have, so for starters, we have to have, oh, dude, okay. There's got to be a six in either row three or row five, column five. I think this has to be a four, right? Yes. And then one of those has to be a six in column five. But it can't be the one that's in the bulb because you can't have a six in that bulb because we could never make a six average because we have two cells that see each other there. Okay, so that's yeah, not yeah. The six. the six is the one down down there, yeah. Wait, does that have to be a six? Wait, does it not? Because if it this does, is a does. four or five pair. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're correct. You're good. You're good. I was just double checking the math. You're good. So now we can place a six in row one. Mm -hmm. And now how are we going to do that? This is fun. It's all playing to fun. like really big averages, which is kind of an interesting way of approaching this rule set. So how are we going to do an average of four when we have a bunch of digits that can't be four or six? This is the only one that can be six. Do we now need do we it have to, to have a six? Otherwise, it's four plus five plus four. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a six. It would be nice if it was, but it doesn't have to be. Three plus... Four plus five plus two plus five, is that what it would have to be? Um, so it's a total of 16. 
Oh, yeah, it's, it would be a total of 16. So whatever you just said, I don't think is correct. 4525? Oh, that is correct. Okay. I just can't add. <laughs> I think it would have to be that because you can't get another 4 on it. Gotcha. Oh, no. 4516? Oh, no. I can't have another 6 on it. Well, it could have a 6 on it. Well, okay. In the universe, it doesn't have a 6. It's yeah. 4, 5. <laughs> In the universe where it doesn't have a six, it can't have a six. That is correct. <laughs> it would have to specifically be this. And if it does have a six, this is either four or six. Oh, and that really can't be a two. So row five column four can't be a two. That's Ew. too small. Because these would have to add up to six. Two ones, right, okay. four with two ones because we're already one in that column. So that's definitely not a two. So that is a six. Beautiful. And so those three have to sum to 10. <clears throat> oh, this is a six now by Sudoku. So that's five. Oh, it is. Very nice. Perfect. OK. I don't think this can be 5 now, right? So if it's 5, that's either 5 and 5, which is impossible, or 4 and 6, which is impossible. So correct, that can't be 5. And 2 is just not possible, so it's 3. Why is 2 not possible? Because this would have to add up oh, to yeah, 6. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So this adds up to 9. These add up to... So that, those both have to be 2. That's the only way to make 9 there. Ah, that's cute. Yeah, that is cute. Nice. And so that's uh, four to finish the four arrow in row five, column two. And then just Sudoku. Yeah. Sudoku will take us home. Would you look at that? Hey. Yeah, I didn't know until just now what puzzle was right before mine, so that's kind of fun. Oh, is it your puzzle next? My puzzle's next. My second puzzle. <laughs> the puzzle is set by oh, my cat. Oh, Nameless Sudoku by Dexter Bartholomew. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it's a roller coaster, but not intersecting. And to represent the curiosity of cats, all of the clues are question marks. Eesh. Okay, had to get the question mark clues on the screen. All right, and I think I solved this one before. The key point was the roller coaster clues, right? Because these double question marks. They have to be at least 10, both of them. Mm -hmm. And so the amount that you we can have... We talked about the gimmick here. The amount you can have omitted from these rows and columns is... One. What, you could have a one omitted. That's mm -hmm. it. So this yeah. cell is definitely included in the column clue and has to get at least 10. This cell is definitely included in the row clue and has to get at least 10. This is a very cute fact about this particular rule set is that, yeah, if you know a cell isn't one, even if you have no freaking clue what exactly it is, you do know that it's going to be on the loop if you have a row or a column with two double question mark clues. And this can't be a four, five, six, because that's going to be too much for these guys to make a double digit sum. So that has to be 11 and this has to be 10. Um, this question mark clue, we can get one question mark over here, either there or there, but not two. So I need the second one over here. This double question mark, which is somewhere between 10 and 11, can't be 10 because that would have to be 262, so it has to be 11, which can't be 2612, so it has to be 263.
I've got a double question mark over here and a single question mark, and I can't get double question mark, single question mark over here because that just not enough room. Mm -hmm. So that has to be the double. Mm -hmm. It has to have four, five, six on it. Heck yeah. And it definitely has a six. And then also row three, column four has to go left. These have to add up to 10. Yes, this guy has to go left. <laughs> In case you were wondering, yes, that does have to go left. Um, the bottom row, which is again the double double, can only omit a one, so definitely can't omit two cells. Um, Ooh, we got a spammer. Somebody, one of, can one of my new mods please uh, <laughs> go ahead and smack the smack the scammer? Thank you, Palfly. I appreciate you. One in one of those two cells. You guys should you guys should like keep a tally. Okay, this is kind of cute. This question mark here has to use this cell, but it can't use the cell flat because that's gonna close the loop. So it has to come mm -hmm. down from here. Yeah, it's like uh it's like bouncing. And this, which now can't be a six, in order for this to be a double double digit, has to continue downwards. Mm -hmm. And so this question sure mark does. is done. Um, <laughs> ah, this I need two clues in this row, so one of them has to go over here, and that has to be the double digit, which also has to be four, five, six, and include a six. And that's not four, and that's not five. And then we get these pairs. So this is one, two, and this is two, three. And now this is part of this double question mark clue since it's not a one. Mm -hmm. So that turns, nice. that turns, this has to go straight, that goes up. Nice. There we go. Well, and now this has to add up to at least 10 and it can only just barely get to 10. Mm -hmm. Two, one, four, one, that four is gonna give me the six, four, six, five. One, two, four, three, five, six, two, three, five, one, four, six. This could exclude a one either there or there. I've got my two question marks in this row, so this guy can't turn to the left. In fact, it can't turn to the right either, because that's going to be at least 12. So that's going straight down, and now I don't want to close the loops. So that goes up, that goes down, that goes there. This still wants to be a single digit, so that's not a six. Mm -hmm. I don't want to close here, otherwise this question mark is not going to get fulfilled, so it has to come down. I still need a second clue for this row, so it has to be here. Mm -hmm. That's going to finish the loop. And now we just uh, move on to the next puzzle. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> I bet Clover will be so proud of you. Oh, I'm sure she will. I hear she um, definitely doesn't have like powerful aesthetic opinions about how people choose to solve her puzzles or anything. And she's really nice. Oh, she's very nice. I'm sure she'll treat me well for just ignoring half of the grid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to be getting angry phone calls. Okay, I don't think this can be a 3-5, because then it's either going to be too small to make double digits, or it's going to be 3-5-4, which is 12, and then big, this yeah. couldn't make double digits, so that's a 2. 2 comes out of both of those. Um, this can't be a 1. Yeah, Palfly is reminding you of the column one double digit clue. My clues all escaped off screen. Oh yes, that is a double digit clue, so that has to be a six, and that has to be a four or five. That places the two there, the two there. 
Um, this guy now, oh, it could be one, four, five, or it could be three. Either Actually, way, no. You can place the six at the bottom of the column. It couldn't be three, because three, four, five is 12, and three. I mean, or you could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm placing the six. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that tells you what the digit above it is. Oh, just because of this has to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that has to be a that three. Can't be 13. There you go. Yeah. I, was, I was trying to save you from yourself. <laughs> Same logic, just easier. Easier to see. Same logic, just better in every way. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Just for that, I'm making the cell seven. You monster! How dare you? How very dare you? Wounded to the core, I am. All right, what are we looking at here? Oh, it's numbered rooms. Oh, that's nice. Numbered room cipher by Meme Rister. Hey. Oh, by Meme Rister. Hi, Meme Rister. Is he still in chat? I don't know. Okay, well, this can't be the one then, because that would have to be a four. So that's five and one. This is one, two, three. Any of oh, which are one. possible that's there. A, a is one now, because there's a one to the right of that row. Huh? There's a one clue to the right of row one. Yeah. Unless I'm losing my goddamn mind. But it Isn't could be that... either two oh, one or it could what? be three one. <laughs> so would you like to know what I was doing? Yes. X sums. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm in pain. <sighs> oh. Okay. This is a five, so that can't be a three. So that's one five. Well, it can't be a one, and it can't be a five. Whoa! Can't be a five. So that's yeah. just a six. <laughs> so A is something that's going here. It's either a one, two, or a four. E could be a one. Oh, and the. There's only one E in the grid, but it has to be different from the rest of the letters. That's fun. Mm -hmm. This could be a lot of things. B. Is B interesting? Five in column one. Huh? Five in column one has to be in box five. Why not here? Oh, so here's something. Um, yeah. Okay, so column one. Yeah. One, three, five. Yeah. We have two A clues at the bottom, so they can't be one and three, because that would put them both in the first box. Or that would put them both in box five. So there's got to be a five down there. Oh, that's cute, because yeah. one of them would be one, and you get three with a one. Yeah, so there's a five in one of those. Okay, fair enough. And so there's not a five with the E. So E is either 1, or it's this cell, which would be a 2 or a 4. So E is also 1, 2, or 4. Interesting. Is B also 1, 2, or 4? <laughs> no, it could be 5 or 6. Oh, so now five is placed in column two. Yep. So there's something maybe going on with the C below column two? Okay, so this is one, two, four left in the column. It's either one referencing a one, a two referencing a one or a four, or four referencing a five. So that's three letters that are from one, two, four, yeah. five. 
Interesting. So B and D, one of them has to be three or six. Wait, B can't be three, can it? One, two, three. Yeah, B can't be three either. Interesting. Can D be three? D could be three. I could have two, three there. Huh. No, you can't. Because you need a six in that region. Ooh, true. So what is this? So it can't be two, three. It can't be... If that if D was a three, we couldn't start with a one, a two, or a three, or it would a have five. have to be four, three. Let's start with four with a three up there, which is weirdly okay. Dang it! <laughs> right. Oh, um. Wait a second. Oh yeah, true. A or E has to be a one. Either A or E is one. There's yeah, definitely one up there. That. So that's not one. And B can't be one either, which means the digit right below B can't be a one. Yep. It really feels like A is going to be a 1, because we would get a 1 there, a 1 there, a 1 there, a 1 there, and a 1 there. That's surely just how it's going to work out. Of course. Row 1, column 6 can't be 3? Oh, yeah, because of the 1 clue. Yep, that's true. Mm-hmm. So A is now one so or six. Two oh no, it a could still be, be four. No, it can't be two. Two, right? That's what gets eliminated. What eliminate. Which means that row four, column two is no longer two. Which might do some magic. Because A is referencing that. In row ah, four. yes, right. So there's definitely so there's a two a, down yeah. here. So we can eliminate two from row six, column three. If this is a two, why can't this be a one? Why can't, oh, because A or E is a one. So it would either be two, four, or four, five. So that's not a two. So we can eliminate two from row six, column three. Ah, yes. D is also not a one, and B is also not a one. Oh, so A is and not E. Three. How did we eliminate two as a possibility for E? Uh, when did we do that? I think it's just because this is one or three. The, oh, how but it does could that be eliminate three, two, two as a possibility for E? Yeah. How did that eliminate? Oh, I think I just tried to highlight all the A's and oh, got the gotcha. E instead. Gotcha. Okay, we're cool. Okay, so we eliminated... Just making sure, because that would have been really handy if that was um, two from there. pretty encrypted. If that was a 1-4 pair. And this could not be 4, was it? No, it couldn't be 2. And B is not 1 or 3. Oh, D is also not one. Well, yeah, I guess we knew that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> 11 hours. We're kind of going crazy. We're, I mean, I think we went crazy. We looped back around and now we're passing back towards crazy again. <laughs> but on the other hand, we're actually about to dip below six hours remaining, which feels really good. That does feel good. Unless somebody wants to drop $270. Right? Finally, the donations have chilled out. All we had to do was yeah. get Philip to ask people to donate. Who knew? Clearly. I mean, I'm really impressed by how strong um, the viewership has been staying. I mean, even overnight, yeah, right? we we were at, like, I think minimum, like, 25 people watching, which is really cool. Oh, yeah, that is not a six. That's an interesting spot. Ooh, that is interesting, isn't it? I don't That's know if it fun. helps us, but it's a fun it's spot. It's cool, though. I can yeah. like it. I mean, why, why do we solve puzzles if not for the fun spots? That's fair. Oh, do you want to see something absolutely fucking sick? Yeah. All right. So, hear me out. If E is two, mm -hmm. row three breaks. Because we get three, five, three two, to two. That's to a four. four. And then B is also two. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so E is not. Thing breaks. So E is not two. So A and E so are a one, one four, four pair. We get our one four pair after all. Oh, that is so sick. Yeah, Bell's like that one. So I'm C glad is you five. As much as I did, Bells. And all off the back of that deduction. That's yeah, very cool. Yeah, so B is not four or five now, so B is either two or six. Yep. Whew, that was cool. Um, oh, and so uh, row three, column one is now a three, because we placed a one in that region. Ah, yes, nice. So this is one or four, and therefore that's the two. Oh, and now, yeah, so now A is one and E is four. Oh yeah, E is just four. We've yeah, we're like done. Told you A was gonna be one. Hi me, Mister. Welcome back. So A is one, we so just, I get we ones just in there. One recently. That's one, that's one. As expected. You can finish row three. That's one. Um, yep, that's two and six. So that makes B six. A is Which one. is going to give you column four. Ah, uh, it does make B six. So, so that like... it has to be a two, yeah, with a six. Perfect. Nice. I feel like there are a lot of setters in the house, Tall Cat. But Memerster is particularly special because he organized the creation of this whole thing, and he is a legend. Mm. Alright, so what's D then? It is not one, it's not four, it's not six. And it's not five. So yeah, it's so two or three? In, yeah, so at the bottom is a three. Because six would yep. be indexing a five. So it is two. Heck yeah. Very nice. Very nice. That, that was fun. That was a really cute one. And the final deadly pattern gives us the digits for the next one, as it should be. Heck yeah, as it should be. Man, if it wasn't speed setting, I really would have gone for, for doing that. I am a little bit disappointed that like the entire right half of mine resolved immediately. Oh, Playmaker with the classic Killer oh, Cage puzzle. Oh, Standard Killer! Okay, let's do this one and then let's have another little quick break. Sounds good. So we got four or fives okay. there, so the seven has to go four, one, two, three, six. This is a 15, so that's got to be a three, mm -hmm. which is highlighted for some reason and then for the 11 the six goes with one four yep oh what a beautiful puzzle um So there's got to be a three in the ten cage, and the other two digits can't be one and six, so it's two, three, five. And why can't it be one, four, five? Um, because there has to be oh, three in it. Oh, because that would be a one, and that would be. Because in row three, in row three. Oh, the three. I see. Okay, gotcha. 
It's got to be two, three, five, because it can't be one through six. Yep, that's the five. All right, we're officially less than six hours to go. Hey, We've let's made go. It. We survived, kind of. Oh, that's cute. Six in this column. Actually, no shit. It could still go there. Oh, but six in um six in row four has only one position because it can't go in the fifteen page. Oh, yeah. There we go. And so now two in the fifteen cage only has one position. Ah, uh, yep. That'll do it. That'll do it. Well, will it do it? It will, because now the nine cage is resolved. Ah, because this has to be one three. Mm-hmm. So that's a four, six, four. Perfect. No, not a four. Ooh, careful now. <laughs> More highlighted digits for some reason. Beautiful. All right, All right, guys, shall we? if we're back over six hours remaining when I come back, I'm going to, maybe I just won't come back. Maybe I'll just leave <laughs> my home and just start walking and never come back. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have another break. Um, I will be back in like 10 minutes. I will refresh I the puzzle again. Thank you for being here. Ooh, this looks like a fun one. Excited for that when it comes up. If we get there. Does that mean we're getting close to the tall cat puzzle? Well, I guess it's possible that you're also in one of the other other segments. Yeah, there was no highlight when I entered a repeat four. <laughs> Is it just error check if I put a incorrect digit? No, it would have it would have triggered on an incorrect digit. That is very weird. Oh wait, undo does work, whoops. Oh no, but redo doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, so some of the tech things that we've already like basically met. The big one is the projector that we need. Projector, speakers, audio equipment, XLR cables, mixer, audio snake, um, microphones, HDMI cables, power strips, that sort of thing. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is our first year, so. And right now we've basically met the the total amount we need to rent projector and speakers. If we absolutely like blow past that total this and subsequent streams, then we'll be able to buy them and then save costs on future cons.
adapters for future European cons, yes. And if we really blow past the total, then we'll have extra money to like, you know, fly Mark and Simon out, probably to a European con. Not the projector type where you place a transparent sheet on the illuminated surface. <laughs> Glover fall asleep? Nah, we're we're in a break right now. It's important to take breaks for mental and physical well-being. <laughs> nah, fly Malrog instead. Who needs Mark and Simon? Although honestly, though, there are probably cooler people we could fly out. Mark and Simon would bring in the crowds, but like... Gosh, imagine flying out... Oh, who was it that was having trouble? Prasanna? Or was that... Prasanna was having trouble because of a visa, I think. I'm taking care of myself too, I'm relaxing. I think when Clover gets back, I might ask her to jump into this next puzzle, which looks like just a standard slow thermometers, and then I'll go, like, refresh my food plate, and also grab some, a little more to drink. <laughs> yeah, we have lawyers and a bank account and such. You had a professor that used what in your university? Prasanna Sashadri? <laughs> oh, you mean the like, the transparent overlay on the, <laughs> the projector? Yeah, old school. I remember that back from like middle school. Do they have that in elementary school, or was that still chalkboards? I don't even remember if we had chalkboards or whiteboards at that point. Probably chalkboards, to be honest. <laughs> they did radioactive training with an old-fashioned slide reel. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, you know? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Digital whiteboards in middle school. Regular whiteboards are really rare in Austria, huh? Wow, academia, please never change. Oh, wait. Those rules are a bit small. We can bump that up a little bit. There we go. Switched all the whiteboards to just a huge glass? Wow. Mm. I should have some chocolate. That'll keep me awake, right? Maybe that's what I'll do when Clover gets back. I'll go and get myself a slice of chocolate cake. Just snack on that while she cruises through the slow thermo. Mmm, cake, right? Cake is some good shit. Especially chocolate cake. Although the slow thermo doesn't look that easy. I'm not seeing any immediate digits. <laughs> TV show crime unit. <laughs> Writing well with chalk. I could see that. But then you like... Whenever you get the chalk at just the wrong angle and it like screeches across the chalkboard instead of just drawing nicely... 
I feel like Glum must be one of those people who can draw a perfect circle with chalk on a chalkboard. Oh god, right? I'm just scrolling back up through the chat. Yeah, do you want to hang out with chat for a bit? I'm gonna go grab some cake. I would love to hang out with chat for a bit. Go get your cake. I'm assuming that Glipperl answered the questions about what are the tech expenses actually for. Meatloaf, if you're curious about more of what's going on with SudokuCon planning, though, I don't know if Glipperl mentioned this one. Um, you can always join the SudokuCon planning Discord, where we talk through all of this stuff amongst ourselves. Because we are very... We, we're smart people, but also very, very new con planners. So there is a lot of conversation about things like, do we actually need a lawyer you know like do we really need to do this trademark search and that kind of thing and just hashing everything out and it's pretty much all done in public and then in our weekly thursday morning meetings which are also all public anybody is free to come hang out so yeah please do join um but yeah, the, the motivation for our fundraising this year, in addition to kind of continuing to cover costs for, you know, things like the, the rental of the space and everything that isn't going to be covered necessarily by ticket price, is um, we got a massive response from people who were not able to come to Boston for the actual con, but who really wanted to participate somehow. So yeah, we're, we're working towards being able to stream. Um, and we're also working towards being able to kind of like have our own tech, like our own projector, our own speakers, etc. So we're not going to have to kind of continually rent things. So that's kind of where we're at. Now I'm going to scroll back down. Oh man, fancy chalk. Well, please do come join our server. We need people who have experience with large event planning because virtually none of us do, but we're keeping it together. We have a venue booked, we have we have a schedule, we have people who are actually like booking their hotel rooms and are actually genuinely making plans to be there. And it's a little bit terrifying and humbling, but also I'm so excited because it's actually gonna happen. Luckily, we started planning like a year and a half plus in advance. Tolka, it is in November. Yeah, you do need to get your hotel room because we've got our hotel block at the Hilton Dedham outside of Boston. Oh man, I probably should make that a command. Let me see if I can dig up a Discord link for you guys. Because I don't think I can add... Well, I may be able to add bot commands. I just don't know off the top of my head how to do it. Yes, it is. And I really should have had a link ready for you, tall cat. But let me see if I can dig up an invite to the Discord. Ah, perfect. You're quicker than me. Bravo. So how are you guys doing? Do you have any favorite or not favorite puzzles so far? Oh yeah, no, of course, that's completely fine. I mean, if it's on our website, you can post it wherever you want. What's our next puzzle gonna be? Ooh, slow thermo. I love slow thermos. I do not have potato interwebs anymore, Elathana. You can probably see, so I actually would not have been able to stream at all a couple months ago. Um, that said, so for about three and a half years, I lived in an outbuilding on my property, um, basically a barn slash garage slash workshop uh, that I referred to as my barn. And about 
two months ago, I finally moved into my actual house, and I'm currently sitting in my basement where I have real, actual fiber internet. So my internet is not a potato anymore. Oh, well, Althana, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just rolled out of bed like this. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, I genuinely wouldn't have been able to stream at all. I would have had to be at the library. But now I can. I'm just streaming from home, and that's really cool. Dev Snazzy, what number is your puzzle? Meatloaf, I think the link that I posted was, in fact, um, not a permanent link. So if you grabbed a permanent link from the website, then yes, your link is probably the better one to share with people. I return. 157. We would have to accelerate pretty fast to get to 157 today, or we would have to make <laughs> several more thousands of dollars. Bells, somebody stole your internet. My uh, my house contractors just broke my internet once, as in, like, we told them not to touch the fiber, and then they touched the fiber, <laughs> and it broke. Because, <laughs> I mean, when they originally installed it, we literally just had, like, the fiber optic cable sticking out of the wall for a couple months, not hooked up to anything, and somebody just kicked it at some point, and they're very oh, fragile, no. as it turns out. Yeah. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate, Bells. It makes sense, but it's unfortunate. Glyphroll, do you want to... Did you answer the question in chat about, like, what specific tech stuff we're... we're I did, to yeah. Because I know I've been being very vague about it. I know it's not actually, like, streaming-related, per se, although streaming is something that we're working on. Um, a lot of it is just, you know, being able to present well at the actual con. <laughs> Yeah, being able to actually see the screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so hopefully Glipperl offered some clarity on that. I saw that question in the chat. Yeah. But yeah, in general, if you're awesome. Oh, okay. I'm so... Meatloaf says you answered in great detail. That's awesome. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Oh, Talcat's about to book his room. Nice. Well, that's exciting. I still need to book my room. Okay, my friends, so we have a slow thermo Sudoku, and I'm going to be driving again. Yeah. So slow thermo. And I'm going to be eating we cake. We have, enjoy, what kind of cake is it? Okay, technically it's chocolate tort, but same difference. Wait, is a tort not a cake? I don't know. It's That's like one of those weird things where technically brownies are cake. Like everything's technically a cake. Isn't there some criteria based on, like, what subset of, like, the standard baking ingredients it includes? Like, does it include baking soda? Does it include... Et cetera, <laughs> is et cetera? cereal a soup? Yeah, it's that sort of thing. I don't know. I don't know the formal, like, thing. But we looked it up once, and it was like, oh, yeah, a brownie is a, a round cake that's made out of such and such, whereas a cookie is a circular cake that's cooked in something so I, I assume just cake. that you looked this up specifically because it was one of those friendly debates with your family probably over mm -hmm. cake correct yep. yeah no, no knowing knowing what i know about your family i can 100 percent see that i think um, technically it was about like cookies and brownies and we discovered that actually both of them are just cake well i mean have you ever dived into the entire jaffa cake debate i think i've heard of it yeah where uh that's that's a legal matter, as it turns out, whether Jaffa cakes are a cake or a cookie. <laughs> is it really? And I think it, in in court, it, well, it's something to do with like import tariffs on cakes versus cookies, being <laughs> like in favor of cakes, therefore motivating oh, the manufacturers of Jaffa cakes to like have them legally defined as cake. That's but I funny. think in court, in court, it boiled down to <laughs> when they go stale. When they go stale, do they go hard or do they go soft? Interesting. Talcat, I've seen that picture, and if I recall correctly, Navario is, like, standing on something, and he's still not quite the same height as you got. Yeah, uh, Navario is standing on a concrete block in the picture. I'm bringing <laughs> a cake. Iconic. He brings one cookie. He brings one cookie, eats it. That's not cake. 
All right, so solar thermo, so we have these thermometers in the grid, and along the thermometers, digits have to increase from the bulb to the tip, but digits can also stay the same here, unlike in a normal thermo. So they don't necessarily have to strictly increase. We could go like one, two, two, four, four, or something if we want to. So let's do it. So that's our three, four pair coming out of our previous grid. Oh man, I'm distracted by how spicy the next grid looks. Like, for real? Yeah, right? Hexagons and crop key dots and German whispers. So this isn't the Benz puzzle with the hexagons? <laughs> well, they're just hexagon indicators, so... So I'm going to do something really monstrous, and I'm just going to, like, fully pencil mark this, uh, this slow thermo. And so that actually can't be a 6, that can't be a 6, that can't be a 6, that can't be a 5, that can't be a 3. And I'm going to be even more monstrous, and I'm going to fully pencil mark this one. Actually, that's my six. Oh, nice. So then that's two, three, or four. Three, four, or five. Three, four, five, or six. And then that's going to be the one. Ah, oh, no, that's a five. Perfect. So now these guys are one, two, and six. That can't be a one. That could, however, in theory, be a six. And that can't be a six. It could, in theory, however, be a one. Oh, and that can't be a 2, because this can't be smaller than 2. Oh, is my pencil marking bad, Alessandra? What did I do? Did I create a disaster? I'm going to assume I didn't. Or maybe she's just saying that pencil marks are bad in general. Oh, she wouldn't be wrong. Imagine, I'm doing it because I'm very tired. Imagine not just solving with singles. Mm. Just visualize everything like Simon does. Mm. Could totally be me. Wait, no, it couldn't. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be a 5 and a 6. Got 1, 2, and 4 there. Okay. That's not a 3. That's not a 6. Um, that's my I, only position for a 5 in the row. I like how Tallcat doesn't have a five link there. to the photo. He has a link to the, photo, to the video where the photo was featured. <laughs> that's kind of amazing. What was the was the photo on CTC? I assume that's the link. That's great. I remember that video when Simon was like, look at these guys meeting up in person. I was like, I want to do that. <laughs> now I have done that. Yeah, you have done that. Yeah. Clipper all came, Clip came and hung out with me. We had I a proper did. puzzle meetup. I have met Glipperol and I have met Kodak and I've met Sven and of course I've met Sven's dog and I, mm. I've met Sven, Greta, and Toby. I met the whole family. That was lovely. Alright, what do we have next? Oh, it's a look air. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So German whispers and Kropke. We've done a million of those already today, so we don't have to go over that. Look air shades some cells so that all connected regions of shaded cells form squares. Yep, sounds like look air. Two squares of the same size may not have a direct view of one another, that is, have a straight line of unshaded cells in between them, but maybe in the same row or column if obstructed. The digits in a hexagon represent or the digit in a hexagon represents the number of shaded cells in the plus shape that is created by the cell itself and its four orthogonal neighbors. Oh no. I kind of love right, so this because you can actually have six clues in look air now, which usually are just I'm, like completely <laughs> trivial. I'm, I'm going to see. Uh, so how is look air normally clued? Liberal, what do the clues normally indicate? It's, it's the same cluing structure, but you just don't get sixes because it would be completely trivial. You just look Why? at a six and you know that. Actually, no, sorry, five. Five is the one that's completely trivial, because if you had a five here, then all of these cells would have to be shaded, and you get all of these shaded, and it's just not a very uh, interesting okay. clue. And now it's just interesting because of the Sudoku implications? Exactly. Gotcha, I understand. Although that does play six in box six now that I look at it. Oh, I guess you also get it from the German Whispers logic. Yeah, I, get it. I thought I would get it from the German Whispers logic, actually. <laughs> I'm doing as much Sudoku as I can possibly get away with first. I'm really sorry. Imagine if the look air just doesn't even do anything. It just solves as a crop key. <laughs> I'd be disappointed, but I wouldn't be angry. <laughs> I would be angry. I know you would. I, I absolutely know you would. Um, 
Okay, so there's a two there, so six goes there. That's one or three. And then this has to have a four on it. That's three, four, or five. That's one, three, or five. That would actually be extremely funny. <laughs> Have a deadly pattern that is resolved by the look air. It's resolved by look air. You can solve <laughs> the entire look air to resolve it. Uh, that would actually be very, very funny. Okay. I I'm... wouldn't mind that at all. The six has got to be there. Okay. Who is Akash G23? Why are you going to send him an angry letter? <laughs> no, I'm going to set my own look air, damn it. <laughs> I think that's what Akash G23 wants. That may very well be. I think he's just like a look air super fan. Okay, I think this is all... Oh, no, it's not all I can do, because that can't be a four, because I have a oh, one, two, no. four, triple. So that's a <laughs> no. <four. laughs> Stop it, Sudoku. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I'm usually, like, the last person to try to do this, too. I'm usually all about, like, solve according to the spirit of the puzzle, but... Apparently today I'm just not. Okay. Oh shit, Akash is in chat even. Hi Akash, I'm sorry I'm solving your puzzle wrong. <laughs> Who knows, maybe this is how you're supposed to solve it. They just need a mm. digit so they could set a look air puzzle. Okay, so let's do the look air. Um, so this can't be a five because we don't have five digits around there that can be shaded, so then that's my five. So this is either all of these are shaded, or only one of them is shaded. That four uh, is looking spicy. This Oh, yeah, it is. So that's that, that's just all of those, right? <laughs> that's Akash Dulani. Hi, I'm not Akash Dulani. No, it's not Akash Dulani. <laughs> that, that much I know. Who said okay, that? So oh, that was Prof Mio. This has to be square, so these have to go out. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it is not Akash Dulani. We have two Akashas. Um, so... Glipperl, I'm missing something. Yeah. Have I have I solved wrong? Because now this one clue can't be fulfilled. It doesn't count diagonals. Oh. The one clue can totally be fulfilled. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> okay. So then this can no longer be a one or, or a two. That's going to be a three. Yep. Okay. So then these... are unshaded and so that limits the size of this so that these are going to be unshaded also mm -hmm. thank you for the approving noises i okay. needed that <laughs> now we've got some actual look air logic maybe. okay let's do some Hopefully. actual look air logic maybe let's find out what have you got for me okay i don't think the cell you have highlighted can be a three i actually know it could never mind don't listen to me yeah, it could um no ooh could it yes it could it definitely it easily could it probably is <laughs> it could even be a 2 wow weird huh oh but that 2 in the bottom corner there's only one way to fulfill that really yeah oh because if it's this and then one other it wouldn't be square it would be a rectangle exactly so it's got to be these two yeah perfect okay So then this can't be a three, this must be a one. Yep. That, that was a very friendly look air for probably not the first look air I've ever solved, but uh, close to it. That was a very friendly look air. I don't mind that. And this has to be unshaded because otherwise these guys would see each other. Yep. And then this... Um... Hmm. Oh, I have a three here. Well, I can see what it's going to be by uniqueness, but I don't see how to get there by Sudoku. Neither do I. Or by look air, actually. Because either this could be shaded, and then that. Oh, this is a three. Um, Not that that gave me anything. Not useful. that that gave you anything. That didn't give me anything. Oh, yeah, the white crop key. <laughs> Wait, where do I see a white Thank you, crop Alithana. Key? Oh, duh. I literally did not even see that. Okay, thank you, Alithana, for, for being able to see. I'm genuinely impressed at this point. 
So <laughs> thank you for being able to see at least thank one you of for us being can. Able to see. Uh, and it ain't me. And I don't think it's you either. <laughs> thank God for chat. Yep. Um, that Crofty was doing some work. Okay, cute little look air. That was very approachable. I appreciated that. So ooh. now, ooh, not my vault. I can't say it. Oh, I saw this one being set. This one looked interesting. Oh, let's see what we got. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So vault digits in a cage may not appear in any cell orthogonally adjacent to the cage. Digits may repeat within a cage. Look and say. So the digits x, y in the top left of the cage count the digit y appearing x times. So here we have two fives. And they refer to digits either in the cage or orthogonally adjacent to the cage. Oh, perfect. So this has to have two fives orthogonally adjacent to the cage because it definitely can't have two fives in the cage. Does that, am I making sense there? I think that's correct. Yeah, and so we have one five adjacent here, and then the other five that's adjacent can't be in any of these cells. There has to be a five in one of these. I buy it. Okay. Now, there definitely can't be a five in any of these cells, because we know there's a five adjacent. So the fives have to be there or there, and there or there. And I'm going to kill those just because that's going to confuse me later. Wait, why can't there be a five in the... Oh, right, because of the cage or the, of vault the vault rules. rules. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we know that there have to be fives adjacent to it. Gotcha. Okay. Now, what else can we do here? <laughs> All I found in describing you as having a Simon moment. Oh, I've had a few. So, these... Oh! These two okay. cells yeah, are yeah, the same yeah. as these two, yes. so then that must be a five. Yep. And so my adjacent five can't be there or there or there or there or there. So it's in one of these cells, so I'm still not I still don't quite have it figured out, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And these three, are gonna be the same as these. Three therefore definitely goes in that vault in the top right. True. Okay, that is true. So three is in one of these cells. So three doesn't go there. Well spotted. So now there's a three in here. Mm -hmm. So row three column five, Bells is saying, is two or six by Sudoku. Ooh, and if there's a- th Oh, because if it's one or four, then it's ruled out of all three of these cells. Oh, that's, that's cute. Cool. And so if there's then a this is two, five, six. If there's a three or four in that vault, you can pencil mark threes in column three. I already have threes. Oh, yeah, okay. So threes can't go there or there. So threes go in one of these cells. Okay. Which means three goes in the vault in <laughs> the bottom left. Which means three doesn't go in these cells. Or these ones. So three is in one. Three is right <laughs> hey, threes are doing work. Vault Sudoku, Vault Sudoku is kind of wild. It is kind of wild. Yeah. No, it's I not coloring kind of time yet. <laughs> you get out of here. <laughs> Someday your opportunity to color might arise. If we can do it, maybe while Glip Roll is taking a little break. <laughs> If you if you donate enough, we'll reach a point where Glipperl feels compelled to take a nap. If I catch then, you um, coloring on my stream. Somebody's saying I already have a three in row six. So, yeah, so I can eliminate three there. Good shout. So then these are two, five, six, because these have to be the same as these. Mm -hmm. So then so these that... are one, three, four. So in row five, that just is a two. Correct. Beautiful. So then, yeah, one of those is a two. So... We either have two fours in the two four cage, or we have two fours touching the two four cage. Right. And so if there are two fours in it, they're there and there. Mm -hmm. And if there are two fours touching, there's one here. Mm -hmm. and, and then there's one, one either here or here. Yeah. So either way, there's a four in one of these cells, so that's not a four. Yeah. Yeah. So that does do something. Okay, then. Hmm. 
Wait, why do I have threes marked there? Why do I have threes marked here? <laughs> oh, because oh, of the... I can't touch this! Yeah! Four. Oh, man, I am tired. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, our pencil marks have been wrong in the oh, past. Geez, for okay. good, good for doubting them. Ne never trust your pencil marks. Never trust your pencil marks. That's what That's we've learned. Awesome. Uh huh. It's the only thing we've learned. Oh no, there's a two touching <laughs> the vault, so that has to be a six. You would have expected us to learn a lesson about like not doing this, but honestly, I'm having a great time. So. <laughs> So that's not a five. And what next? That could totally be a two or a five. One, three, four, five. Hmm. So it's basically just that vault left, right? It really is. It's either four, so four, it's... or it's three, 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 and then those are or four, three, four. Three. Yeah. Interesting. So we can color, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's going to really do much for us. Oh, the the 2 5 looks say. Oh, so that's not a 5. Okay. And then one of those is a 2. Does that actually help? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what do we do then? Like, seriously, how do we actually resolve this? Well, row two, column two, can't be a one, can't be a three or four or a two. So one is in one of those. I think that's five or six. That's five or six, yep. Yeah. What? Two, four. How are we supposed to finish this? It's either 3-3 three, three, or that's 4-3. Is there a missing line? <laughs> I feel like there's a missing line. Well, yeah, it's got to be the 2-4 cage, but what about the 2-4 cage? That's the yeah. question. What the heck? That's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, whoa! This resolves. What is it? If the pinks are threes, look what happens to ones. Oh. Oh no! Wait, that doesn't. That's... I was no, thinking of right. it backwards. It, no, you're no, you're literally right. If those are threes, those are ones, and there's nowhere to place one in region one. Okay. Yes, I said pink, but orange is the one uh, that oh, actually okay. works. Well, I, liter I literally heard orange, so <laughs> you know, if you had just said nothing, you would have been completely fine. The universe just giving me an aid there. It's just really trying to make you look smart. Oh. It doesn't know I already think you're terribly impressive. Oh. <laughs> nice. It's we're we're reaching the part the point of exhaustion where I just like aggressively flatter you in hopes that you'll start <laughs> solving the puzzle for me. I mean All it right. worked for this Rock one. Rockrat Zero. Alright, Rockrat Zero, are you still in chat, my friend? Yes he is. Nice. Okay. Hey. We have Weird Bad Spots by Rockrat Zero. So we have Kropke. White dot is consecutive. Um, black dot is one to two. Metal dots are necessarily given. Little killer, numbers outside the grid are the sum of the digits pointed to along the indicated diagonal within the six by six. It's fun <laughs> I have to specify that. Yeah, right. Little killer in this particular puzzle. That is pretty amusing. Um, and yeah, this arrow could go for miles. Dots. Yeah, God, it truly could. And... Uh, the values of the clues abide by the Kropke dots rules and must be deduced by the solver. Oh, so these are like in between Ew. either numbers in the grid and little Oh, clues. that's fun. That's and very I, fun. I like how this cell doesn't mean any... Actually, both of these cells don't mean anything on their own. Yeah. But they connect this cell yeah, to that cell. Yeah, reference to that. That's or fun. This, like, this situation in the bottom right, there could have literally just been a black dot in between these two, but it, it was just needed to connect to this. 
So instead, the black dot was placed. Here. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Oh, I like I like a lot of this. Um, Same. Okay, so this needs to be consecutive with this, but it can't be one or three because those are too small. So this mm -hmm. has got to be five. Mm -hmm. And these still have to be. Well, let's just pencil these in, and that can't be a six. And that can't be a five. So. This could be a two, a one, and a one to make four. Um, this has got to be three, five, or seven. This is going to be two, four, six, two, or eight. Two, four, six, or eight, but it can't be an eight, of course. Oh, because it's just a single cell. Uh, so this is ah, a three, and that's not a four. Nice. And oh, and they can't be twos because then we wouldn't be able to do this this uh, kropka. So that's a three with a six. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And now I've got to bear in mind that that could still be a six. The fact that it sees a six doesn't actually mean anything here. So that now has to be a seven with three and four. It, correct. Very nice. And so that so that is also a six. So now that makes that a one and a three. Mm -hmm. And so that has to be a six. Well, does it? And or could it be 1.5? Glip roll, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I guess technically no, because it would make the white dot too small. Well, I mean, even if it was 1.5, then that would also, that could only be a three. Right. Which is already a possibility admitted by the six. Yeah, okay, so fair. I guess but... technically in Rock Rot's intended solution, <laughs> technically, it could be a 1.5. <laughs> but by uniqueness, I think it has to be a 6, and this has to be a 12. I see. We're using uniqueness. Because Well, because otherwise, <laughs> the puzzle wouldn't be unique. If that if that turned out to be a 3, then the digit below it could either be a 6 or a 1.5. Oh, hey, my puzzle is in the next group of 10. <laughs> you're going to be solving it. So I oh, God. am happy that you're happy. Oh, no, <laughs> I hope I remember that one. That you know how to solve it. I know I don't. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, so this is at least 13. Oh, so this does have to be 12 and 13. Oh, yeah. So it's not nice. just by uniqueness. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so that'll be a 2 and a 1 and a 5, and that's a 4-6 pair. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, <laughs> the silly there. solvers. Yeah, it's, it's a silly four, time of three, night. Six. Day. It's, it's we, daytime now. It, it feels like night. It feels like we're reaching about midnight, actually. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh man, thank you for continuing to ping, Paul Fly. I really appreciate you. You are taking a load off my mind trying to do that. Paul Fly's doing great. Paul Fly is amazing. I appreciate the like the people who are just dedicated to like moderating behind the scenes and just keeping our disaster together. Oh, that's they are cute. They're my favorite people. You can do a parody thing with that white dot. This one? Oh, this one. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Because the left one is even, that's so the right odd. one has to be odd. Oh shit, dude, that's really cool. I'm going to use it. So this sum is odd, because one of these is odd and one's even. So this sum is odd. So this sum is even. So this sum is odd, so that's a two. <laughs> There's our answer. That was really cool. Um, Now what? Two and two, so that's a two. Uh, this has to be a four with a three. That's, that's sure we're just going to do the whole thing. And that would be an eight and a nine. That would be a one, a five, six, and one, and three and five. Beautiful. I did not end up having to use this, but I could but have if I wanted to. Yep. But it is, in fact, a 10, and I can pencil that in, and it'll come out as 0, 1, and that's <laughs> fine. Okay, on to the next one. Ooh. Ooh, bookworm is in oh, here. Oh, it's the oh, Irvish no. one. Oh, no. Glyph, oh, we're gonna no. Die. We're both no. going to die. Oh, we are going to die. We watched this being set, and I guarantee neither of us has a fucking clue how to solve it. It looked absolutely insane. I saw Irvish, and I got super excited, and I saw Psycho look insane. I was like, okay, never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> Puzzle 69, is it really? 
it is. It is. It's. I'm sure it's a very nice puzzle that I am never going God. to fully understand. Okay. Nice. I need to just like take some deep breaths and get through this. I am. I am enough. <laughs> I am smart. I am capable. <laughs> okay, so this is cute. Unlike the normal Irvish rules, this is using the digits one through six only. Okay. So each A represents a digit from one to six. Oh, that's cute, because it's miniature. Let me try to understand Psycho Look and Say Killer for a second, which yeah. is, this wouldn't be the first time I have tried to understand this. <laughs> I also have not really properly looked at this. Each digit in a pink cage indexes a cell in the grid. The cell is located in the box with the digit's number in the same position within the box as the cell okay. containing the digit. Counting boxes from left to right and top to bottom, a digit may index its own cell. The cage clue should be read as a look and say clue that counts the number of times a digit appears in all the indexed cells. This is absolutely, utterly mental, but I think I understand. So, for instance, if this cell Ooh, it just glitched a little bit. Yeah, because um, I clicked on okay. it. Yeah. Yeah, so they say this was a two, then it would be indexing this because it's box two and it's the same position. Right. And so AA would, and like if this was a three, or if this was like a four, it would be indexing this. So we'd be indexing these two cells. Right, but and it could AA, also be a three because it's allowed to index itself. Yes, correct. Um, AA might be like two six or something, and then like those would be two sixes, and that would be right. Cool. Am I am I understanding it right? Like, does that suggest okay? I'm getting it? I've got a digit. Well, not a digit, what? but like you do not. I do. You're full of shit. Well, not not <laughs> okay, a digit, fine. but I have one of the A's. I have a digit, not a digit, but I have a digit. Okay, what's one of the A's? This this A, the one telling how many, has to be a three. Why? Because it's the only cage that can fit three of anything. Oh, and all of the first digits have to be different, just like all the second digits have to be different. Yeah. Good shout. So the first so digits are... first A's are one or two. Uh-huh. Yeah. So this indexes either four 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 five 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 or six 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 okay <laughs> so i can tell so... that the two cells on the right of that cage one of them has to be on the left side of the grid and one of them has to be on the right because they can't be uh -huh. in the same column because they have to be the same number yeah so it's yeah some combination of these guys and we also know that they're specifically indexing either a 4, or 5, or a 6. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to get more headway with this, actually, because we have some restriction on what digits can go in there. So okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to highlight like what these could possibly be referencing. Um, so they could be referencing box 1, box 2, box 3, or box 5. They cannot be self-indexing. And so the four six below them, they can only index box four or box six. Oh yeah, we should probably have done that one first. Ooh, and so that has um, to be the one. Correct. So this is a two for its first A, and uh -huh. that means that it must include box two. The second digit is a five. Because that's the only digit that could be so because one of the digits that this cage is indexing is in row one or two column four and it also has to be four five or six but the only digit from that range that could yes. be in those two cells is five yes so this, okay this clue is two five and there's no five in there and there definitely is a two in there because it has to use box yeah. two nice and so now that there can't be a five in here anymore we can't be working with box five at all so we can remove box five from our shading and i can remove twos from here Perfect. Nice. And if that pops back in, it's not because I undid it. It's just because <laughs> Sudoku Pad is sobbing in a corner right yep, now. It, it does seem um, to be struggling. It has been known to. We haven't been deleting digits this time, probably because clearing the cache, we were kind of optimistic about it. Shh, glum hippo, don't tell them. <laughs> 
yeah, don't tell them. We're we're good. It's gonna dip <laughs> below five hours, and we're gonna feel really good about it. And then it. it's gonna dip below you're... four hours, and then it's gonna dip below three, and then two, and then one, and then we're gonna and go to bed. Gonna... And then they're gonna start torturing us by oh, making no. the last hour last like three and a half hours. Oh is no! Exactly what's gonna happen? How That's many exactly their plan. Literally... How many people do you think are literally saving their, like, $100 donation <laughs> for the last hour of the stream? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. For the quote-unquote last hour? Guys, we're already, like, 50% beyond what we hoped to raise with this particular stream, so mm -hmm. you don't need to donate anymore. Like, we're cool. <laughs> like, we did it. You, you done we, good. We are gonna, yeah, you did great. Now we're just fulfilling our obligations and enjoying a nice puzzle. We are going to do another fundraiser in November. God damn it, James. <laughs> James is absolutely sitting on his donation until the timer says like 10 minutes. And we're like gearing up to go to bed. Okay, let's figure this out. So there's a five here. Okay. So there are some interesting... Hmm. Maybe not. I, I just had a bunch of five pencil marks mysteriously appear. <laughs> no, they're good. Like, I wanted them there. Oh, okay. It just took a moment. <laughs> I see. Oh, no. They did mysteriously appear, though. They did. Yeah, it was very mysterious. Um, I'm losing the thread here. Give, Same. give me some kind of a move here. Okay, so the AA below is indexing a four or a six. Okay. Which I think can only be in box six. Okay, so region four is... Yeah, so if we were in region four, it would be one of those cells. Yeah, so it's just like one self-indexing cell, basically. Right. So it has to be the six, surely, then. Yeah. Because that's in region six, so the six is self-indexing here. So this is a one six, and this mm -hmm. is a three four. Mm -hmm. So now we can start thinking about where we get to put fours mm -hmm. in like these sets of cells. Ooh, so there can't be a six at all in here. Oh, and because it... there's not a four there, so six has got to be in those cells. And it can't be from box three because it would be a self-indexing three. Correct, and it has to be a four. So yeah, three is also over here. So these are one, well, two, no. five. Oh yeah, no. That yeah. okay, yes. I'm with you. Yeah, because we can't we can't do self indexing there at all. Because it would just refer to its own um to its own cell. Yeah. And yeah, it my, can't be four. My understanding of this is very tenuous. Like don't mess with me. <laughs> Ooh, Clover. Why can't it be four? Because if it puts oh! Uh, yeah, because if it's four, it would repeat in the row. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're, oh, you're brilliant. Okay. Ace, and that so just is, is a one, two, that five. Chat. That's a one, two, five, and that tells us that five goes up here. It was bells, because of course it was. Is, bells is a genius, but anyways, that means that this is a one, two, because the five is now no longer in region three. Right. The fives that are indexed are in one and two, so we can uncolor that, and then this is a three, four, six. And then one, two, and five, we have fours, we have fours, and we have fours, which means that that's not a four, so there's a four in one of those cells. Okay, this variant is annoyingly growing on me, and I don't want it I, to. I don't, bro, I feel literally the exact same I way. I don't I need this so variant in my life. <laughs> needlessly complex. There is so much other stuff that I feel like my, my brain cells would be better spent right. beating against. And yet, <laughs> and, and yet, yet. <laughs> it's kind of good. <laughs> it actually is kind of good. I don't hate it. Uh, All right, so five and one of those, so that's not a five. And these are three, four, six. That's not a five. Oh, so we can unpencil one of the fours oh, in box six. So that's a five. Ah, that too. In box six, we can? Or sorry, box five. Why? Because one of them oh, can't be referenced. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, and that makes this a six and a yep. four. Oh, that's great. Okay. So that cage is just done. Oh, and that's now a three. I can place that, and I can place a three there. That's very fun. So which cage? Yeah, that cage is done. Beautiful. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, and now I can place three over here, too. 
that's not a one, so that's a three five pair. I'm trusting your pencil marks because I can't be bothered to check. <laughs> I think I'm being relatively trustworthy. I think I'm getting my cool. second wind. Cool. Is Zoom that, on that through then. Thing? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, as soon as you say that, I'm just instantly going to slow to a crawl. Ah, <laughs> uh, that can't be a four. Yeah. So, what do we do now? There's got to be some shenanigans. Can't just do some more Absolutely Sudoku magic and make here. it fall apart. <laughs> oh, is it magic? It's not skill now. It's magic. Okay, do some more Sudoku skill. <laughs> do some more Sudoku skill. <laughs> Clover, have some more skills. I'm sorry, I'm, I've been working on that all my life. I am not sure it's really going to work out for me at this point. <laughs> so what you're saying is we have to do actual work here. We can't just rely on your innate abilities. I'm, well, I'm afraid so. Very practiced abilities. Do you remember? So, I think Sam did a rant about this about some guy in CTC's YouTube comments way back in the day who got really mad about classic Sudoku that was set by hand to demonstrate particular classic techniques. So, I think specifically he was really butthurt about a shy puzzle. Because, quote-unquote, it seemed unnatural and contrived, as opposed to computer-generated Sudoku that happened to showcase these techniques, like, by accident, which he thought of as being, like, naturally occurring. Oh, gosh. And it just, like, was trying to defend this perspective to the end of the earth, and it was just very, very funny. <laughs> it was, like, angry that people would set a Sudoku specifically to showcase a technique. I do not remember that at all. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, so Bells is saying we need a two in one of these. Let's figure out why. Why? Because magic. Why? Why do I need a two in one of those? Because I could have a four there and a two here, right? That seems that fine seems to fine. me. Yeah. It seems fine to me. That would so make that a clarifies. one. That would be a one. That would be a two. That would put a four there. Um, if there were one four, if there were one five pair, where do you put the fours? Okay, let's figure it out. So if that's a one five pair, then we would put the fours there. Oh, because they'd oh, it's be the same side. column. I see. Yeah, it's like a, it's okay, like yeah, a thing. fair enough. So that means we got to have a four in one of these. So that's not a four, and that's a six. Nice. Oh, and that gives us the four in. Oh, that does. no useful oh, box. Never four. mind. Yeah, that's not actually useful. I was, I was so with you. I was ready to follow you to the ends of the earth on that one. <laughs> um, so. Is it going to be some God. weird thing about how the three, the position of the fives is interlocked with the position of the fours, and that lets I'm you to really do stuff? I'm really hoping it's not. I really hope I it's really not. Hope it is. I really yeah. hope Sudoku just does magic. Please, Sudoku. Please. <laughs> For us. Please. We're very sleepy. Hmm. Oh, we're almost down below five hours. We have nice. one more minute to hit that five hour remaining mark. Maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna let us get through this. Do you think? Someone has got a sugar crash coming up. Shh. Oh, and one of these has to be a five, which we already know. Um Yeah, because of the cake, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. Man, the temptation to just move to the next grid using those by values and see if I can work backwards into this grid is extremely <laughs> powerful. <laughs> I'm curious, what is the next grid? Ooh, it's a Nurakabe. Ooh. That's kind of fun. That is kind of fun. Do you want to just go to the next grid? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, okay. <laughs> You wouldn't go to the next grid on that. Uh, <laughs> true. Yin -yang. True. I'm not going to the next grid on this. Yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see. 
So what is it? The, the four in box one has to appear, or no, the four in box two has to appear in the opposite row from the, the five in box two, is that correct? Um, what do you mean? Because of the twos here and the twos here, we either get uh -huh. two two like that, which would give us four five, or we get two two like that, which would give us four five. Okay. I don't I don't know what that means, but that's how the two rows are linked. So if four is here, then four is there. And that means that these two cells are one and two, like that. Mm -hmm. If four is here, then that's going to be a two. Mm. Then that would be a five. It's definitely going to be unique. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, these had the absolute crap tested out of them, and we are not the first but people to get this. But Isabella, far either, the sure. master of Psycho Look and Say, says that it's not unique. So, what can we do? We have to move on Wait, to the next grid. Yeah. I think Bells is maybe just trying to give us permission to move to the next grid <laughs> because she feels sorry for us, is what I think is happening. <laughs> so, Chameleon is saying if row one, column four is five then we have a problem. So if that's a five, let me just, here, I'm going to clear some of my pencil marks to just clean up a little bit. Sure. Okay, so if that's a five, then this would be a two. For one that column would make this a one, five, and two. Three. And then that would be a four. Oh, but it would also have to be a three because of the row is what he's saying. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Because that couldn't be a three either. That would have to be a four. So yeah, that can't be a five because if that's a five, that eliminates three from both of these two cells and it breaks the row. Ech. So that's not a five. Disgusting. A five. That is disgusting. I agree <laughs> wholeheartedly. Okay, I take back everything nice I said about Psycho Look and Say. Terrible genre. Delete. Terrible genre. Remove from throw the internet. Di throw it directly in the trash. <laughs> right in the trash. <laughs> Straight right to there. the bin. Just, just to be clear, like, please don't take us, like, please, please don't, you know, shade us on the internet for saying that. We're not being serious. We love your genre. <laughs> we think it's wonderful. I'm being a little serious. Glyph Girl's being serious, but I'm not. <laughs> please, if you, if you need to send anybody angry DMs, he's right there. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Glyph Send me angry DMs. <laughs> I would love to I tell you to... how bad your genres are. <laughs> It's true. Um, I, I do enjoy how uh, how um, how refined your taste in genres is. <laughs> to be fair, ninety five percent of genres are bad, so don't at me. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely gonna at you. <laughs> okay, what is the next? Nurakabe. Uh, let's go. Let's do it. So Nurakabe Hybrid by Maze Gator. Okay, so you have six by six Sudoku. We're shading some cells blue, representing... Oh, it's Nurikabe with, like, water and islands. That's precious. So we're shading some cells blue, representing water, such that all water is orthogonally connected, but no 2 by 2 area is fully covered. Shade all other cells green, forming islands. Each island contains one cage clue, and the digit in the cage indicates the size of its island. Beautiful. I kind okay. of like... I kind of don't like how they tell us what colors to make the islands in the water. Yeah, what if I want, like, desert islands? Yeah, right? Let me make the islands I'm... what color I want to make the islands. I'm going to make them green, though. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try to figure out where blue is, though. Blue is nine. Okay. Blue has okay, to so be connected, has... so it has to grow out. Yeah, and this also has to grow out because its total is yep. going to be 19. Yep. Okay, and this also still has to grow out because its total is 19. The 19 surely has to be size 5, right? Yes, it always has to be size 5, that is right. So the 19 has to take this cell because otherwise it ends up touching the 9. So this is going mm -hmm. to be 4, that's going to be 9, that's going to be oh, 9. Oh, that's actually only 5 cells it can take. That's funny. 
That's oh, that is true. Very nice. So then those are water, and these kind of sneak out of here, mm -hmm. and then that nine grows, but that yep. doesn't necessarily have to keep growing. Well, it does because it, it be can't water. be two seven. Oh, that's true. That has to express how big it is. It's almost like funky x sums. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And it certainly can't be four cells, nine, so. I think I remember this puzzle. It, water. There were like concerns about whether or not it would be unique in the bottom right. We're going to find out. And then that has to grow. And then My bets are that it's grow. not unique. Just snuck in somehow. Oh, man. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I would feel about that at this point. I think I would just sigh and shake my head. So 19 is just missing a 2, so the 2 goes there. So that's a 3 by Sudoku. You have many cage sizes you can just write in. A 2 and 1, a 3. I keep forgetting that, though. Yeah, 5 and 1. So that's got to be a 1. 4 and 6, 3 and 5. That's a 5. Okay. And then six can't just be one cell, and it also can't be three cells, so it goes like that. Mm -hmm. So that's our Nurikabe. Yep. And hopefully the rest of it will be blessed. So that's going to be two and four, three and five. So that can't be two and four, so that's five and one. That's going to be two, four, or six. So that's not a six. These are one, three, and five. That's not a one. Okay, that's now a two. Hey, Tall Cat with the gift subs. Yo, Tall Cat. Is Tall Cat blessing us? Oh, Demano got one. Oh, well, thank you so much, Tall Cat, for providing a bunch of gift subs. I appreciate that very much. That that money does go towards Sudoku Khan, um, even though it does not go towards extending the fun today for longer. So thank you very much. Um, Demano, Jibale, and J40 all got a got a gift sub. Sick. Okay, that is a six and a five, four and a two, a four and a six, three, five, three, and four. Da -da -da -da. Plus that was not nice. bad at all. That was that cute. was quite good actually. Okay. Oh, our next one is Malrog. Hi, Malrog. Hey, it's Malrog the egg. Is in the chat with us. Oh my God. Okay, let's. let's I don't know if it's actually egg. an egg, but it's good. <laughs> we also have a little level two hype train going on. Thank you for the hype nice. train. Nice. Okay, let's see what we got. So, what are the eggs? Rules? Caterpillar. Killer lines. Along the line, digits are grouped in sections, each containing exactly one small digit clue. The digits in a section cannot repeat and must sum to the value of the clue. Ooh, I kind of love okay. that. I kind of do too, actually. That's very so cool. So either this is a three, or it's like a one-two pair. Right. Ooh, okay. I bet there's some global bullshit happening here not global but like with the sum like a maximum or minimum sum of all of the digits the nine has to be two cells the seven oh, has to be two nine's... cells no nine's got to be three cells because we can't include a five or a six in it so the nine wait. actually has to be two three four wait why can't it just be like oh that nine. Oh. yeah so that's two, three, four. Wait, but why can't it go three cells downwards? Oh, because I thought that there was a clue in there because I'm fully hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that time of the stream. It's just that time of stream. So let's let's do some careful coloring here. Nice and careful. Okay. Come on, Clover. You got there we go. <laughs> green is a beautiful color. Let's do green. Okay. <laughs> so it's definitely two, three, four, right? Well, could it be like one, or three, five? It? No, it couldn't be it one, actually... one, two, six. No, look, it could. It could be one, three, five. Well, where would the five go? Right here. But then it doesn't reach the nine clue. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
Okay, I, I, think this, I believe I think you. It's two, three, four. Three. <laughs> okay, it's definitely two, three, four. <laughs> yep. Okay, I understand why they're eggs, because caterpillars do, in fact, lay eggs. Wait, caterpillars do lay eggs, right? Do they? I have no idea. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna be clipping this clip roll, oh. and they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like DMing it to us for the rest of our lives. Oh, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> remember the time like two of the Sudoku community's brilliant minds absolutely lost it, giggling about not knowing whether caterpillars lay eggs or not. Yeah, I no, remember. <laughs> they don't lay eggs; they like cocoons, right? No, the <laughs> egg comes first. The Which comes first, the chicken or the egg? Which comes first, the chicken or the cocoon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so either that's a 2-3 pair with a 4 there, or that's just 2-3-4. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, it can be what it wants. So those are definitely part of the 9. And what next? Maybe if I do some more coloring, something will emerge, like a caterpillar out of its cocoon. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, the cell just to the left of the one you have now definitely has to be yellow. Because nothing else That's can true, reach it. The nine can't reach it, yeah. <laughs> Who descends into madness first, the clover or the flip? The answer is you. Yeah, we're we're not crazy. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> oh man, we got our hype train level two. Nice. I don't know if we actually like did anything to make that happen, but thanks guys. So why can't yellow go up? It could be. It absolutely three, right? could. Oh, it can't because then the three would be broken because the three would see all three of those cells. And so oh, whoa, that's so very nice. Absolutely cannot go up. Okay. Really nice. Okay. So that's either blue or pink. Blue so or purple. Those are nine or. Ah, uh, there. <laughs> nine or there. Nine or there. Hmm. So this is definitely one, two, or three. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure it's red, Paulfly. But I was willing to believe that I no longer understood what colors were. <laughs> I think it's because my monitor thinks it's time for me to go to bed. It's turning all the colors yellow. Your monitor usually tells you to go to bed shortly after noon. Yeah, that is weird. I guess it figured out that I flipped my schedule. <laughs> That's wild. That's actually very cool. That is very cool. Good job, Flux. It's a little eerie, but it's very cool. <laughs> okay, so if this is nine... Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay. So if six goes all the way down to here. Oh, the nine. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. If six goes all the way down to here, then that would have to be one, three, two, because I of the two in that. the row, which breaks the three clue because it can no longer be oh, a single three or a one, two pair. So six very doesn't nice. go down to there. Okay. So that's going to be part of the nine. Therefore, that's a four, and that's a two, three pair. Very nice. That's a one, four pair. And that now. Orange gets sucked down into that cell. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Okay. But it could still now be I'm two or three at the cells. Six. Yeah. Which is either. Digits in a section can't repeat. So oh no! It just is three. one it five. Must be a one five pair. So therefore, that's oh, that's three. cute. That's that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not a one. All right. Oh, and we have a... And this is now a 1-4 pair. We have some roping. Well, we have a 2-3 pair in the row, but I guess it doesn't actually resolve the 3. Mm. It does, though, because... 
But it oh, could it be 2-1. It doesn't at yeah. all, actually. But you really made me think that it did for a moment. <laughs> hmm. The 9 is either 4-5 or... Oh no, it could take those two cells, could it? Yeah, okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got three options, at least. Probably Sadly. more. Oh, the seven can't be one, two, four, because then this cell couldn't appear Ooh, on the seven. Ooh, that's very cute. So the seven's got to only be three, four, like that. That's nice. That's real. That's really cute. And so therefore, this is red slash pink slash whatever you decided it was. Ooh, and now the nine can't have a three on it. Okay. So it is either so four, five, or so one, two, six. It's either four, five, like this. Or, yeah, it's one, two, six, like that. Um... So this is one, five, or six. Amazing. Yeah, but we already knew that. This thing really holds up. This is an impressive construction, Malrog. Yeah, good job. All the deductions for, are fun. Yeah, for a brand new constraint, this is this is satisfyingly like well explored. Right. So two ways to make nine, either. Four and five here, or four and five. Oh, it can't be four and five there. Why? Because if it's four and five there, then the three has to be two cells, but we also have oh, one in this cell. Oh, wow. So we can't do a two cell three anymore. Okay. So that means the nine has to extend down to this cell, because if it's only up in these two cells, we get that four five effect. So the nine definitely lives down here. And therefore, and so it's one, two, six. Yeah. And so that's a two. Nice. Five and one, that's just a three. And I think that should that should have done it. Yeah, just Sudoku now. Just Sudoku. If Sudoku I really can be hard trusted. Not to say that in like in in gas explanations, because I feel like that kind of implies that Sudoku is like the labor that you have to get through after you've solved the actual fun puzzle. I mean And I don't Think yes. like that, so I, I, I don't feel like that. <laughs> I enjoy just like vibing with a with a nice, pleasant, well flowing Sudoku. But maybe I'm weird. I mean, I am weird, but not for that reason. Okay, I'm not sure why Conflict Checker is very specifically angry with me about that right. six, but you know, it that's was fine. it was flashing at me a bit, but now it seems to have settled <laughs> yeah, down. Go, go off, Conflict Checker. You can do do what you got to do. All right. Seven oh, dots. Oh, we've got Lior. I think Lior may have gone. Oh, Lior's still here. Hi, Lior. We're solving your puzzle. Now. Oh, this Let's is very it. cool. Okay. Wow. Seven dots. I have no idea what this rule set is, but I already like the the grid. That's so <laughs> nice. Glipperl's just gonna go home and set five hundred puzzles after this experience. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this is just like your yearly pilgrimage to the right? uh, to the well to the well of New Variants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna and set a you're... seven dots puzzle. I'm just gonna set seven E and then seven F and then seven G. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's understand. So digits along a red line alternate between even and odd. Okay, I hate this M. puzzle. <laughs> Terrible. Why would you set something like you, this? Glipperl, he's in the chat. You know that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. just joking. You, you'd better be. <laughs> seven dots. A digit N in a cell with a dot sums to seven with one or more digits in the direction of the dot starting with the nth digit in that direction. So first of all, how does a dot have a direction? Oh. Okay. I can see how they have directions. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Um, so you start with the nth digit in that direction, so this has got to be a 1, 2, or 3. This has got to be a 1, 2, or 3. Right. And so it could be... Oh, and that's a 1, 6. That's not a 1. So it could either be a 2 with a 5... Or it could be a 2 with any two digits that sums to 5. Or it could be a 3 with a 4. So 2 and 5, 3, 
four or two one four or two three two. Boy, that is weird. <laughs> that is pretty weird. <clears throat> okay, I kind of like it again. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have this parody thing, <clears throat> but we don't really have anything that we can do with it yet, except that these are the same parody. Chad is definitely Whatever. screaming coloring. Oh, but I don't want to. Good. <laughs> well, I don't want to, not because I don't like coloring, but just because I know that I'll have to like recolor it properly later once I actually figure out what's <laughs> odd and even, and I'm genuinely uh, feeling that lazy. Fair. Okay. So this could be a one, which yeah. would make this a four and a two. Or it could be a two. Why couldn't it which be a make... five and a one? Oh, because there's a one. Because you Duh. can't have a two ones in a row. Uh, or this could be a two, which would make this a one and a four. Or mm -hmm. it could be a three, which would make this a four. And so the one thing that jumps out at me is that four is always in one of these two cells. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So, Wait, why can't it be a two with a five? Because there's a five in that column already. Okay, so it has to include the nth digit in that direction. It, yeah, it says it starts with the nth digit in that direction. So I assume we go to the nth digit and then we continue in the same direction, summing cells okay. until we decide to stop. Okay, I think I get I, it. I could be wrong. Um, I, it sounds reasonable. I believe yeah. it. Lior hopefully will like tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Oh no, somebody is querying the how to donate. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, and Lior says that we've interpreted the rules correctly, so we're good. How many? Well, that's okay. We've got like 300 before they add an hour. That's tr that's true, actually. And I I know that they're sitting there waiting to screw with us, so we definitely have like a little bit of time. Yeah, we've got a bit of a buffer. To just relax and watch it tick down. We have a little bit of a buffer. I, would, I wouldn't mind if we end up getting that 300 and hitting 1,000 total for this stream. That would be really gratifying. Are we actually that close to 1,000? Wow. Yeah, I mean, we would need to do, like, Yeah, true. Even if they only added one more hour, we would be over 1,000. That's true. If they add an hour, we hit 1,000. Yeah, which is really cool. And I know that they're going to want to add an hour. No, Palfly, we're not coloring. <laughs> Never. Resist the urge. Okay, so two with one four breaks the line in box three. Does it really? So if that's a two, one, four, how does that break the line? I f am not seeing how that breaks anything. Oh, I, I see it now. Okay, so if that's I'm two, one, it. four, so let me, let me kind of... So if that's two, one, that's five, one, that's four, three. then these are both odd, but we already have two odds in the column. The one we just placed. Oh, odd. wow. Okay. So that can't be a two at all, because that was the only way to do a two. Yeah, okay. Oh, and that's so on a parity line. So either three with a four, or one, four, two. But that's an odd digit on a parity line now. Where? Oh, bro. Okay. I see you. Okay. There we go. Well, that's cool. Not that it gives us anything. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of nice to have. Oh, and we said one of those had to be a four. Oh, so that dude. cell's not a four. Hey, get, well, get a load of this. We can do the yeah. other parity line. Because either this is a one, in which case it's four, two, and this is a two, which makes these two both odd. Okay. Or this is a three and this is a four. Whoa. Both odd. Whoa. So regardless, that's a one. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's a two. So either this is a five or these two sum to five, which is going to be either five or a one four or a three two. Wow. So this has got to be one three five no matter what, which is kind of fun. Oh god, more parody nonsense. I know. Doesn't it smell like parody? Yeah. But, oop. That's not what oop. I wanted to do. Um. <laughs> Those are even. Five and six are not the two large even numbers. As yeah. As much as I'd like them to be. Which is why you put yeah, a, f a four in that box. Uh-huh. Clover. Ooh. What'd I do? Clover oh. box. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I done screwed myself. Okay. 
That's a five. Yes. Clover, that's a five. That's a four, <laughs> six pair. That's a two. Clover, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this <laughs> Clover is going to get through this with Clover, don't worry. Clover and Clover are going to get through this together. Yep. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We've got a 1-6 looking at the 4-6 in box 3. Um, the 4-6 in box 3. Oh, I do. Very nice. Oh, and that places the 4 that three we need five. for the 7 dot. Oh, yep. So that's going to be a 3. And then a 5 and a 3. And then by Sudoku we get those. And this... Oh, this is a nice little puzzle. I like this one. Oh gosh, here it is. We got 150 from LOSF. Oh no, that's the person who was just checking out the donations. Yep. So thank you very much for donating. It's very kind. You do realize you're hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> it says thanks oh, for so all. Thanks for all of the gas puzzles, Clover in particular, and both just generally Aww. contributing to a great community. Thank you, LOSF. You are a hero. We appreciate you. That's really sweet. Yeah, th thank you so much. We only hurt the ones we love. <laughs> God, ain't it true, though? Well, I, you know, if this is what hurting me looks like, then then go on. Here I am. Beat up on me by giving money to a cause I care about. Yes, beat okay. us up more. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's terrible. Keep hitting me with donations. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Oh, it's Paul Fly's puzzle. Hey. Oh, this is exciting. Paul Fly has been such a big help on this stream. Paul Fly has been messaging all of the setters to tell them to come watch their puzzles. Ooh, and it's another one with the fun, like, just small cages in the grid. So here we go. Remote sums. So a digit N in a cage points at a digit Y that is N cells away vertically or horizontally. The number given in the cage is N plus Y. Okay. So like a three here would point to, we've already had that rule set. So a three here would point to a five that was three cells away. So right, like a three okay. three would imply a five here, okay. Why is so it Y cool. this had... time? Oh, because there's X I sums don't... also. <laughs> oh no, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Well, where, wait, where are their X sums clues? Digits outside the grid. Wait, what? I'm going to assume that's just a transcript error. Flumma 3, that is absolutely none of your business. And Pixel 1000, that is also absolutely none of your business. But if you want to donate, I might answer. Um, so yeah, I'm guessing that got copied over from an Exums puzzle? Hey, Rockrat took care of it. Ah, oh, thank you, Rockrat. Appreciate you. Okay, so 19. Wait, why is there a 19 clue here? That shouldn't be possible with remote sums. Yeah, now I'm confused. I feel like we're missing something about the rules. Maybe Paul Fly can help us with this. Yeah, because the rules are definitely not correct here. Oh, in this puzzle. Read the rules wait, wait. In this puzzle, remote sums can point at exactly one cell outside the grid, making that cell an X sums clue. Oh my god, my brain just skipped that. Entirely. Same. Wow. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> How did we, we both literally just say, oh, we'll just stop reading the rules after sentence three? Because we were both like, oh. It's the same one as we did before. We know remote sums. Yeah. I okay. mean, I was so excited to see something so strange yet so familiar. So the 19 oh, has to be a 6, right? Because it has to point outside the grid. And it can't be a oh, 1, because no, no, no. the x sums will be, be 1. A... It could... Oh, dude, that's so sick. That that's is cool. Such, that's such a little thing, but that's actually so freaking cute. Because I was about to fight with you about it. I was about to be like... Oh, why can't it be a 1? Look, I'm really <laughs> smart. It's right there. But no, because those couldn't be 18 then. So that's absolutely a 6. Now, question. 
Yes. Do we get to use like the meta knowledge that this is another grid? I'm and not sure. I think it could have an X sun there. Thirteen there. I wouldn't put it past Paul Fly. <laughs> hmm. No, this has got to. This has got to be a thirteen. That's definitely our thirteen. Okay. I don't think that's true. <laughs> isn't it? I would. Why isn't it true? I wouldn't be surprised if it couldn't be a thirteen over there. That's just not written in. That's just like not written in the grid. Yeah. Oh my god, that would be so nasty. <laughs> it would be a little nasty. Okay, fine. One of those is a 13. Okay, one of them's a 13, that's for sure. Please make sure that I delete those so I don't sit there thinking I have that corner marked as one or three. So there's got to be... Oh, but it does have to be... Yeah, because it's got to be a 2 and a 6 on the exterior. And then a 5 for the... Oh, no, it has to be a 4 for the X sum, doesn't it? Wait, what? Oh, for a 13? Yeah, 13 plus there's... 6 is 19. So we need another 2 out of it. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm with you. So it does have to be a 4 on the exterior, so one of those is going to be a 4. And one of those cells is going to be and a 2. And then one of those is a 2. Very nice. Yeah. I think we have milked the 19 for everything we can I for agree. now. So what else do we have here? That 11 so seven... surely has to point outside as well. Well, the yeah, because the only alternative is... It, yeah, it can't be a 5 or a 6, like, naturally like right. in the grid. So it definitely points outside. So either it is a two pointing to a nine in one of these positions. Well, it can't be a five. Is that possible? The only other alternative is that it's a five pointing down Brilliant. or left. Yeah, so, yeah, and there's already a five in the row, so that's got to be a two. And then one of these is a nine, and it ain't this one because that has to start with a one now. Right. So that's yeah. a nine. And that's it a starts nine with, with a three. Three, two, four. Wow. Oh, I love it. This is okay. kind of cool. I like it. This is actually kind of cool. I mean, maybe we're just loopy, but this is actually kind of cool. I love these oh, grids that the are just two. like small cages. Now we know Aye. what the is. Okay, and it is in the nice spot. So that's the four. It is in the nice spot. Good, I don't good. know if we could have safely assumed that, though. That's the first time I've run into this situation of, like, am I allowed to use meta-knowledge of the fact that, like, they wouldn't make me write a clue <laughs> where another grid is going to, like, be physically located? Okay, so, eight. This cannot be a one, because it would end up inside the grid, and then we would need to have a seven inside the grid. So that has to be a two, and that makes this a six. Yes. That, that was too easy. Um, not too easy as in I'm mad about it, too easy as in it was suspicious. <laughs> how dare you make easy puzzles? What is wrong with you people? H how dare you? It's disgusting. <laughs> it's disgusting. Imagine, making it, imagine devoting years of your life to making easy puzzles. Couldn't be me. Okay, so seven. So I'm going to say that can't be five just because two is not a valid axioms clue. I believe that. This could be a 2 with a 5 there. Yep. It could be a 2 with a 5. Oh, no, it couldn't be a 2 with a 5 yeah, Xon. Yeah, I can't. Because the 5 would have to be 2, 3, which definitely wouldn't work. And it can't be 3 because 4 is also not a valid Xon. Yeah. So it's it's got to be this exactly. Uh-huh. And that should just okay, solve the grid, right? And four. It sh I mean, if it doesn't, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five, three, nice. one, and five, and four. Very nice. Oh, that was a lovely puzzle, Paul Fly. Thank you for that. Ooh, double arrow by Jacob and Woofer. Paul Fly did a harder version, but the digits from the last puzzle were wrong. No. Oh, no. Tragedy. Bro, heartbreaking. <sighs> I wouldn't be able to do oh, that. Man. I wouldn't be able to submit an easier puzzle. <laughs> Okay. I commend you on your sacrifices. <laughs> I think we all made some sacrifices if we were setting live on stream anyways. My sacrifice was Memerister's time. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're right, actually. <laughs> that was that, good self-awareness. I'm sorry, but you are, you are correct. <laughs> it was a pleasure to watch, though. I don't think I'd ever actually watched you set anything before, and I really enjoyed that. You're you're very meticulous in how you work. It's very different yes. from what I do. Yes.
Okay, so double arrows, the sum of the digits in two circles is equal to the sum of the digits on the line connecting them. So we have done this in gas. I believe Bill set one of these in gas. So okay. I'm slightly familiar with it. So like these two equals the sum of these three. And these are going to be pretty big. Like the minimum here is two, four, and four, which is 10. Right. So... That's got to be a five. <laughs> that's cute. And that's got to be a five or a six, so it's a six. So that's yeah. exactly 11, actually. So that's two, four, five. So that's going to be two and five. And then that's one, two, and three. Zooming. Dang. Just crushing it. Yeah. Okay. So then these two equal these. Hmm. So we we need... Huh. Those two sum to five more than the circle. Oh, hey, Jacob. Jacob's in chat. That's uh, original hey. Elijah. Thank you for the puzzle. I'm glad you made it. I hope you saw Paul Fly's ping, and that's what brought you here. Uh, Bells is saying five in box three, and Leor is plus one -ing, So. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a five oh, down there, and it's on not on. Line. Yeah. yeah, because if it was on the line, we'd have duplicated digits there. I was so just looking at that. Four, six. Beautiful. Nice. Great minds. Okay, so now that's a four six, that's a three. And those are four five six. Fabulous. Okay. So which of these two is more likely to yield something? Hmm. This we know has a three on it. So this is either going to be, in these two, it's either going to be four or five, mm -hmm. which is pretty low. Oh, mm -hmm. can we do the same thing with five in box five? We can. I was looking at the shape of that, and I was thinking that it was, um... oh, wait a second. Yeah, you're totally correct. So five basically can't be in those cells. So five is in one of those. We don't necessarily know it's on the circle. In fact, it can't be on the circle because if it was... Oh, yeah, true. So we actually can place a ton of fives and we can do this. But if this was five plus six, this would also have to be five and right. six. So it's five plus four with the three six there. Hey. Oh, I really like this one. That's cute. Just Jacob good, and Woofer, well done. Good, solid deductions. Yeah, this is like just a good time. Yeah. So if this is a four and a four, then this would be a one-two pair to make eight, which breaks this cell. Oh, So it's a four cute. and a six, and then that's a two-three pair to make ten. Nice. And that's a six, that's a four. One, four, two, one, three, two, six, and three. All right. What? A relaxing puzzle. That was lovely. I'm gonna reload Sudoku Pad again before it explodes. Yeah, please do. Before it turns into Explodoku Pad. Poor Sven. <laughs> oh, it's taken it a is... while to load this time. There it oh, goes. Oh okay. no. Okay. Is it getting tired? Is it it getting might be getting sleepy? tired. Hopefully, we're getting oh, near the end of this Sudoku chunk. Pad. <laughs> We kind of aren't. We have a oh, fair no. bit of chunk to go. Oh, no. We have, like, almost two columns left. We might have to delete some digits or clear cache or something. <laughs> well, if you want to delete digits, I'm not going to stop you. All right, so now we have Crop Killer Sudoku by Barbitos. So, Kropke cages, the value of a cage is the sum of the digits in it. Cage values separated by a white dot are consecutive. Cage values separated by a black dot are in a 1 to 2 ratio. So we have basically Kropke, but operating on cage totals. All right, so this is 5, so this is definitely going to have to be 10, which makes this a 6 to get a total of 21. Ooh, all possible dots between cages Ooh, are given. that's fun. So this can't be four or six because it's next to the five. Cage. Right. So this is a four or six pair with a two or three. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I like that a lot. I'm oh. not sure I've ever seen this with a negative constraint. And that can't be a three, because it's next to either a four or a six. Oh, no kidding. So it's a two next to a six. I love that. Because the two can't be next to a four. Yeah. So then these are one, three, five, and this can't be one or three because we would need a white dot to go with the six, so that's a five. And then these guys are, one of them's four, one of them's eight. So one of them will be one and three, and the other one will be two and six, and I'm just going to do that like that so I don't forget. Okay. Oh, dude. Clipper, we'll get a load of this. Yes. So this one or three, where does it go in box four? It goes in one of those cells. Hey, that's so cute. That's gotta be the one three pair. That's adorable. That's okay. fun. I like that. Yeah. So six is in one of those. Then what on earth do we have? We can place the. F okay, never mind. Can digits can repeat in cages? Um. Oh, if they can, then that deduction I just made was no good. Yeah. I was assuming they couldn't. Oh, Chad is yelling at us about that too. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> Melro Melrog is sounding the alarm. Okay. <laughs> so that 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 is an error for me. I'm afraid. Yeah. So back we go. And that's still a one, three, five, and that's still not a one or a three, so that's a five. Yeah. But that's all I can really do. Man. Okay. So what do we do then? Good question. <laughs> it's really just going to be the negative constraint doing the rest of the work, isn't it? I mean, it's going to have to be. Jeez. So if this is 10, yeah. then there are some restrictions on this total. Can't be 5, can't 9, be... or 11. <laughs> well, it can't be 4 and 5, and it also can't be 4 and 1. Uh, technically, it could be 4 and 6. Yeah, I was true. trying to rule a 4 out of it, That's but I funny. can't, alas. Um... This can't be 5, because it would be adjacent to the 10 cage. Yeah. This is 2, 3, or 6. There's, in fact, there is a 6 in one of those. Hmm. One of these guys is going to be a 6. I love that Lior redeemed their channel points in order to tell us digits could repeat. <laughs> That's I think Rockrat is responding to my saying, what are we supposed to do now? By saying, continue to slowly go insane. No, we're almost to the <laughs> four hours remaining mark, and you guys still have not managed to add another hour for the last, like, two and a half hours. So, I don't know. I don't think they can do it. I think they're just going to let us finish. You know, what's... I think they're all tapped out. You know what's hilarious is this one quadruple in the next grid that's just given by this one up here. Ooh, we got a spammer to spank. Um, oh, yep. I do know the cage totals there. Malrog is reminding me that I know the cage totals in column six. So the cage totals are four True. and eight. Does that actually help me? Uh, How does that help uh, me? <laughs> oh! Hey, good job, Rock Red. Liberal, we're Liberal were complete dinguses. The oh, because that's a off, nine. So it's <laughs> a nine. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, these guys sounded the alarm when my did like my digits were right. They sounded. I think didn't Malrog sound the right. negative constraint <laughs> alarm? Bro, I had it right. That's funny. And they were over. <laughs> they were over here <laughs> sounding the alarm. <laughs> Tallcat, I swear to God, if you donate again and you and you rob us of the chance to see this tick down past four hours, I, man. 
Oh yeah, Palfly <laughs> dropped really 50 close. bucks. It says, Thank come you, on, Palfly. people, we can get to the 1,000. $1,000 would make a big difference. We are only Sudoku-Con. 13 so, bucks yeah. short. Shit. <laughs> that is more so than I was expecting from this stream. So this also has a 2 in it. And we're also um, getting dangerously close to another hour. <laughs> we really are. I, um, it, like, I felt like they were going to wait until we were down to, like, below one hour and then start messing with us. Right. I feel like, I feel like they can't resist. I feel like we're never going to get past the four-hour mark now. <laughs> okay, so that four-cell cage is next to a lot of stuff. It's next to a two, five, six, and nine, and four. Ooh, so it can't be 12. Oh, well, it can't be 12 anyways, because it has a one, two, and three in it. It can't be 10, because it's next to a five. So that can't be a four. There's a four in one of these cells. I think it can be eight, eleven. Can't be eight, can it? Right, because it's next a to four it. Next to it. So it can only be eleven. Well, it's definitely okay. So it's got one, two, three. So the remaining digit, it can't be seven. Can't be eight. Could it be nine? No, it would need another three. <laughs> it can have another three. Where? As a treat. I don't know. Have you checked your butthole? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> just, just, just look right on up there. See if you can find a place to fit another three. No, all um, I see is a one-three uh... pair in box four. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're so funny just because you're very good at setting puzzles. It's very funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it can't be ten. It could totally be eleven. And it can't be twelve. Yeah, so it's eleven. That's a two-five pair. Yeah. That's Beautiful. cool. I like it. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the time to work through that. I kind of needed a little help with that, but I got there in the end. Um, so that is 11. These are 1, 3, and 4. And they're next to an 8 this, cage. It can't be a 3, 4 pair, so it's got a 1 in it. So now that's oh, a 1, it's, 4. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, this is such a cool puzzle. This is pretty good. I feel like good. I'm saying that a lot, but a lot of them have been really cool lately. That's We're also a really good section. Ooh, so that's five now, that cage. So that one that's next five. to it can't be a nine. Or no, can't be a ten, sorry. Wait, why? Yeah, and it can't be a ten anyways, unfortunately. Oh yeah, it can't be a ten anyway. Yeah. And it also can't be a ten because it's next to the eleven. In case you wanted like other reasons, it also yes, can't okay, be a ten. Fair. Thank you, Clover. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can come up with some more reasons if you'd like that. Wait, no, it is also next to a 10, though. The 145 is a 10 cage. Oh, so that can't be a 9. Or that an 11. Can't be an 11, so that can't be a 6, so that's a 4. That That's some good logic. And it can't be 4 or 5, because that would also make 9. Perfect, so that's 4 3. Okay. That is cool. I like this puzzle. So these are 2, 3, and 5. So that's a three, a two, and a five, and that is a two. And that is a one or four. Oh, and the six can't, it can't be six, three, because that's also next to a 10 cage. Wait, which one? Oh, very nice. And that, I think, is enough to finish it. I liked that one. That was very that, cute. That hit a good note for difficulty for me, like a few of them really have. If Barbitos is in the chat, take a bow. That was a good one. Is Isaiah still in the chat? I know that he was here, like, last night. All right, I'm um, going to try deleting all the digits and see if this just explodes. Go I'm going to say a little prayer. Oh, man, it exploded a little on my end. It could have been worse. Okay. All right, can I get... Oh, it's totally oh, frozen. Give it a minute. It's having a moment. Okay, I think yeah. it's... Okay, That's we'll cool. see. I'm having a moment, too. Okay, oh, so I see my digits? grid coming up. Oh, bro. Okay, oh, what are my no. starting digits for Isaiah's puzzle? Uh, <laughs> I deleted them. I noticed that. I was hoping that maybe you'd had the foresight to, like, remember them. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Uh, Okay, I've got them. It's 2543. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this needs a 5. Imagine having foresight like 10 hours into the stream. That's now a 5. That's a 1 6 pair. These are going to be 1 2 3 like that. And that's 4 and 6. 
these will be four and five, making this a one six pair. And so I need a one here. Two oh, we got those cells. We got a twelve twenty three donation from Sleepy with the message for Tall Cat. <laughs> oh, there we are at a thousand. Thank you, Lior. Oh, Yay. very nice. Perfect round number. Oh, it's beautiful. Don't ever change. Are you happy tall <laughs> <At> cat? Least... <laughs> At least not until we get below the four hour mark. I just need that <laughs> from like a psychological perspective right now. Right. Okay, so one of those is gonna be a two, so these are three, four, five. Um I need a four in one of those cells. So there's gonna be a four in one of those. Ah, oh, what a relief to just see normal quadruples. <laughs> I know. It's it's merciful, isn't it? It very much is. As, as long as it's not just like quadruples parentheses question mark, like that one fucking <laughs> puzzle oh, that, God, almost, right. that almost made me just quit Sudoku. <laughs> and I'm not saying that because it was bad. It was a beautiful puzzle. It just was not the moment where I needed that. Yep. We were having a moment then. <laughs> we truly were. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I just placed a three there by Sudoku. Tall Cat says you can place the four around the four quad. Can I? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so that gives me a two also. Thank you for that, Tall Cat. I needed a little bit of an assist there. This is yeah, us just know. stumbling along and occasionally getting pushed back onto the path. Pretty much. This is what they are donating to see. Yeah, you know, if fair. this is what makes the people happy, then I'm glad they're happy. I'm happy that they're happy. Oh boy. So, yeah, I know the guy who set this puzzle, and Do you he's know? really eager to demonstrate it to us <laughs> and also just explain the solve path in a very lucid and articulate way after streaming for 13 hours. Oh, so yeah, if he definitely. would do that, I would really enjoy watching that, I think. Also, I like how all the dotted lines did make it into the big grid. Props to the, uh -huh. the meme rister team. The, the volunteers who typeset this are legendary. Like, the fact that we only had, what, two, maybe three puzzles that had any kind of typesetting error so far is mind-blowing. Yeah, right? Okay, so Slitherlink. The digit four gets replaced with the digit zero for Slitherlink purposes. Five and six don't mean anything. And then every other cell is a Slitherlink clue, except the ones that have clues in them have been overwritten. So this clue basically just means nothing. But this is a three. So we're going to get two edges there. This is a one, and we're going to get one edge from the three coming in either here or here. So the one can't have another edge in either of those two cells. Um, now, what was the cool point? <laughs> okay, this is also a two, which has one edge coming in from the three clue, and therefore one edge in these two. So we're going to get one edge coming out of it like so. but not necessarily the same on the other side with that one clue. Um, and that means that the zero here, if it were there, would not be a valid Slytherin clue, so the zero has to go up here. One, five, six, zero, two, three. Now. <laughs> <laughs> go on. <laughs> Don't, don't be shy. Everybody wants to hear about your beautiful puzzle. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, technically it's a four, not a zero, but I'm, I'm using the zeros just because. Uh, what is the key point here? Okay, here's one point. Th so this two, which has X's here and here, it's either going to be using both of these edges or neither of these edges and both of these. Either way, we've got one edge coming out of here and into this cell. And that's going to be important for a few deductions. One, it means that this can't be a zero. Two, 
Yes, it means that if this were a 3, we've got one edge coming from the 2 into this 3, and it can't be this edge, because then we couldn't have one edge coming from the 2 into it. So it has to be this edge, and therefore like so. But then this could not be a 0, this would have to be a 0, and this 2 is just broken, because we can't have an edge next to the 0, and we can't have edges here or here because of the way it wraps around the 3. So it's not a 3, this is a 2. Um, can we have... This is a 0, 3 sort of thing going on here. So either 0 here and 3 there, in which case the 3 is going to go like this, or the other way around, the 3 is going to go like this. Either way, we can mark in this, that, and that. Neither of these now can be... Oh, actually, could one of them be a 1? Maybe. This guy could be a 1. But if this guy were a 1, then this edge would have to go there and there, and that would just close the loop. So that's not 1. 203 breaks... Right, that was a step, wasn't it? Because if this is 203, then the loop has to go like this. The 1 in the box has to go here. But then... But then, now... Actually, no, that's fine. I don't think that does break the one in the box. Oh, yes, the zero breaks. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, because then this is a zero. So this end has to extend out here. But then the point being, this two would have to go like this, and this two is now broken, because again, it needs one end going out into there. So yes, 203 does break the one in the box, so it has to be 230, and we get this. This is a zero, so this end can't swing around there, it has to come out this way. That's not the one. Either of these could be a one. This two needs to get its second end right here, uh, which means this end continues along the top. Um, right. Now the tricky part. <laughs> Let me see if I can remember how this works. <laughs> yeah, now the tricky part. Now the tricky part. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Well, part of the point was this row, I oh think. Oh my god, somebody just donated, and we are standing on the edge of a precipice right now, Gloveral. Look at our donation progress. It was from Malrog. We're, oh we're no. Not, yeah, they're not going to let us do it. They're not. We're going to be sitting at four hours for the next four hours. Malrog said, if I'm breaking the 1,000, at least I'm keeping it roundish. Also, Clover, you can't hate me. It doesn't make another hour. It's true. It only... Uh, he's only creating an opportunity. Thank you, Malrog. <laughs> I mean, we dipped below... Talcat, we dipped below seven hours at least one or two times. Like, it doesn't count unless we're solidly below it and safe. And I am not feeling incredibly safe right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lowest that we've seen since about 10 minutes into the stream, so that feels pretty good. All right. One thing that's kind of cool to think about is that we're absolutely going to get through 100 plus puzzles. That is pretty cool. I can't say I have ever solved 100 Sudoku in a day before. Well, I don't know. We do have to get through the Glipperall puzzle. That's true. We might just stop here. 
come on, brain, where is the next? <laughs> I know I built deductions into this puzzle. Okay, that can't be a zero. You did, I watched you do it. None of those can be zeros. So zero is in one of those three. Zero is in one of these guys. Yeah, chat needs to start playing a game where they donate half the total to get to the goal and then just try to do it in increasingly smaller quantities until oh, somebody gosh. finally just like misjudges how much they have to donate and tips it over and then that person loses. Zero in row four, column five breaks. Wait. Row four, column five. Okay, well, here's a point. This loop can't go this way, because then that would be a three. Well, actually, no, it could be a five or a six. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Why does zero here break? Yeah, Tall Cat and Elf Girl Sarah are picking up what I'm putting down. Let's get some Zeno's Paradox donations going on here. Oh, Bella okay. Bell says she was, she was misunderstanding. Well, this zero does break, because it puts a zero there, and then the loop gets forced around like this, which breaks the two. Oh shit, they did it. So that's not zero. What did they do? <laughs> Rockrat <laughs> zero it. donated one dollar. You can Rock hate rat. me, smiley face. <laughs> I regret ever making you a moderator. <laughs> Oh gosh. Well, we're in it for the long haul. Yep. Feels good. Okay, this is not zero, one, or two, so that's three, five, or six. You guys had all better really, really enjoy Sudoku Con. <laughs> this is not a three, so that's or a zero or a one. Two, five, or six. This is not a three or a zero. One, two, five, or six. This is not a three. So three in the row is definitely going in one of these two cells. Ooh, um, New new boy toll. I'm not sure if that's how you say your name, but you you know who I'm addressing. Um, the person who just asked what are donations going towards. So we are on the planning team for Sudoku Con, which is an in-person Sudoku enthusiast con in Boston in April of next year. And right now we are working on finances for tech for the con. So specifically buying or renting a good projector, speakers, etc. Um so that we can kind of step up our, our tech game. We had a fundraiser last year that paid for fees to um, hire a lawyer to get a trademark search done and get registered as an LLC and cover our initial deposits with the hotel and everything. That's all done. And so now we're trying to kind of jazz up the con. And we are, actually, we are, we are hoping to do that. Because we got like a massive response from people who really wanted to to participate in some capacity or even watch it after the fact but who wouldn't be able to make it to boston yeah thank you to everybody who's donated you guys are fantastic Yeah, okay, here's a point. If this is the three, then the loop has to go around like this. Well, oh, could it go up into the one? No, it can't go up in, okay, yeah. 
if this is a three, the loop hence to go around like this. Loop end counts up here now dictate that we have to have a loop end coming through here. And now there's nowhere to put a zero in this box without breaking the zero would have to have segments next to it. So this is not the three, this is the three, which is a two. Okay. I think, yeah, yeah, okay, here's another point. Can this be a zero? Because if this is a zero, we get x's all around it like that. And now we have two loop ends coming in through here. So how many loop ends can we have coming in this side, well, it can't be one, so I also get an x there. I now can't come down into here, or else I'll get two loop ends around the one. So specifically, this cell has nothing coming into it, but now the one and two in this box, at least one of them has to go in this cell, and that's just broken because it can't possibly get to a one or a two. The one and the two in this box can't both go into here, so they have to go somewhere here. And if I make this a zero and that a one or two, that's just no good. So this is not a zero. So this is not a zero. So the zero in this box is going in one of those two. I can put an X between them. Paul Flay is screaming that you need to look at row one, column one. Zero and one of those two, so I can put an X between them. So I can put an X there. And now in order for the loop to escape the top here, it has to come out through here. All right, what am I looking at? Paul Flay is like losing his mind that you need to look at row one, column one. <laughs> row one, column one can't be open on the bottom. <laughs> oh, but you already did it, okay. I'm curious about the, the cleaner way of looking at it though can't be open on the bottom because ah because that would also break wherever the zero goes in this box mm, nice that is very I nice I picked up on that when I was solving it that's very elegant okay so it has to be open on this side and that forces this and that forces yep. this oh man I did not there pick we up go. on that whatsoever when I was solving this and I really wish that I had actually that's that's really cute and now okay here's here's another deduction I do actually remember encoding into this puzzle is where the zero can go in this box it can go in one of these four cells if I put a zero here and a zero here I get the same problem with ones and twos is that there's just no way to get into these I cells do remember this. yeah in order to have a one or a two be clued, it would just get stuck up there. And actually the same if I put a zero here and a zero here, the only way I could possibly get up into these cells would be, well, I'd have to send two loop ends through this junction somehow, which is not possible. That's the only way I could get to either of these two cells. So that being the case, neither of these two can be zeros. The zero has to be over here. That's not a zero. Zero has to be over here. And by the logic we discussed previously, if this is a zero and that's a one or a two, how is it getting out? It's not. So this is not a zero, so that's a zero. And I can mark all those ends in. Now, <laughs> uh, two in this row has to go in one of those two cells. And either way, it means that this loop end can't go this way because then this would be a one and that would be a three. Uh, I've got a zero in one of these two cells, so it can't take that. 
I can't have a loop end come into this two like this. Actually, no, I could. Well, I can't have this loop end in general, period. So I can't have a loop end come into this two like that, because either it would make a two like this, and I'd need an end coming out there, or a two like this, and then it would be a three. <laughs> so I can mark off that end as well. You see a deduction on row three, column three. One, two, pair in box three by Sudoku. Yep, that's true. That's a one, two, that's a five, six. Um, I need zero and three down here. So three is going in one of those two. Well, it's definitely not going here. <laughs> so that's a three. And I get Ooh, this. That can't be open on top, yeah. Ah, yeah, because it would send the loop end just up the grid. Hey, look, guys, I, I made a Slytherlink deduction. Hey! Heck yeah! I knew I had it in me. Three in one of those two. Oh, and there was something cool here, I remember. What was it? Well, okay, this can't be a zero, because it would just trap the loop. And if these two were zero, the only way for the loop to escape is like this. Oh, that's fine, though. Ah! Clover absolutely cannot loop, Elefana. I do not know why you're spreading lies about me. <laughs> I am can't Oh, no, but I could do one, two. Yeah, that's fine. Never mind. But I think either way, either I have a zero over here, like so, and the loop escapes like this, or I have a zero, zero, three here, and the loop escapes like this. Either way, I get the loop escaping through here, and not taking, no wait, the zero, three, it would escape like that, or like the reverse. Okay, never mind. There's something cool here. I don't remember what it was. That's a zero with a five, six. Oh, this guy, no, it could still be a one. Ah, and in fact, this is the only place for one to go in this row, because I can no longer be a one. So that is a one, so I get this. That's how this two finishes. That's not a one, so that's the one. Ugh. Who set this puzzle? <laughs> Some absolute mad lad. Yeah. Drunk on power. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? This is what happens when you give someone too much time to set a Sudoku. Is this the thing that Meme was trying to avoid? <laughs> Probably. Ah, this is cute. This can't be a two. Yeah, this can't be a 2, because it would either have to not enter this corner and be a 1, or it would have to enter the corner and be a 3. So I can eliminate 2 from there. <laughs> so it's oh, meme's cute. fault. <laughs> That's funny. Got a 1 in one of those two. Ah, okay, and this is the point now. Yes, if these two were zeros. It makes this a one, but now the only way, what are you doing? The only way for this loop to escape is through here, and that's definitely not a one. And that can't be a yes, zero chameleon. in general, they, so that's a zero. They, they did it, Chameleon. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to happen, but they went and did it. We can blame Rock Rat. So that's zero three, and now same logic as up here. This zero three can put in this segment, this segment, X out that. This now isn't the 1, so that's the 1, which gives me this x, which makes this the 3, and that the 0. Um, this is not the 2, so this is the 2 in the box. That's 5 or 6. That's 2. We get this as the 0, so the loop has to come down underneath it. 1, 5, and 6 in the row. 
that's not a five. Zero, five, three, one, two, and six there. That's not a one. That's not a one either, so that's six. Five, six, five, six, six, five, two, one, two, six, five, three, uh, one and five, and in order to finish the loop, <laughs> this what? two has to come out like that. Oh, and it's broken. What did I do? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that ain't oh, good. No. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> oh, no. Two question marks in box five, I think they're pointing out. Ah, yep, that's what I did. <laughs> okay. I think still... Yeah, the 0, 3 logic is still good. Yeah, I think it was where you placed the 6 in right. 5, column 3. So this 0 doesn't so actually do anything. It. Yeah. Aside from just placing the 0 in the box. Okay, that's what it was. You can also place a 3 in the region now. Yes, so that's a 3. And that one is a legitimate 3 since it doesn't have a question mark on it. So I can yes. draw in that. Yes. Um, and this has to go up there. And now... Uh, so now row 5, column 1 can't be a 1, and it can't be a 6 by Sudoku. It can't be a 1. Well, if it's a 1, the cell above it would have to be a 2. Ah, right. It also can't if be it's... a 6, because there's a 6 in the column, so it's definitely a 5. If it's a 1, the loop either does that or it does that. Yeah, and, and then, then it breaks the cell above it. Yes, very nice. So that's 5. That might be the single piece of the solve that I genuinely remember. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. I remember liking that it, when it I said this puzzle. It is a pretty good one. There, there was some good stuff in here. I did enjoy it, even though I've been like making fun of it. Okay, this one oh, can't get up there now, so it has to be this, and that has to go there, and that's the loop done, and therefore we get that looks five and like six it. and six and two. Nice. Beautiful. Do you want to keep driving, or do you want to do you want to have a little rest while I go back to driving? Have at it. <laughs> All right, this one could be a monster. I was kind of hoping you'd be like, no, I caught my second wind. I totally want to carry on, but I'll have a look at it. So this is Finder Sweepers by F Jam. I'll do the deductions. You can do the digits. D are there a lot of deductions that don't involve digits in this one? Well, you just have to type them in. I can look for them. Oh, okay, cool. If, if what you're tired of is just typing, I can type for yes. you. Yes. Okay, so parity lines, digits along a parity line alternate between even and odd. Mm -hmm. Longest line sweeper. So you notice we don't have lines in this grid, actually, which is kind of fun. Um, a digit in a circle indicates the length of the longest orthogonally connected parity line that can be drawn in the up to eight surrounding cells within this six by six grid. The length of a line is the number of line segments required to draw it. So a line entering n cells around a circle has length n minus one. That is wild. What? So, so basically a digit in a circle is the length of the longest orthogonally connected run of alternating odds and evens in the surrounding cells, including itself. Ooh, can there be multiple possible? I don't know, but the fact that Bells is pointing out like vigorously that, oh, Bells says we can't have more than one. Like if this were that, there would be a gajillion ways to draw six celled lines into here, right? Mm -hmm. So the circle would have to be a six, that sort of thing. Oh no, the up to eight surrounding cells, not including this one. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Oh no, I'm good. Never mind. So I like take it back. this I'm would be confused. a two because it could either be four three or it could be one six. Is that right? Except that's not two because it's the number of segments for length and not the number of cells. Oh, so, so this would be a one. Be a one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I can oh. drive. I think I get it. 
Okay, so then this is either three or four. So we do have... So it's in the up to eight surrounding cells, so we're only looking at these cells, right? Um, so we can this draw circle. a couple so connecting we can draw lines. A bunch of lines. Oh, actually, it involves drawing lines, so if you wouldn't mind doing that. Wow. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so then that must be a four, because that's a parity line. Okay, yeah. And my Sudoku pad is frozen entirely. There we go, four and three. Oh, oh and in and fact, so the parity line extends up there just because oh. parity. Yeah, and so it doesn't extend to here because that's Ooh, now three segments. True. Nice. Okay. So then this is odd. So that's a three. Yeah, this is gonna work better if only one of us is trying to trying to type and loop. I'm afraid. So yeah, that's okay. gonna be you. No, my cake. I promise I'll drive for the next one. All right. And this okay, is. So yeah, that's gonna be a three. Odd? Because that's also on the parity line. Yeah, it's a three. Okay, and then that's odd. Because if that was not odd, then our longest line would be four and not three. And the line can't okay. go down, Alithana, because then there would be a length four parity well, line around this guy. Yeah. And also, I guess we have to remember that we're not trying to draw like a loop or right. even like a path. We're just considering each clue individually. So this could be... So numerically, it's one, four, or five, but it can't be five because we already have like one kind of failure. Right. Oh, and two and six are now, a break. So it has to be one. Yeah, it's got to be one, which is already satisfied. So that's totally nice. good. Okay. How about the stuff on the left edge? So that's got to be two, three, or four, the top one. It can't be five. Okay. Um, it could be four if we went like two, five, six, and then a one or three. And it's got to take this segment, right? Because um, it's at least two. Yes. Which means I think this is, is also correct. true, because parody. That is true. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Ooh. This um, is at least two. Oh, that one's going to be at least five. Or, oh, yeah. It's this is also at least two. Bad. Yeah. Oh, so if that's... Ooh. If that's two, then the cell two to its left is also a two. So if row three Which column one? three is a two, if row three column three is two, then row ah, three column one is also two. Right, because you get the x in between those yeah, two. Oh wait, exactly. this can't be four, can it? Twos. One, two, three. Uh, no. Uh, it it cannot. But that also can't be a two. So that can't be a two. I believe that. Yep. Oh, and also it can't be a two because we have to extend from. Yeah, there, yep. there you go. that's the other reason we can't do that. But Valid. I liked my way of doing it. I liked your way of doing it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that all is definitely part of the longest line for sure. Um, hmm. I'm wondering if it's possible at all for row three, column one to be a two at this point. Um, why not? I'm actually just kind of idly speculating about it because it seems like that's a really small length. And then the circle in row three, column three seems like it's going to have a lot of parity lines surrounding it that might overlap. I'm not sure. Well, surely you could just do something like this. Yeah. Yeah, totally could. Seems that was entirely a silly idea. plausible. This also can't be five just because of how counting works in this puzzle.
Okay. Uh, there's definitely some weird look ahead that you can do here somewhere. This is a really interesting rule set. It Dungeon's is. Dungeon's known for the, for the really funky rule sets, though. I like his stuff. Oh, this is... <laughs> is it f Jam or is it, like, Fjam? Oh, I always assumed it was f Jam. I have no idea. I could completely be wrong, though. I never actually considered it. Is he in the chat? We could ask. Bell says it's f Jam. Okay. Thank you, Meme Rister. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pronounced f Jam. <laughs> It's pronounced Throat Wobbler Mangrove. <laughs> it's short for pajamas. Aww. <laughs> okay. Fium. 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 If row three, column one is a three, row four, column two is a one by parity. That is true. But it's broken because. I'm not sure that it is. I would believe it, but I don't see. Oh, of course, because if if this is a one, oh no, because it could have individual. No, not necessarily. Uh... The cells next to it don't both have to be even. Yeah. I don't if think row anyways. five, column one is a four, then these are different parody. No, they're the same parody, aren't they? If this is a three, these are the same parody and or sorry, if this is a four, these are the same parody and that's a three. Wait, no. Two. That would be a three five. And these would all be odd. Oh, and that, no, actually that just works. Yeah, that would be a two, that would be a four. That seems fine. Fellas, I don't think the three does have to be next to two even digits because why can't the five be in row four, column one? In that case. Then the three would be next to an even digit to its right, but it would also have an odd digit below it. Oh, I see. If this is a three, then this whole thing means that these two have to be even, and then they go oh. through the three, and that can't that's be a true. one. That's Ugh, okay. disgusting. So yeah, that's not a three, that's a two. Fair enough, I understand. So now we get some deductions out of that three, four, because we have to extend that line up by one. Oh, true. Yeah. Um, I believe we get some deductions. Well, no, that was the deduction. Oh, okay. <laughs> Send the line up by one. That's it. That's the deduction. Gotcha. Thank you. I was hoping that there would be others that would just present themselves, but well, this is I not a two anymore. The there aren't. Which will give us more deductions. Oh, do you want to hear something disgusting? Yes. Row five, column one can't be a four. Because, oh wait, no, I'm backwards. Oh, I thought I was counting cells again. Ah, oh, <laughs> no, that was so cool, but it only works if you're counting cells. Because what I yeah. was thinking, you might like this anyways, was it can't be a four because if it's a four, the cells above and below it have the same. Oh, parity. that is cute. So it would and have to be a five. You have to have either three or five. <laughs> 
Oh, but we're not counting yeah, cells, too bad. so that's not going to be it. Do oh, we need so coloring? Boring. Pray tell. No. We don't what, need coloring. What would you even color in what this puzzle? <laughs> Odds and evens? Can, Great, you can color box ones and two. We, we could make the line more colorful. We could do different colored lines. Sudoku Pad will do that. Oh, really? I didn't know you could oh, do yeah. that in Sudoku Pad. Yeah, just go, once you're in the line tool, just go to the color menu and choose your color, and you can do whatever color line you want. Ah, yes, the color menu all the way over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Scroll, 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 scroll. <laughs> Furious scrolling. Okay, so that's not the thing. Um, hmm. So if this is a two, does that mean these have to be different parity? Because if the 2 goes here, I need an x there. And if the 2 goes here, I need an x there. Yeah, those do have to be different parity. So that's a 4. So that's not a 3 or 5, that's a 4. Wow. That's hot. You okay. Yeah, that's kind of great, actually. Um x there, line there, x there. Well, that x tells me nothing. Isn't that the other way around? Um. No? Yeah. No? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If the line goes here... Okay, fine. You're right. I convinced myself. Even odd. That has to be <laughs> odd. <laughs> and if the line goes there... <laughs> odd, even... Yeah, this has to be odd. Okay. Fine. <laughs> it can be odd if it wants to be odd. I, find the, I found the cool deduction, alright? <laughs> Just ignore the fact that I did it incorrectly. <laughs> It was a pretty cool deduction. Who allowed Meme to come over here and be confident <laughs> in solving puzzles? That's truly unacceptable. So three, five, four, those would be opposite. That checks out. And four, these would be the same, and that also checks out. Oh, interestingly, so you could also get that from... Well, no, no, you couldn't. I think that's just trivial because there's going to be a four in one of these three cells and it's either going to be there or these are going to be opposite parity yeah okay fair enough oh i just realized something kind of interesting about row three column three actually because alathana said kind of pointed out that cell so if that's six we're pretty limited on where we can make the six because this would now have to be four to the immediate right of it which would make this odd Ooh. So if that's a 6, then row 3, column 2 is odd, which means we would have to have an x between that and the cell above it. Oh, and that so breaks, because it's a 7. That's a six. Whoa. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so it's not a 6, it's a 5. That's wild. That's pretty sick. So that now, combined with what you've just got, makes that a 3, a 5, hey. and a 5. Nice. Beautiful. And, and so now the 4, we can we can write in some stuff. Beautiful. So yeah, that continues too. Beautiful. Oh, that's so great. Oh, and now okay, this, this five, so surely. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it has to go there. One, two, three, four, five. I think it has to be that. There's also Sudoku that we can do. So we know now um, the four, six, and column two is sorted out. Well, actually, all of column two is sorted out. Oh, yeah, so it is. Yeah. OK, is this so four, four good now? One, two, three, four. It is good. So this, so row five, column three can't be a two, because then it would end up being too long. Ah. Because it's the longest. So that's a one. Cool. What a puzzle. I kind of like it. 
I kind of like it too. Tricky deductions, like but yeah. good, good stuff. I mean, that's that's F Jam for you. Like, very intricate path drawing stuff. Yeah, fair. It just feels like kind of weirdly, I don't know, like almost alienating, like very foreign and unfamiliar, at least to me, but I'm not really like a path drawing expert. Waiting for my 9x9 version of this. Oh, man. I'm waiting for the uh, F Jam 9x9 version of this. And One, the glow two, one. three, four, five, six. Perfect. And there's an answer. All right, now I'll try to go back to drawing, assuming that that is not another loop puzzle. All oh, right, it's have at it. Bar is our next one. Ooh. Yeah, um, so region sum lines and cropy pairs. What a beautiful grid! God damn, oh, some people are really going is. hard on this. Seriously, it's really nice okay so this can't be three because that breaks the rsl because that would have to be one two one two and then we already have a two in that column so that's not going to work so that's a five making that one three two four one three two four so that's going to be five six that's going to be one and six mm -hmm. and this is going to be four five six but not a six so there's a five there so two three six that cannot be a two can that possibly be a three perhaps it cannot, because <laughs> for the same reason, this can't be a three, because we would need one, two, one, two, and then yeah. we have both a one, two pair and a one there. So that is a six. So these are all one, two, four, five. These are not ones. These are not fives. And one of those is going to be a three. So we have this hey. very cute x-wing on threes making this a three adorable because it's the only position for three in column one that is absolutely adorable and that's now six and five that's a one this is going to be a four five and six that's a two clover speed running is quite something <laughs> <laughs> i do it whenever i get the chance uh, it's, it's a pleasure to, to watch you work oh you're so sweet one six there that's a five six one six three and one and i've been speed running that because i really wanted to get to this next puzzle because i've been kind of like peeking at the Ooh. rules and it's called a single between line and okay i love this rabbit, who is a legend so i for many reasons am stoked about this Ooh, and i'm excited about the next puzzle too because i see more single cell cages Oh, bro. Oh, and the next puzzle is Virtual after this, who also Ooh. is a very talented setter who we don't really see around that much anymore. It is so cool to me how me and Mr. managed to convince so many people who are like very inactive to come out of the woodwork for this project. That's honestly really cool. Okay, this is a good section of yeah, the... This, this, kind of, this is one of my favorite sections so far, like this zone that we're in. Mm -hmm. Um... So we can't have a six here. So we can't have any ones, fives, or sixes on the line. So this is a one, True. five, six, triple. Nice. That's kind of neat. And so therefore we know we have to have a five because we do have fours on the line. And we also so have to have a one, one right? And a one, so that's a one, five pair, perfect. And so that makes this a six and makes that a two, four. So that's now a two, four pair, that's one, five, six. And now it's all just gonna be pencil mark sudoku <laughs> genuinely you just pencil mark two three four in the cells two, and then three, solve four. the sudoku that's nuts that's exactly what i'm doing heck yeah so that's two three four that's one five six that's now a five six pair so that's three four oh Those no it's a coloring puzzle <laughs> it is not you're full of shit <laughs> <laughs> if coloring I don't by color, pencil marking coloring puzzle um <laughs> Just, just to, just to spite you guys, I'm not going to do it by coloring now. Yay! Join the dark yeah. side, or the light side, I guess. Which means I'm gonna have to find just like some absolute garbage to solve this with. I'm sure. Um, You've got a three oh, row go. three. Uh, well, I've got a Y wing. Oh, you did find some absolute <laughs> garbage. <laughs> That has a single elimination that does literally nothing, <laughs> and also can be reproduced by roping much more quickly. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, that that counts as garbage. Oh, here we go. I've got something there, because there's a three in one of those cells. So that's my four. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, that will do it. Thank goodness. Well, it'll do the two, three, fours. It won't do the one, five, sixes. 
something else will do the one five sixes. I have faith. Yeah. Um, how are we going to do that? Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, are we going to do it with autogons? Um, I'm trying to find a way that's not going to require me to color to visualize it is what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, that's not gonna quite do it. Ada gun. Ada gun. Five, six, one, six, and one, five. Glip mm. and Zeta collab solve. Oh, interesting. I'd watch it. Oh, I've got it. it. I did it with autogons. That's basically I what I was looking at. Color. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm not disappointed. I love an autogon moment. Mm -hmm. I was just being, I was just being uh, stubborn because you suggested doing it, so I didn't want to. Man, if all of the puzzles are like this, we're going to be finished in no time. Imagine being finished. Just let Clover cruise to the end. Well, I can't now because this is loop drawing again. So that is all you might Okay, let me cruise to the end. Yeah, I want to I wanna watch you cruise this. Normal so six virtual... by six, so that's a one-two pair. All right, that's all I've got figured out. <laughs> Remote sums loop. Draw a loop through the grid that visits each cage. It does not touch itself orthogonally, but may touch diagonally. A digit N in a cage points at one of the digits X that is N cells away along the loop in either direction. The number given in the cage is n plus x. So it's another one of these remote sum cages things. I wonder where people are Ooh. getting this. I've never seen this before. Yeah, so it's a mix of like remote sums and also the remote sums have to be on the loop. Along a loop rather than in a specific direction. X number of steps, it's like x steps along a loop. Oh, and also the cool. loop has to visit each cage, which is interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of remote sums. Okay, so the loop can't touch itself orthogonally. Elf Girl Sarah, do not threaten me with a good time. <laughs> so, I can't, if I put that X, I would get this. And likewise there, so I can draw these two segments. Mm -hmm. I can't come into this corner because it would touch Wait, itself sorry. orthogonally. Can you, can you explain that to me, where you're getting yeah. these two segments? If from? I put an X there, it has yeah. to go through the cage. So mm -hmm. it has to go like this. Yeah. And then it's touching itself orthogonally. Oh, gotcha. That's that's simpler than I was making it. Thank you. And same thing here. If I if I use this bottom cell, then I've got mm -hmm. a two by two. It's touching orthogonally. Got it. Understood. So I can't go into there. Okay, so this is pointing at a four, is it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a straight line, though. Oh, it's along the loop. Just along the loop. That's yeah. That's I the see. Here. Okay. So this is pointing at. It could be a one pointing at a three or a two pointing at a two. So I can tell you the twelve cage has to contain a six. That's probably kind of trivial. Okay. Well, this can't go there and there because again, two by two, so it has to come this way. Ah, the twelve cage does have to contain a six. This could either be one, three, two could go there, or actually only there, I think. Because if it went up, it would have to go into this three in order to prevent it from doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's either three there or two there. Nice. Oh, and can't it, Glipperol, isn't it the case that, like, oh, I just, never mind, you've already got the deduction. I understand now. Oh, here's something interesting. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, so it's the same logic as the other side. Mm -hmm. Cute diagonal symmetry. Yeah, it Good is. Good on you, virtual. Should have just put an empty cage here, unless the loop doesn't go through that cell. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, well, this can't be a one. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so the seven cage towards the bottom left has a segment leaving it going upwards for the same reason that you've been using. Yes. Wait, upwards? Yeah. Why not something like this? Because we're talking about the seven cage at the bottom left? Yeah. Oh, this seven cage. Yeah, yeah okay. The bottom left, not the not the bottom right. Yeah, gotcha. But, I'm with yeah, you now. <laughs> Okay, so interesting point. This guy is going into one of these two cells. This guy is going into one of these two cells. And they have to be the same cell, otherwise they make a two by two. Mm -hmm. And same thing here and here. So these loop ends are kind of just joining like this. Mm -hmm. I think that means I can't have any loop ends coming into these cells. Because they would necessarily make a two by two. Yeah, that's true. That definitely can't be. And if I drew a loop through here, for instance, then I couldn't go into this cell. That's kind of neat. And that means that this 3 is going 1, 2, 3 into a 4, or 1, 2, exactly 3 where it is. into yeah, a 4. So that can be a 4 up there. Oh, that's so sick. Which means so this is not a 1, that's a 2. A two yeah. And it has to go into there, a 2 there. And it goes upwards. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very nice. Well spotted. A. And then the five six is resolved by the six. Oh yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that five, I can't go can't down here because it would. To that too. Let's see one two three Check four. Wrong... Ah, and I can't. I can't put an the X there because yeah. these would both have to go up. So these have to join. So one two three four five is no good. So it has to come this way. One, these two also can't split because it would make orthogonal touching. So one, two, three, two, three four, eight. five. Yeah, that's got to be it. And that's our two. Perfect. So now we know then that there one, is And one, two five. is no good. So it's got to be one, two. Nice. This seven is interesting because it's got to get out of here somehow. I feel like it has to do that. I definitely can't use this cell. That would be orthogonally touching. Or this cell. Definitely can't go to the left at all. It could in the... It can't use no, it these can't go down, two. It has to loop around. Yeah, you're right. It has to go, it has to go yeah. up and right. And now surely this cell is going to be problematic because no matter which two ends go into it, it would orthogonally touch something. So that's also out. Yeah, it just can't be loop in general. And now if I put that X in, we get orthogonal touching. Mm -hmm. So we get that. Now we get a five. That has to go this way. We get the five, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, this seven now, surely. One would be fine. One, two, three, one, two. They're all two. fine, unfortunately. Okay, these have to join, otherwise we get orthogonal touching. One, two, no, three is no good, because one, two, um, three, and one, two, three. Row six, column four goes directly to the right. Row six, column four. Ah, yeah, good point. And then up. Um... Ah, yeah, because it can't take this cell or orthogonally touch, so that's the loop. This can't be a three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or, yeah, so there's, yeah. or six there. So there's a kind of one six pair in the row. <laughs> um, yeah, so that gives us a bit. Yeah, because it gives us some Sudoku on row three, column six. So the six cage can no longer have a one in it, so that gives you a two three pair. Have we used this six yet? One, two, this... three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, we haven't. So oh, this is the six. Okay. So that's the one. But get my two three pair in the six cage on the right. <laughs> they can't have a one in it. Two three pair in the six cage on the right. They can't have a one in that cage. Oh yeah, nice. So two would need a four there, and three would need a Doesn't three. Work. 
just yeah, three just doesn't work. Yeah, doesn't work. Yeah, so two, two four. four, three, five, two, six, three, four, three, one, four, one, five, three, four, four, one, four, three, one, three. And it's just the four digits for the next puzzle left to fill in, which is going to be oh, one, that's, that's very charming. two, five, and six. Beautiful. Boom. Oh, so look at cat, this grid. Tallcat just dropped one more dono. Here, I'll do this one. Um, you want to read Tallcat's dono if he made a message? Yep, 39 bucks from Tallcat. <laughs> Heading Thank out for the cat. rest, keep the faith. You are the tallest of cats, truly. Okay, so Hexed by No Feet McGee. Who, that's another name that I used to be familiar with kind of back in the day and haven't seen anything from for quite a while, so I'm happy to see them participating in this. Yeah. So five different German Whispers, so those are going to be alternating ones and sixes, which is kind of fun. Um, that means that this is going to be my other one or six. And then Renbon Lines and Regent Sun Lines and Palindrome, so it's kind of standard lines for this color okay this so, is a very pretty grid wow <laughs> yeah so this is my other one or six this is either two three four or three four five so this is two or five this is going to be a palindrome um so that's going to be three four or five and now this rsl if this is a one. Hmm. It's very interesting to have a region some line with a one or a six on it like that. Um, I mean, they could just add to seven. One, three, four. It could, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it's kind of interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Oh, these two are the same, so these can't be six because they would fully rule. Oh six yeah. Six. So that's those are cute. One. Nice. So there's our answer on that. So that's now two, three, four. That's a five, that's two, three, four, that's five, that's two, three, four. Zooming. That's one plus something. So the minimum there is going to be four, because the minimum there is five. So that's either four or six. So these sum to either five or seven. That's going to be a one now. Ah, uh, that's going to be three, four, six, three, four, five, or six. Oh, and this is a palindrome, so this can't be a five anymore. So that's now a hey. six and a five. And that makes this a four, so that is a sum of five, so that's got to be three, two. And I think that should give us everything we need. <laughs> Glance away and the puzzle is done. I mean, at least Sudoku Pad is like allowing you to see that the puzzle is done. Yeah. I'm kind of, I, I hope it's not like bothering anybody I'm, that I'm kind of going hard on some speed solving. I'm just kind of feeling the energy right now. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, if, it, if it's like a good spectacle, I can I can keep trying to do it. So what have I got next then? Junction Depot by Riff Clown. It is an irregular arrow Sudoku. Ooh, a lot of nice. good arrow puzzles in this. All right, have at it. <laughs> I don't mind if I do. That's another one where I don't have to draw anything that requires me to scroll. So that's going to be a one-two pair. Okay. So if this is a two, oh, this is fun. Okay. So basically, this digit can't get repeated here. Because that would imply Ooh. that it's a 2 that's 1-1, one, one, but that would break this cell because this would have to be a 1 at that point. So this digit gets repeated here, and this is a horizontal 1-2 pair. Okay. I don't know if that was the most elegant way to look at that. Maybe there's something really obvious, but I didn't see it. I like that the 1-2 the pair was just looking at row 4, column 4. Mm, okay. So that's 3, 4, or 5, and that's 4 or 5, so that's not 5. And so that is one or two. Oh, that's another one or two. And that means that this is four or five, because these two are the same. Yeah. Irregular shenanigans. Of course, of course, like you do. So what's this going to be? This definitely can't be a two, so this is a five or a six. And so one of these is a five or a six. That's of course not a six, so this is a minimum of four. 
And that definitely can't be a three. So that's a one, two pair. I think I should be coloring ones and twos. I think chat will like that too. So I'm going for it. Can you even color more than just two of them? <laughs> uh, yes, because orange has to be there in this bottom left region. Ah, yeah, okay. Or this is purple. All and right, this is fair also enough. Purple, so this is orange. Don't doubt me. <laughs> <laughs> so therefore, this is orange. All right, lesson learned. So that's a four or five pair. Three. That's not a six. Um, oh no, are we going to end up coloring fours and fives too? That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Well, it would give us row six, <laughs> column three. Oh, would it? I think so. I don't know what okay, it would give us, but... Okay, so... Um... Yeah, because yellow and orange are opposite parodies, so purple and red have to be opposite parodies. Right? Um, I'm a little confused. What do you mean? These two are opposite parody because of the three. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. So these guys are opposite parody, therefore this is even, so this is six. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> Oh, I like that a lot. I am not sure I would have ever seen that. So now this is red, and so this is a three. Oh no, I clicked on the puzzle and Sudoku oh, pad is choking. And also we broke it. Wait, what? Bro, we broke it. Oh no, what happened? We can't put a six in the top left region now. Is chat screaming? Oh, you're right. Chat is not screaming, so whatever it is, chat missed it. Look at huh. that bunch of nerds. <laughs> I can't even believe it. That definitely does have to be a three. So these are definitely opposite parodies. So these are definitely opposite. Oh, they're opposite parodies, which means it's odd. Opposite parodies means odd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was very simple. That was entirely on me. I really should not have missed that one. Yep. Yeah. D don't worry, Chad. It'll come back in like two minutes. It's just what Sudoku Pad having that? trouble. Yeah, they, they couldn't see my disaster. That's probably for the best. I can try changing the puzzle URL and see if that sorts anything out at all. Oh, it just froze for me, too. It's, like, way behind. My progress! Any moment now. My progress is gone. Oh, there's my progress. It's back. Okay, we see something. Can we see you move, though? I can't move. I'm frozen. I can see my progress, but I cannot really move okay so now that's <laughs> i think i i now i can move but i can't enter digits oh no oh it's choking yep it's having a moment oh it's real bad also the six is back what what's it doing <laughs> oh, it's now just there's a sitting five. there so what i'm seeing is a five and a six in that cell simultaneously overlaid on top of each other i <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot of this for you. Oh, or poor... maybe I'm taking a screenshot of it for Sven. I don't know. Poor Sven. I know. I feel genuinely a little bit bad at how we're just like beating on his baby. Yeah. What the puzzle I'm looking at right now is definitely broken in multiple ways. Yeah. And the pu yeah. And the puzzle I'm looking at has multiple digits overlaid on top of each other that are not the same digit and are all full size. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just sent it to you on Discord if you want to just appreciate it for a moment. I do, think we're also desynced, Cliffroll. Do, do you want to try just deleting I everything and put the digits back in? Everything. Yeah, it's six five three four. Oh no, that just highlights the entire Okay. Because we're also like very desynced.
Okay, well, it was six five three six, four. Five, three, four. Yeah. And I'm gonna switch to another puzzle and come back, and hopefully that sorts it out. Also, they just let us get below four hours. Oh god. <laughs> hopefully, it's just the four. Okay, are we back? Does it work now? <laughs> um, I think so. I can I see you so. moving. Okay, and now I'm gonna enter a one two. Do we see yep. my pencil marks? Yep, you're good. Whew, okay. Okay. So, where was I? <laughs> um, uh, that's not a six, so that's not a five, and that is not a three. Oh, you did the cool thing on one twos to get the one two in the middle right region. Uh, middle right region. What cool thing on one twos? Remind me. <laughs> the one two in. Oh, yeah, there. Perfect. Yeah. Got it. So I got that. That's not a six. So that's either a one or a two. So these are three, four, five, six. These are four, five, six. We're good. We got this. This is not, the, this is the same as this, is the same as this cell. And how did I decide that this couldn't be three or that it must be three? Hmm. Frankly, not good completely question. certain how I did that. That's a good question. That's not a five, so that's a three, four pair. So that's going to be a five and a six now. So that's now a five. So five isn't one of those cells. That is not a five. So five isn't one of those cells, and that's not a five. How on earth did I decide that that <laughs> had three? I had no idea. fully lost my mind, because that no longer seems remotely logical. Although, weirdly, I think we still get the six by parity. Man. Yeah, people are commending us for making our donation increase exponential. Otherwise, <laughs> we, we would have died. I kind of don't want to color it a second time. Yeah, every hour is like super significant money. Yeah. And it's amazing that so we keep still same. getting hours. So these two are different and these two are different. So this oh here's how here's a way of doing it without parity. So this is a sum of ten. Oh yeah. Because this is the same as this. So those nice. that's five. So that's a way to do that. Oops, and that tells us that that's five, and therefore that's one and two, and one and two. Yeah, so if you guys want another hour, you're really gonna have to dig deep for it. <laughs> we're we're not we're not gonna make this easy. We made the first couple of hours very easy. Not this one. I mean, we'll do it. We were like fully prepared to, to yeah. be here. <laughs> the only theoretical maximum on this is finishing the caterpillar. It's now a six, that's a one and a five, that's a three and a six and a three and a one and a two, six, one, three, and two. Very that was nice. a nice puzzle once I figured out how to actually solve it correctly. And now we are at the end of a chunk, and then I propose that we have a little bit of a break. Sounds good. Aw, oh, Virtual oh, said great crazy. solve. Oh, thank you, Virtual. You are too sweet. Okay. Word search. No, word seek. Wisty, word seek fall. <laughs> All right. Wisty puzzle. Double indexers. And the done even without coloring. I know, right? What a legend. It was easier to solve it without coloring once I stopped making mistakes. Double indexers. The digit in a shaded cell indicates both the column in which the cell's column number appears in its row. So, for instance... Wait, why did Golden the... Devil get banned? Uh... They subscribed for seven months and Prof Meow just banned them. <laughs> Uh, prof Meo, I don't think that you should be in that person. Okay, <laughs> the band got removed. <laughs> prof Meo has not oh, been no. away for 24 hours. <laughs> I am not sure what she's got going on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you for your diligent moderation. How dare you subscribe for seven months? <laughs> I'm sorry, Golden Devil. I'm not just, I'm not just Mr. Ed. You're good. We just need to ban you. <laughs> I hope you guys can still be friends. <laughs> Personalized customer service. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's a double indexer. So, all right. So, like, if this was oh, a okay. three, then a five would appear in column three, and also four would appear in row three. Does that make sense? That's cute. I like the the sort of yeah. two colored indication of indexers. That's actually very cute. And I was right? expecting something maybe more monstrous from Wisty, so I'm happy to see that this seems like relatively tractable as long as you can keep it all straight in your head. So yeah. that's fun. Um so this is gonna tell me about the location of the three in its row and the one in its column, which means it can't be a six. And also it tells me that one can't be there. And so that tells me three has gotta be in one of those cells. Mm -hmm. This is going to tell me about the two in its row. So it can't be two. So that's not a two. So two is in one of those. And also about the two in its column. I think you marked so one, five, and six. Oh, that's true. Nice. So it's going to tell me about the two in its column. So that can't be a six. So six is in one yes. of those for sure. And now you can remove one I'm of just the two pencil try to marks. I'm going to very like, methodical here. Which two pencil mark can I? This one. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is going to tell me about the two... Oh, but you've got a two, two looking up at that. The given two. Wait, no. I'm... No, I did something wrong. It tells me about the three in its row. Or... Yeah, it no. tells me about the three in its row. Oh, it's, right, right, it does. Like one, five, yeah, yeah, nine. okay. Yeah, we totally got a little overexcited there okay but it is still the same locations right so it's one, oh no two, it could be a two four and six yeah so it tells but us but not a six so basically uh, yeah it can't be a six still so that can't be a three so three is in one of these cells and that's one of these cute has to be a four because otherwise we'd have two threes in the region yeah nice so those can't be four okay now that we've got that straightened out <laughs> this is going to tell me about the two in its row so it could be a two, three, four, five, six, basically. Two, three, four, five. So two is in one of those cells. And it's going to tell me about the two in its column, so it's not going to be a five, so two is not going to go there. Two, three, or four. Yeah. Okay. Just continuing being methodical here. This will tell me about the four in its row. So it will be two, four, five, or six. And also about the three in its column, and we know that the three in its column has to be in one of these two cells because we did this earlier. So the three in its column is going to be in position two. And so that's a four. And now that's going to be a two. And that is just self-indexing in both positions. I am doing this correctly, right? <laughs> I think so i looked over at chat and you've got four digits but i can see how you got the two i think okay yeah if anybody wants to drop us about it's under four hundred dollars now palfly if you really want to see us go longer if you don't want to let us luxuriate under that four hour mark we can't stop you all right so this is going to tell me about the five in its row that's either in position one, position four, or position five or six. Mm -hmm. And also about the four in its column. So that's a four or a four there. One five pair. Hmm. Oh, and that can't be a six now. And then finally, this is going to tell me about the sixes. So that's got to be five or six. And that means six has to be in one of those positions, too. Ah, so that's, that's cute. Oh, nice. that's very cute, yeah. So now we can do a little Sudoku. Yeah, so six is in position six, which is easy. Yeah, just pencil mark a one, four, six in the box with a six in it. Um, never mind that. I, <laughs> didn't, I did not do that. That definitely does not count against my error tally. Um... <laughs> 
one, four, six there. And so I have a two there, a four, six there. Um, what else? Oh, so this two, I think I just placed a two. Oh no, I didn't just place that. That's cool. Okay, so doesn't tell me about the three is in position four. Oh, the two, two does four. index the four in the row though, right? Um. Oh no, the three in the row. No, the four yeah, in the row. No, the. It definitely Which one is it? The four. In the, the four. Row. Okay. Yes. That's four. That's a three. <laughs> And you know, if I'm doing it backwards, I, I that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. And yeah, okay, so that's good. So are these all completely... That's what I'm checking now. I think these are completely used. I think they're all good, yeah. Except for this one, so that's right. going to be my last one. So this is going to tell me about the five in the row, which means it can't be a four anymore, because five can't be in position four. So that's not a four. And it's going to tell me about the four in its column, which is either there or there. But now I have this one five pair, so that's gonna become a three. And that's now my four, so that's five. Uh, that doesn't work. Does it not? It does, it does. It's self-indexing, that's cool. Yeah. I panicked slightly because I forgot <laughs> that self-indexing was a possibility despite having talked about it 30 seconds ago. Hey, very nice. Hey, good puzzle, Wisty. That was lovely. If you are in chat, thank you for the puzzle. Uh, we've got another scammer to spank. And yeah, let's take a little break, and then let's come back with the next chunk. With We're going to have like three and a half hours to go. The end is in sight. Prof Meow is getting quick and, at this. I know. She's building the mod skills. Right. All right, let's take a proper little break. You should you should get up and move around. Yeah, I definitely need to use the bathroom. Okay, yeah, let's put the break screen up for like 15 minutes. Sounds good. Super. We will see you guys shortly.
just keeps going, doesn't it? <laughs> doot, doot, doot. Yeah, so gift subs. Twitch subscriptions are basically like you can use them for various perks in the channel, like custom emotes and that sort of thing. And if you gift a sub, it means that you basically pay $5 and it'll give it to someone else randomly currently watching the stream. My gosh, the rules text got tiny too. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we don't have that much functionality for subs right now. It also does make ads go away, that's true. Yeah. Let me see, how much of this grid can we actually see? Just the last two puzzles. <laughs> I wonder if I can undo to the point where we have some proper proper digits in here, if that's just going to break everything. Oh yeah, I should grab... What are the digits going into the next puzzle? It's... Looks like 6215 in the bottom left. Six two. One five, okay. Oh, <laughs> nice dreaming librarian, thank you. How about that? Ed K got a gift sub. And yes, Ed K, we, we are still going. <laughs> We've been going for a hot while, and we've still got another, what, three hours and a half to go? Assuming we don't get 400 bucks during those three hours, which <laughs> at this rate is not, not an unreasonable possibility. Ooh, five dollars per puzzle solved for the next 90 minutes. Okay. Sixty Sudokus in 90 minutes. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see if we can get back to the state where I just absolutely grid wiped everything. I think it was a while back. I might, might have done two grid wipes. Oh, actually, we did several. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe not. How do you create a variant Sudoku without just throwing shit at the wall? Ooh, that's a good question. Where where are the good resources on starting to set variant Sudoku? Aside from like, you know, the cracking the cryptic server. Oh no, we got a Gurkles puzzle coming up next. Ooh, video with Chatty Cathy and Ranks? That doesn't sound like a bad place to start.
It's also entirely possible you're too ambitious with what you're trying to make. I feel like that's a lot of people's first experience with setting Variant Stoke. I want to make this crazy thing. And then actually figuring out how to make that crazy thing is an ordeal in and of itself, especially when you don't already have the experience. That was definitely my experience. I mean, I got a puzzle out of it in the end, but it was not a good puzzle. Welcome Friends, back. I'm back. So James has pledged to donate $5 per puzzle we solve in the next 90 minutes. Oh, shit. Starting so guess, from when this break ends. I guess I'm probably still driving then. Yeah, fair. Not not to insult your speed. No, skills, no. But, <laughs> but just damn, to milk all the money we can get out of James, James as all possible. The money I possibly can, yeah. And I'm going to, here, I've got my monster here. Give me a second before we officially end the break. Is chat going to count for me? Ooh, is hey, chat, chat going to count? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to need you to count puzzles while we uh, take <laughs> money from James and Claire. You know James, he's a great guy. I'm sure that you'll really enjoy taking his money. <laughs> <laughs> is this just straight little killer, this first one? It, it is, looks like it. A Gurkle's puzzle. Oh, it is also one. a Gurkle's puzzle. All right. Well, this seems like a really good time to... um to end the break because it is exactly 2 30 by yeah, my clock right on so the half hour exactly four so let's fucking go we're officially ending let's the break. go all right so we're gonna we're gonna have speed solving 90 minutes um with with clover glipperl and james sinclair um so we need a 3-4 pair here. This is little killer, so these clues tell us the sum of the digits along the marked diagonal. Uh, and they are all pretty small, interestingly. So this is going to be a maximum of six. So then these guys are going to be no bigger than four. Um, and this can be no bigger than, if that's one and two, that can be no bigger than three. Okay, this 11. I mean, this is also a very be, pretty grid. Three. And three, it's, oh, it's gorgeous. That's Nine, kind of ten, eleven. Very nice. I actually wonder if maybe it's Gurkle, so I wonder if there's like some kind of global Ooh. situation happening here. There might be. This is a maximum of four, so this is two, three, or four. So six isn't one of those. Oh, it abs I think it is five. maximum, because we've got six here, plus three is nine, 19, 21. Oh, perfect. So that is exactly maximal. So that's going to be not a one, that's a two, right? Yeah. Okay, so then that's not a four. So that's going to be a total of six. That makes that a six and that a four five pair. And then that's not a two. So then how are we going to make our specific totals here? So that obviously cannot be a four. Um, that's three, three, and two, then that's going to be a maximum of two, so that's actually going to be a one. And then this is going to be, that's going to have a two in it. There's my five and my six. There is a three or a four, so neither of these can be three, so that's going to be a one. That can't be a three or a four. So that'll be a six. That can't be a one. That's a four and a three. That's a one and a five. 3, 4, we need this to sum to 6, so that's either 2 and 4, so it's either both 3s or it's no 3s. Interesting. These guys, oh, these have to sum to 4 exactly, so that should do it. Gurgles has been merciful today. Yeah, apparently. 4, 3, 4, um, that's 3 and 6, that's 2 and 5, that's 2 and 3, and 6 and 3, 1 and 6, 5 and 1, and 4 and 5. All right, nice. chat, count me up. Um, <laughs> that's one. No, that's one. Romplaner, uh, quad, quad le bay, I think. So we have quad sums. So a circle clue tells us that one of the four surrounding digits is the sum of the other three. Ooh. And then there's no negative constraint. And then we also have um, consecutive pairs. So not all dots are necessarily given. And there's this one dot indicating that these two digits are consecutive. Aww, so that's a one, one three pair. Crop key dot of disambiguation. Yep. You hate the to six see it. has to be the sum of these three. So that's going to be a one three pair. 
and then the six has to be the sum of these guys. So that could be a one and a three with a two, or it could be a one and a one with a four. Could easily be either of those. Now, one of these is going to have to be one plus three plus something. So it's either going to be a five, which will be a one plus three plus one, or it'll be a six, which will be a three plus one plus two, which is busted. So it can't be a six. It's got to be five with two ones and a three there. Nice. So that's a two, six. That's a three, four. Um, okay, so that's now a one. But that doesn't actually disambiguate any of this stuff. Um, these certainly can't be five and six because those can't exist on the same quad sum. So that's got to be either five or six. This can't be a six. Um, so that's two, four, or five. So one of these guys is going to be a six. So one of these is five or six. So whichever one of those is five or six is the largest digit. And I don't think I can do a lot with that information right now. This has to be a one, two, three, six, because they're all in the same region. They all see each other. So it basically functions like an arrow. And so these are going to be a four, five pair, making that three and four. These are one, two, and six. I have a three here. So that's now a two, six pair, and that resolves the four, five. That's going to be a three and a one. That's a three and a five. And that is a two, four, and six. Okay, and that can't be a four. These are two, five, six. Okay, so this is not a two anymore. Well, there's your five, six as well. Oh, where's my, what do you mean? Around the quad Oh, sign. there's my, perfect. Oh, nice. Thank you for pointing that out. So that's either a five, which is a two plus a one and two, which is impossible. So it's a six and that's a one, three pair. So that's now going to be a two. And that'll be a two and a one, a two, six, two, and six. And that's a five, <laughs> six, five. And this has got to be a one, three, one, and three. Okay. Beautiful. Chat, give me another count. Yeah, we're trying to um we're trying to get a little bit more money out of James, but maybe not enough money that we have to go for an additional Ooh, hour. So we're having like a clover speedrun. What is clover this speed nonsense? Event. Oh, by Listish. That's exciting. So, normal 6x6 six six Sudoku, internal skyscrapers, so digits in the grid are skyscrapers, uh, taller, obscure, shorter, clues indicate how many skyscrapers can be seen in that row or column from the line of sight of the clue. The clues are inside of the grid, <laughs> in the cages as one-digit numbers in pairs. Oh, I think I solved this one. Or Ooh, something similar to it. Do you remember it? how? <laughs> Vaguely. The clues are inside of the grid, and the cages is one-digit numbers and pairs. Horizontal cages contain the clues of the given row. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so like, these guys are the clues for this side and this side. And like these are the clues for like top and bottom. So as definitely, skyscrapers. column three is the place to start. Absolutely. Because that guy so, can't be a two or a four. A it can't be a one, and it can't be a five. And it certainly can't be a six either. So it's got to yeah, be a three. A five, it's got to be a three. So it's got to be either two, four, and then like a six and a five. That certainly can't be a six. I also think that and can't be a five. Therefore, yeah, because there's be definitely a, a six, six beneath there. it. Yep. Yeah, so that's going to be a 3, and of course that's a 1. It has to and go 4-2. So 4-2, two. Two, beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now this has got to be 4, 5, or 6, which means it is a 4, specifically. Yep. And there is a 5 in one of those cells, and there is a 6 in one of those mm -hmm. cells. But that's not going to be a 5, yep. because that's broken as a skyscraper clue. Oh, that's so So charming. it's a 2. So it's a 2, exactly. Very nice. No, this can't be a one. It's either a two it or can't three. Be a four. That's two or three. Okay. And this could is at be at least three. So this is a three or a four. Perfect. So then there's a one there. That's so two, it's a four. Three, four. Those are two, three, four. Aha, it is exactly a four. Nice. So that is now a four. I want to make sure I don't accidentally <laughs> mark that there, yep. though. That would be really awkward. Oh, and it's and a so three on the other side. Three. 
Oh, it is. You're right. That's a three with a two. I like skyscrapers. Four and five. I like skyscrapers too. It's one of my favorite, like, classic variants. Okay, so that's now a three, a two, one, five, two, and one. Chat, are nice. we counting? I hope we're counting. Clover's burning right. through these. <laughs> Next one. I'm gonna slow down eventually. Yeah, eventually we're gonna. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think hit I can hard do one, this but... pace for an hour and a half. And also, there are a lot of really hard puzzles in here. But James has a lot of money, so. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so I'm I'm actually like on a really Ooh. a run of relatively straightforward ones. This too. is I got a cool here. one. Andrew Circus numbered clues. Andrew Circus is a fun setter. So XV, so XV pairs. And then crop key pairs, and then also odd even, so squares for odd, circles for even. Oh, thank you, my friend. Can't I have a snack? Ooh, so it's yeah, like you're not a snack; you're a whole meal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, um... It's like numbered rooms or like indexed cells, and that indicates the the pair that comes after it. And. All right, let me try to get my head around this. So, like, if this is a so, three, then the third and fourth cells have a crop key dot between them. Ooh, I see. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, perfect. So then these are going to be five and six. And this is basically saying that there's an even cell. So this would be three, four, five, six, but it can't be five because right. we already know five is odd. Right. Okay, that makes sense. And then this is going to be um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not going to be six. a five. So it's one, two, or six. Right. Okay, this can't be a six because it's got to be marked on the edge. So basically, and it also can't be a four because how are we going to make an X clue without using a four? So Cute. that's got to be three. So this has got to be a four, six pair. So well, the third fun. cell in is even. Means the third cell is even, so that's four or six. But that can't be a six because, again, it's the edge thing. So that's got to be a four, and that's a five, and that's a six. And Wait, that's why a five. can't that be so a these... six? Oh, yeah, because the edge. Because right, what right. would we do then? Yeah, yeah fair. The edge. Um, I hope I'm right about that. <laughs> no, I believe it. <laughs> and then these guys are going to sum to five, so those are one, two, three, four, so one uh -huh. of those is six, so that guy's going to be a six. Now, we can't have an even clue in position one, so that's going to be in two, three, or four. Uh, this could be a five. It can't be a one because then this would have to be one two breaking this Ooh, because nice. that's consecutive. If it's a two, then that would be a five, which is which good. Checks out, and if it's yeah. a five, that's that's also good. So that's fine for now. So what else can we do here? That's not four, so one of those is going to be a four. Uh that would be a two and then a four. Oh, this can't be six because of the two. six thing. Beautiful. Yeah, keep reminding me of that because I am 100% <laughs> just going to forget that. So four has to be either a one and a two or a three and a six like mm -hmm. that. So then that's one, five, or six. And that dot, okay, so we have an odd dot here, so that can't be a six, so that's going to be my six. And that can't be a two either, so that is one, three, or five. And that's on your white dot in the column. Um, that is on my white dot in the column. Very nicely spotted. Okay. Thank you. That's I'll, why they pay you the big bucks. I'll do the bookkeeping. You do the speed solving. I, thank you. I desperately need a good secretary. <laughs> so let's... That's not a five. That's a four. And one who's also just, like, phenomenally talented at setting and solving puzzles is also... Nice bonus. I appreciate you. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's Aww. a four. Then that would be... That's not a possible white Kropka, right. so that's going to be a one with a two. Three, four, four, two, three, four. Um, now that has to be a three. That's not a three. That's a three and a five and a three. Two, one, two, one, five. One, two, one, two. All right, chat. What are we on? How many languages are we counting in right now? <laughs> um, Andrew Sarkis has no idea how destroyed his puzzle just got. And Andrew Sarkis is here. He just oh, said he GG is. and chat. Nice. I'm, I'm, I, 
I'm slightly sorry to everybody whose puzzles are ending up as part of Clover's impromptu <laughs> speed block, but we, we gotta raise the funds, guys. Okay, Exum's killer. Just raising the field in your wake. Mm-hmm. I'll, I promise I'll solve, like, something else that you guys Ooh, all said. Um, this is cool. So, oh, and this is a Canty puzzle. Canty is oh, like I think I solved this one when feathers. I saw it. This is cool. Oh, man. Okay, let's find out. So, Exum cages. Within cages, digits don't repeat, including individual digits placed outside the grid in the cages. Okay, so we have outside grid cages as well but the outside clues example, can be double digits oh that's really cute isn't that's very it funny and then digits outside the grid and cages become x sum clues i think i've actually seen this rule set used i think a, i think uh jovi set a puzzle with this actually there's definitely One, something two. with ones in the cages i remember that and the fun thing is that outside of the grid we can absolutely use digits like zero or seven which is terrifying. Because, yeah, okay, look at these two cells. Okay, talk to me. They either have... Okay, one and twos will be single digits. And then... Oh, maybe not quite, but four, five, and six are going to either start with a one or a two, which would pair with this one or two. There are some limits on where ones can go in general. So... Like, that just can't be a 1, the right. cell we have highlighted right now. So that's 2, 4, 6. And if it's oh, and 6, it can't be a six... be 21, which, yeah, which breaks that. And this also it can't break, be 6, therefore. For the same yeah, reason. Yeah, that also can't be 6. Very nice. So that's 1, 2, or 4. And then 6 is in one of those. And now the point being... So... Go ahead. Either we're going to have a 1 or a 4, the 4 is going to be something starting with a 1, a two-digit number, and the 1 mm -hmm. is going to be a 1 exactly, so this is not a 1. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. And that tells us that that's, yeah, so that's now a 2. So that's going to be a 4, and that's a 1. And so now this one starts with a 1. Right. So that's 1 something. So that's, that's the 2. That's not a 4. So, yeah, so that's got to be a 2, because otherwise it would have a second 1 in the cage. So that's going to be a 2. And that is a 1-6 pair. And so 2 goes with what? So 2 goes with 1, 3, or 5 here. So this is 3, 5, or 7. Ah, but we've got a 1 in the cage, so we place 1 in box 3. Um, help me out. What do you mean? 1 in the How cage eliminates 1, one from here. Oh, beautiful. So that's now a 3. And so these can only be five and six. That's a five, six pair. Because yeah. those are the remaining two cells in there. So this is a one, and then something that's not in the range one through six is its units digit. It's so that's five, six, that's three. So it's fifteen plus one, two, or three. So sixteen, seventeen, so or eighteen. Not 16, so it's gotta be seventeen or eighteen. Yep. Okay, that works. Okay, so then that's one, two, three. But this can't be a one because then we yep. would have to have another one in the cage. So yep. that's my one. So then this could be a three with a two there. Or it could be a can't be a two at all. If that's a three, it's either a three, either or, a three or, six. or six. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's the answer. And now, now at the top of that column, surely, because it can't start with a one. Okay. It can't be a six because that would make twenty-one. The one would repeat. Perfect. It cannot. It can't be a if five because that would be somewhere between fifteen and. Oh no, it could be 20. It could be 2-0. It could be exactly 20, yeah. Which would place a 1 there, which would be good. Oh, but this can't be 1 or 3, because we know that one of these cells is a 3. Because either the X yes. sum is a 3, or that's a 3. And it also can't be 1, because there's a 1 in the cage. Yes. So that's a 4. And so that could be a 2 and a 4, being a 6 there. Oh shit, get a load of that. Mm -hmm. That breaks. If that's two and four, yes. then that's a three, making that a yes, six, very and that's nice. also a six, so that's a five, and it is in fact exactly 20. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a cool puzzle. Okay, so that's now 20. I love that I somehow remembered that zero was a digit. We're absolutely um, cheating, because I remember the solution path. <laughs> hey, he didn't say no cheating. True, true. Okay, so now we just have this oh i remember this ending being cute 
And now what are we going to do here? So if this is a 5, then this is going to be a 19. If it's a 4, and it's 16, a... and the 6 repeats. 4. Oh, that's so cute. OK, so that's a 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, and 4. Bam. Next puzzle. On to the next one, Moving Ren right Ren Sudoku along. by Sam Kappelman Lines. This Classic is a little Ren bit Ren. of a throwback to puzzle number Ren two bon. from the original Katardoku Pillar, which was set by Sam. Before I even knew it was going to be a project, it was literally just, hey, Sam, I set this little six by six. Can you set something that links off of it? And nice. that ended up being the second puzzle in Katardoku Pillar one. So that's kind of cool. Um, Jim so these is are counting two, in binary. Four, five. Yeah, count, count for me in every language you guys know. I am so here for it so that can't be a one because that would make that a two uh -huh. now one two three four five so the missing digit here has to be either one or six which means there's going to be three in one of those so that's now a six so that's going to be one four five and that's going to be two and three that makes that a four five pair and gives me a three there that's now a five okay that's two, three, and six. That's one, two, and four. That's three and six. I have solved a lot of Sam puzzles in the course of my life. He's got a style for sure. Um, this has to be a five because if this was a one or a four, then it would be duplicated a second time on the Renbon. So that's got to be a five, um, which is a really cute move, actually. That must be a six because that's my missing digit there. And that is one or four. One, three, four leaves me two, five there. Could have figured that out some other way, probably. And that's not a six. So uh, three and six there, so that eliminates one. And I think that takes care of that puzzle. Nice. I've solved a cruising. lot of Sam Kappelman lines puzzles. <laughs> this one does not look like I'm going to be cruising. This looks, oh no, this is a name that absolutely strikes fear into me. We've got five bucks from Jobo that just says, go, go, go. Heck yeah. <laughs> She's so this going. This is by Tuar, Tuar, um, aka Sky, who is a setter who scares the crap out of me. So this could be a sticking point. We'll see. But we're going we're gonna to do it honestly. Prof Meow, what language are you counting in? I, <laughs> it's beautiful. So All we've right, got palindrome. We we've got printing lines. Printing lines, let's figure it out. The circle digit indicates how many times digits along the line, including circle and arrows, appear in the cells pointed at by the arrows. For example, Ew. line 1532 is valid if the digits the it circle. points at are 2363 three, because the 3 appears twice, 2 appears once, and no other digits from the line appear amounting to three times, which is the digit in the circle. Perfect. So yeah, th this digit has like a count of three, or this line has like a count of three because it's circled three, and its digits are one, two, three, and five. So the question is, do we have three digits from the set one, two, three, five in total? That makes sense. I get it anyways, I think. Eh. <laughs> I'm lost, but go on. Start solving. I'll continue to read okay, this. Okay, I'm going to start solving. So I have how many cells that are pointed to by this in total? So that's four. So that can't be a five. So basically, I need either one, three, or four cells here that are occupied by these two digits. Uh, this guy is at most four because it's pointing to only four cells. And this guy is at most three. So that's either one or three. Okay, I think I now, understand it. Now, if that's it. a three, then that's basically saying that all three of these are occupied by digits that are one of these two. Right. So, like, if that's a three, then that has to be a three. Yeah. That could kind of go either way. Oh, yeah. this is going to be spicy. This is actually really scary. <laughs> <That it is. laughs> um, oh, oh this, man. this one three from the palindrome has to repeat in this cell. Does it? Oh, whoops, I messed up something there. Oh, d d yeah. Here, you drive. I'll just that's point at stuff. No, I get what you're saying. This is a remote pair. That's a remote one three pair, so that's a four. Oh, that too. Which I didn't notice that, that. All of these digits have to be these two. So these are all one, three, four, five. That also gives you the five in row 
to. It sure does it. Cause how? <laughs> okay, the, the thing I'm looking at is this digit, which can't uh -huh. appear again on the palindrome, has to appear here. Uh huh. Ooh, that's true. Yeah, I understand, because this one is seen by both- Okay, so that's a five. Perfect. Good catch. I was Eight. not figuring that out. Okay, so that's going to be a five, which means that all of these have to be one, three, four, which means that's a four. Mm -hmm. And that's a one, three, oh. Oh, that can't be right. It needs a four there somewhere. Oh, this is this is the four. Okay, yeah, yes. That's four. Uh, so that's not a four. Phew, okay, that could have been really ugly. Um, yep. And then that's one, three, or four. Okay, it has to be a four, actually, because roping. Five. There's a five there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So... Four in row three. Four in row three is right there. Beautiful. Okay, and then that's either... That's a that's going to be a two. So now that's a two. So now that's one, three, six, and that's a five. That's not a six. And the four in box so that's six. that's six, yeah. So basically, these all have to be some combo of one and three. So that's now a two six pair. Do what they all have before? to be? Yeah, because um oh they no they do because now we have one three and we know that there are at least ah uh, yes okay and very the only nice. options are there are one or three of them. I gotcha. hadn't thought that through, so thank you for questioning it. But I think we're right. All right, what was your next point? Four in box six. Four in box six. Heck yeah. Okay. So, I need either one, two, or three of whatever these digits are going up here, and I don't think I can really do much with that. Well, we have at least two, just because there's five digits in the column. Oh, these are different, well, actually, so this can't not. be one or three, because the, the these are forming a remote pair. Oh, nice. So that can't be one or three. And then these are the same, which is also the same as this, the same as this. The same as this, so it's the same as this. Uh huh. So that's one or three. So all of yeah, I'm just gonna mark those again real quick. Yeah, might as well shade it. Those are all the same. Um, yeah, let's make that that color. And then those are that. So two six in the column. Yeah, one of those. Yep, two six in the column. Very nice. Okay. So we've got at least one, which is the red cell, possibly two, but not yeah. three. Why not three? Because we can't get four on it. Oh, smart. OK, so that does have to be a one. And that also means the five, six has to be duplicated underneath it. Exactly. So that must be a six. That's a two and a six, three and a two and a three. Dang. And just double checking. Yep, we've got a one up there and nothing else that matches. So that is another puzzle. That was way less scary than I thought. Hey. Oh man, thank you, Tuar. That was pretty cool. I have never seen that rule set, obviously. Um, but I enjoyed finding out about it in this or way. We got just classic Kropke pairs. Have at it. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, by Blobs with a Z. Normal 6 by 6 Sudoku and Kropke pairs. So that's one, two, or three. Um, this is going to have a six somewhere. This has to have a one, so that is a one, two. That's a four, six. Uh, this has to be a four with a two and a one. It's three, five, and six. And that is three or five. Uh, so that's my one. That's two, three, or five. Two, three, five, six, and that is going to be a four. Okay, and that will also be a five or a six. So those will be one, two, or three. And now these are going to be one, two, four, or five, with that not being able to be a five. <laughs> Goodbye, one, James two, Sinclair's money. <laughs> one. <laughs> hey, he knew what he was getting in for. Um, he says he definitely didn't think you'd be through seven in under half an hour. <laughs> I'll slow down. Eventually. Eventually. Eventually we'll hit a snag. Eventually. It's bound to happen, so I might as well stock up like a little bit of a... Yeah, right. A safe, a safe buffer first. 
Two, five, six. I genuinely am getting very, very lucky too, for what it's worth. Um, which just as good to be to be lucky as good. Those can't be two, so that's a two. Nice. And that's a four or a six, so that is a six. Five and four and five and six and six and five. Close and even fast. though Conflict Checker is big angry about that, <laughs> that is the puzzle. Chat, give me my count. Draw oh, it's Stefan. Oh man. I'm gonna do a quick <laughs> okay. delete on the grid. Just Good to idea. So three six four two for our digits. Three, I'll six, read the four, rules two. for this. Oh, I think this has got to be like an original rule set. Oh, and also I'm going to need you to give me back the pencil marks for T-Rex's puzzle, because I think you just deleted all of them. And the next one is a Sakaku that had pencil marks in it. For... wait. T-Rex's puzzle is next, so right after this one. And it's a Sakaku, and you just deleted all the pencil marks. <laughs> wait, from which puzzle? Hang on, I'm I'm confused. Literally the pe the puzzle after this one. So the next one I'm gonna solve after I finish this is a pencil mark Sudoku. Except when you deleted everything, you deleted oh, no. all the pencil marks out of it. So I need those back. <laughs> oh no! I don't like how Sudoku Pad does that. <laughs> I didn't realize, or I would have said something. Okay, you keep you keep solving. I'm gonna go find what those pencil marks were. <laughs> Well, I think you just... are you just undoing a bunch? I tried to undo, but I can't get them back. <laughs> well, I don't want to, like, step on your undo stack, and now my digits are gone. What are the digits? Um, I, guess, like... I guess I can just check the digits for the previous puzzle. Yeah, it's 3642, so I'll just take those back. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. we're good. 3642, go ahead. Okay, yeah, if you can figure that out. I'll go figure that out. Really helpful. <laughs> All right, I need to learn this drawer's rule set. Oh my god. Um, oh, Chameleon says just restart it. Like, Makes just sense. restart the whole thing. Yeah, that's uh, a good so call. Literally, let's just restart it and then put in a 3642. So, Glibrel, you hit the button. Uh, it should be like in the tools, right? If I could get over there. <laughs> It's going to be easier for you to get over there than me. I don't even know where it went. Working on it. Oh, where You're is the great. restart? See, James, I told you we'd hit a snag. <laughs> and the snag is just trying to prevent Sudoku Pad from crashing on us. Where is the restart button? Oh, there it is. Okay. Are you good? Uh, yeah, I am good. I have my pencil marks back. So now I need 3642 and I need to figure out what the heck drawers Sudoku is. I'm wondering if it's drawers as in underpants or drawers as in, like, dresser. <laughs> <laughs> so if a cell contains an arrow, it's called an origin. The cell in the direction of the arrow at a distance equal to the origin's value is called its destination. Okay, okay so like so indexed like if this cells. has a 2... If this has a two, oh, I want to see the example image actually. Oh, I think it's the cell okay. containing it's the, the arrow, right? Containing the arrow. Yeah, That's okay. right. I'm looking at the example, and it'll occupy exactly that many cells. So for a given line in a given perpendicular direction to the line, the destinations. <laughs> oh my God, are a new arrangement of the origin. Oh. Woof, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I need to look at the example image. Line where column in a given perpendicular direction. Okay, I understand it. I understand it. It's a Stephanie Bureau puzzle, of course it is. He's amazing. Um, so it's two, three, and four. Okay. So now that is either two, three, or four. I understand it. That doesn't mean I know how to solve it. <laughs> but I understand it. She keeps saying as if trying to reassure herself. 
Oh, so that can't be a three because three isn't one of the origins. So that's either a one or a four. Oh, okay. I think I see. Wherever this goes can't be a five. That is weird. I know. It's cool, huh? It is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. So two, three, and four are going to appear somewhere in cells two, three, and four away. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see. From, like, their matching drawers, basically. Right. So, like, if this is, like, two, four, and three, then these oh. three cells would contain two, four, and three in some order. Clover, this is can't cute. A, like, this can't be a four. What'd you find? None of these can be a one. Why not? Because the matching drawer would have to be itself. But that's okay. It's shown in the example. But it... Literally, the example shows a case where the matching drawer is itself. But if you one. have... If one of the drawers is a 1 and the other one's a 5, it's going to need a 5 5 cells away. Oh, because it's only two. Because it's only two. Oh, it's, oh because it's only two drawers. That's cool. Yeah. yeah so those aren't ones. I, I'm with you. I just tried to remove the ones, but I think you might have put them back by accident, or vice versa. They disappeared for me, okay. so I think we're good. We're good. Oh, that you're so smart. Okay. And that's also not a one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, you you are really good at puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Um. So this guy. Can't be a oh, four. Oh, this can't be a five. It can't be a five because it would land on a six, and there's no matching six in the origins. Ah, right. So okay. that's not so a five, so we can place a five there. And then that's a two, so that which must needs be a five. five. Yeah, cool. Yeah, okay, so that's now a six. So that's not a two, that's one, three, or four. Uh, and unfortunately, one of these can be one. Um, yeah. Oh, no, those aren't drawers. Never mind, I was mixing up whether they were the ones contained. Oh, but it's definitely not again. going to a two, so the other drawer is not a two. Which one isn't a two? Oh, never mind. You got it. <laughs> it's yeah, also just it. from the um, box. We're good. Okay. So, uh, one of these, and then one of these. Oh, one of these is a two. So, like, yes. this drawer, regardless of whether it's three or four, its destination is a two. Uh -huh. So that eliminates a two from there. And it also eliminates... Uh, it eliminates no, a two quite. from row three, column five. Yeah, because if that was a, if that was a two, then that would be a yeah. That's true. That does eliminate that. Nice, very nice. Now, hmm. Okay, so that's a four. And that would be with a two. Oh, that. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Oh, the three and four might be interesting because they're either these cells or these cells. Ooh, so we have a so three, like four pair diagonally. Or this is four and three. So oh, and either one way. Of these has to be a three, so that's not a three. So that's a three. That's oh, that's four. cool. And so therefore, that's the four and that's the three. Very nice. And that's all taken care of now. Oh, that's so cute. I so really So the two like has the to point set. at a three. Okay, so the two. The four is going to point at a two there. The two has to point at a three, and the three has to point at a four. Perfect. And then the three points at a four. Fabulous. Okay. Now, that makes that a one. That's not a three. Um, one, four, five, six, but that's not a six. So now this is going to be a two by Sudoku, and that's going to be a three. Okay, let's finish her off. I think the drawer is in here. row three. Three becomes a five. This one. Oh, three is nice. Going to become a five, so five is going to become a three. And that now is a six, a one, and a five. And now the drawers in row, row three. three. So we have a one, one here. One is itself, so the three has to be a four. So that's, that must be a four. Perfect. The four is a two, and the two is a three. Yes, nice. Nailed it. Good. Okay, dang. So my pencil marks are gone again. Wait, I thought you said they were back. <laughs> They were back, and now they're gone again. I'm completely serious. Uh, um. Uh, <laughs> quick. I just need, like, an image of the puzzle. What, which one is this? This is Katerdoga Pillar 4? Number 94. Yeah, and I think this is Chunk 4. Uh, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 5... 
two, three. Yeah, here, you reproduce pencil marks, I'll drink my monster. Two, three. Oh gosh, I can't zoom in on that cell. I think that's one, two, three, four, five. Nope. Oh, do you want to just it. put them in chat if that's easier for you? Oh, nice. So okay, row one, column that. three, row one, column you, four, row two, column five, row two, column six. I don't know about glip roll, but row I have three, a very three. small screen, so I can't look row at three, chat the whole time. Row three, column five. No, stop scrolling chat. I can't see it. <laughs> row three, column five. Row three, column six. Row four, column one. Row four, column four. Row six, column four. Hopefully that's good. Okay, and is that all the ones that Demono posted? I think so. It matches Let's the ones go. in the image. Demono can double check me on that. All right, so I assume that T Rex, because he's T Rex, wanted me to come up with something ah. just incredibly beautiful. That's one five. Oh gosh. Just, one. What, what are you doing? I just closed everything. How did this happen? Oh, it was good. We were okay. Ah. Uh. We were gonna be okay. Are you still good? Are you still able to solve? I'm good. I'm still 100% good. All right, make I'm deductions. Great. I'll get the thing <laughs> back on screen that. soon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so scuffed. This is okay. This is this is what we will remember as the scuffed part of the night. <laughs> oh wait, it's not night. It's 3 p.m. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's where's the puzzle? Okay. Made it back. Oh my god. Okay. I've been just making an enormous mess. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm up to, that's the answer. Making a huge fucking mess. Um, I'm going to delete some of these just like incredibly egregious pencil marks. Okay. I don't need those. So there's a six in one of those cells. What do I need? Two in one of those cells. Ooh. Ooh. These two. Let's color the twos and threes. Chat loves coloring. Oh no, all the pencil marks disappear. And how does this keep happening? Mm. I can still see them. We're totally good. Okay, just just trust that Clover's got We're it under control. Two or three, so that's gonna be a four. <laughs> Are they just looking at something absolutely psychotic right now? Yes. <laughs> oh, I just looked at it for a second. Oh no. <laughs> blame Sudoku okay, Pad. Don't blame me. Six. Actually, no. Oh, don't absolutely blame, blame me. <laughs> this is absolutely not Sudoku Pad's fault in any way. Absolutely not. Blame pencil mark Sudoku, honestly. Yeah, blame the format. Um, that's one, four, or five. Okay, I do have a digit now. And one of those is going to be a four. That's going to be a four or a six. This is fine, exactly. Yeah, the, this is fine as the Sudoku just burns around me. Have I lost some of my pencil marks? Can somebody like double check? I have no idea. <laughs> so then you're not somebody. I need somebody else. <laughs> well, I don't. Because people know. are saying that I lost some of my pencil marks. The entire grid lost the pencil marks. <laughs> like, you can solve fine. It's just our view is all fucked up. Oh my god, okay. But every time you put digits in, they show up, so. That's promising. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that I'm okay then. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Come on, Clover. Get your shit together. Figure it out. <sighs> okay. So. One of those is a two. And then one of those is a two. So neither of these get to be twos. Yeah, Chad, I know it looks like that's a 1-5, okay. but that's actually the candidates that were eliminated from that cell. Oh, seriously? For complicated reasons. Oh, that's extremely funny. 
I think yeah, if... your yours looks wildly different from mine. We're just kind of have to like reset after this. I think if at any point you delete a cell and re-enter the pencil marks, it'll show up correctly for us. Okay, let's do it. So like if you delete just, row three column did, one uh, and re-enter. Row three column one. I don't have anything in row three. Or sorry, row one, one column three. Row one column three. That's the one they're complaining about. Yeah, now None. it's good. Fixed it. Cool. Okay. So now one of those is a three. And one of those is a three, because those, well, could those both in theory be six? I don't see why Actually, not. Actually, all, all of the cells with the given pencil marks, can you delete those and just put them back in? Okay. Done. I think that's going to make chat happy, because now we can actually okay. see what's going on. I live to make chat happy, because chat is who is providing the money to make this beautiful project happen. So thank you, chat. You are angels. I appreciate you so much. One of those is a four. So that's going to be a three or a six. Uh, we've got to be getting somewhere with this now. This thing is, I'm sure, very beautiful. I'm not in any way doing it justice. Um, Jeez. I don't even know that I have to have a three here. Like these could both be sixes or there could be one six and one three. There definitely can't be two threes. Um, hmm. Three is there, there, there. Hmm. One of those doesn't necessarily have to be three. That could be a two six pair. That could be a two six pair, which would make that a three. And make that a six. Am I correct in thinking you've got a one five pair in column six? Uh, you are correct in thinking that. So I can eliminate one and five from there. Thank yeah. you. Hmm. You've got a 1-5 remote pair that sees row 2, column 1. Row 2, column 1. Do I? Through the the that, black-celled ones. I don't... Oh, okay. So that's not 1 or 5. So that is 2 or, two four. or 4. Yeah. Okay. Three is going to be there or there. Ooh. Elsoft seems to have some con contradiction about threes in box four. Threes in box four. Interesting. Let's have a look. Row one column, okay. Oh, it's something I already got. Okay. But possibly worded differently. Yeah. Um, a little bit stuck on this. Yeah. This is a challenging one. It's kind of interesting. Orange is definitely in one of those. Orange is definitely in one of those. This has real pencil mark Sudoku vibes. That's funny. It's a actually turns out that it's a pencil mark Sudoku. <laughs> Chat, help me out. I'm a little stuck. Yeah, I need the Sudoku. I need I need to confess my sins to the Sudoku. My sins being that I absolutely never finished either of their packs, two, two, and two. I need their aid. It's fine. It's not two. Okay. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh yeah, six in column four. Six in column four. Ooh, well spotted. That was hiding. I don't know where they were hiding that, but they were hiding that somewhere. Yeah, good job, Twar. Twar music. Yeah, very well spotted. Mm, it's still not giving up though. It really isn't. This thing is vicious. Puzzle with sharp teeth. The T-Rex. Well, he's known for setting very, uh, I mean, brilliantly set and very complex classics. So I'm not shocked at who this came from. <laughs> Or <laughs> next one should be easier. Yeah, I believe that. I certainly hope so. Um, if the next one was harder, I would have some very serious concerns. Two, three. I'm looking for X-Wings because the X-Wing is like approximately the only classic technique I know. I'm looking for Y-Wings and Skyscrapers. I'm yeah, I'm looking for Y-Wings, actually. I couldn't even remember which, which wing was which. All right, I'll look for Skyscrapers then. All right, I'll look for Y-Wings. Chat, what are we missing? You've got a lot of buy values on the right side of the grid. I wonder if high low coloring mm -hmm. would work. Hmm. Because they're connected through column six. I'm not quite sure what high low coloring is. Like, for instance, these cells would be the same color since they have a three. So either it's going to be three, four, and they're both high, or two, three, and they're both low. How is three both high and low? Either this is a three and that's a four, mm -hmm. in which case both of these cells take the high value, or this is a two and this is a three, in which case both cells take the low value. Oh, okay. Interesting. I have never thought about that. I guess I would have to delete my current coloring. So like those are the same. The three, four, and the four, six are the same. The four, six, and the two, six are opposite. Uh, the three, four in this box are opposite. The two three in this box are opposite, so that does the two threes up here as well. Uh, the, the two five and the two six in this box are opposite. This guy's purple. Annoyingly, doesn't extend into the one mm. fives. Mm -hmm. Man, and it feels like unrighteous to bifurcate on this.
What if the next puzzle is a 2T1L? I don't know what that means. I also don't know what that means. Oh, I'm so stuck, dude. Same. What the heck? Oh man, what a bad moment to be stuck at. Well, we I mean, I could just eventually. bifurcate it, it just doesn't feel right. Are those three sixes the same digit over here? Do we know that? Um, no, we don't know that. It's a three, that's a two, four, one, five. I think we do actually. I think they are. I mean, it could be. Um, could be. This is a three, and this is a six. But if it I were believe. that, then we get three here. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that does break. Yeah, so, so they are. Those are the same digit. That gives us three in one of these two cells in this row, I think. Why? Oh, maybe it doesn't. I don't think it does. Because if there's six. Oh, yeah, maybe not. I'm trying like all kinds of Autogon stuff just because that's <laughs> what I've had on my mind lately. What breaks? Malrog. Color the ones and fives again. Okay, I will show you guys that. We had that colored for a while. And I think that's about all we can get out of ones and fives right now. Yeah. chat have any ideas? I think I'm going to bifurcate. This is not something I'm going to figure out. Sorry, guys. In the interest of getting to the next one at some point, because I don't think that this is something I'm just going to intuit. We are going to see what I would do if I was doing this in an actual contest. Yeah, we can come back to this one. I mean, this has a uniqueness problem, well, but it also doesn't. It also doesn't break. If you're doing this in so an we, actual contest, well, here's the thing: we're missing. Um, it's not broken. It's just not unique. We're missing some stuff. Wait, that can't like, be. Like I've right. got, I've got two solutions written out here. Are we so missing we must have pencil been missing marks? Some pencil marks. Let me we see the Yeah, we must have been missing some pencil marks. Damn. Because this definitely has at least two solutions. Uh, can, can we pause the timer on the challenge while we look for... No. Uh, we got to figure this out. Here, I'm going to clear this and we're going to look at Demono's pencil marks again. 
and we're just going to try to start over. I'm going to see if I can find the puzzle in Caterdoga Pillar help. Okay. Roll one, column three. And do we have the correct original digits? I guess is a question to ask. Six, two, three, four. Yep, we do have the correct digits. Row one, column four is two, three. Uh, row two, column five is two, three. Row two, column six is one, five. Row three, column three is zero dash five. Okay, that seems like a problem. I'm not sure what that is a typo for. <laughs> so can you figure out what's meant to go in row three, column three, actually? Three, column five is two, three. Row three, column six is one, row four, three, five. Row three, column three is one through five. Oh, it says zero through five. That was screwing me one, two, up. Three, okay. five, two, three, two, three. That's all good. Row six, row four, column this one is, is one, four, five. Stop clicking oh, on it, Gabriel, because it freezes every time you do that. Yeah. Um, one, four, five is good. Row four, column four is one, five. Yeah. Uh, row six, column four is two, five. Yep. All right. So it's that this... can't be one or five. That could be one or five. It's this cell. This cell is one, two, or five. Oh, Demono, buddy. It's, it's not Demono's fault. It's just missing from Sudoku Pad. What? Okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Same. <laughs> okay, so these are different. So that's going to be a four. Uh, so that's going to be a one or five. So these are two, three, four, six. That's not three or four. That's not two or six. One, three, four, five. Um, that's not a three. Okay. LOSF says that's it's also four. missing in their Sudoku pad. So that's not a four. That's also not a two. So well, that's three we're, or six. We're definitely helping Memerister find four. all the. <laughs> that's going to be a six. Yeah, we're uh, we're stress testing it. And I'm solving the puzzle now. So... Oh, look at this zooming now. <laughs> that the puzzle is actually the correct I'm trying, one. I'm trying to make up for it. <laughs> I mean, we can't let James keep his money. No, certainly not. That, that would be, be just acceptable. wrong. It would be. We'd, we, we'd be ro we would be stealing that money out of the pockets of the hungry <laughs> Sudoku con goers who yes. need it. So, you know, you know what they say, if you're not stealing from James Sinclair, you're stealing from your family. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I solved the damn puzzle. All right. Is everybody happy now? Now, yes. what do I have next, for the love of God? Oh, just okay. classic it's, XV and even it's odd. Beautiful. It looks like XV pair is even odd. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Okay. Okay. Four and six and one and two and three. That's a three. It's a one and five. That's going to be a two. Four and six. Four, five and six. That's not a four. Three and five, six, five, three, four and six, one and five, two and four. Okay. It's two, four, and five. And that's not going to be a three. It's a four, six pair. And one. Okay. Next one. Is Gosh. this thermo? Thank you, Casey. Yeah, just standard thermo. Casey, Casey, you're an angel. Artifacts Amanda, you are also an angel. You two are my two new favorite setters. Oh, this is definitely the speed solver block. It's going to be a five. That's a two. Five and six. Okay. One of those is, of course, going to be a two. That's going to be a five. It's a one and two. Okay, these are one, three, and five. That's not a one. That's not a five. That's not a five. So that's a four and a six now, and that is going to be two, three, and six to finish that column. So now we need a two and a three. Okay. Look at Clover go. One and six. And two and three and four. What is the next one? Normal skyscrapers. Oh my god, Bill Murphy, you angel! Oh, <laughs> you're amazing! I love you! You are... Oh, man, okay. So this has got to be two, three, four. And then five's there, six is there, and one in any position. So five goes there, six and one. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I love Skyscraper. Skyscraper is great. That's now a one. 
Okay, so that is going to be a six and a three. That's a two and a five, one, three, and four. Four and one, a five and six, that's a three now. That can't be a three. And that has to be my six there. That's the only remaining position for a six. Yep. Um, that's not a six. And uh, two, five, and six. Okay, so that's going to be a six there. That, of course, can't be a five. So that's a five. That's a three. And two, four, five, three. It's the block where we just listen to Clover <laughs> mumbling digits to herself. Okay, what is uh, the next Normal one? Renban. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Except that I can't zoom out on it now, so I can't see it at all, so I need to literally refresh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. How many languages are we counting in? That is actually really, really cool to watch. Okay. So where's my normal Renban? Where's my Renban at? Where is it? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Two, five, and this is going to be one, two, five, or six. That's not one or six. So this is either three, four, five, or six, or one, two, three, four. Interesting. So either way, it's got a three, four on it. Um, so those go in those cells. Mm -hmm. What else are we going to do? That's equivalent to that. So this is one, three, four, six. Um, interesting. It's a little bit of a spicy Ren Band. Oh, Who's no. this one by? Is it going to be like the Ren Band? In the original Catadoga Pillar, this oh no, was it Pulverizing Pancake? Maybe. I think that was the one. This one's by oh, this Kane is by Puzzles. Kane Puzzles, who is also not a pushover. Oh, this can't be three or four because whatever it is has to get repeated here. So this is a three-four pair, and I already knew that. Oh, that's I'm cute. Very silly. So that's a three or four. That's a two or five. That's my one-six pair. Fabulous. Nice. So that's a one or a six. That's either a two and three or a four and five. It's one or the other of those two. And then those are going to be equal. Um, now, what else do we have here? We need a two five on the line in the top right. Do we? We do. It... Oh, genius. Okay. And we need a one six and we need a three four because of the, like. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, we don't, actually. It could be just three and four. It's a... Oh, true. It could just be three and yeah. four. Ah. But you get what I'm saying. I was ready to believe it. <laughs> it had truthiness. Um, what are we doing now? Yeah, I don't think we can necessarily do much there right now. So what are we going to do? Good question. Hmm. I'm going to do a little coloring. The roping in... Like you do. ...in boxes three and four is either one, two, three, or four, five, six. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so that means that this can't be a two, because it can't have a three next to it. Yeah. Um. Okay, so that can't be a two. And then that can't be a five, because it can't have a four next to it. Yeah. That's potentially kind of interesting. This can't be a one, so one is definitely in one of those cells. Um, uh, hmm. Just ran my knee into my desk again. Ow. For the like third time tonight. I'm just giving up my body for <laughs> Sudoku Con stream. Ooh, this also can't be a two, I think, because of the roping. Uh, why not? Because this would have to be one or three. Um, couldn't this be one or three? Well, this specifically is either one, two, three, or four, five, six. Oh, yeah, okay, that cannot be two. That's right, so one of these is a two. So that's four, five, six. So this can't have a 5 on it. So that means that can't be 6. I think that also... That's kind of cute. Um... Hmm. Okay. Is it interesting that there's 2 in one of these 2 cells? 
Mm, maybe? Okay, so if this is one, two, three, then that's one, two, three, or ooh. Oh, pause is also dealing with storms. We're in chunk luckily, four. Luckily, it's luckily it's not storming here anymore. Nice. It was storming when we started last night, and it's just been a little bit misty all day. Although I say all day, I've only been outside once today. Okay, so the, if this is one, two, three, then that's a five. So basically, these that can't be a five. So five is definitely one of those. So five is one of those. Um, and those can't be two. So that could be a two. One, three, five. Okay. Hmm. Oh wow, we are getting close to 100 puzzles actually, that's pretty cool. And we have 20 more minutes for James Sinclair's challenge. Nice. Um, let's see. Come on, come on. I mean, we could do some coloring with like high loity. Could, yeah. So like, those are the same yeah. high loity and so are those. So is this correct? Good point. And then this is the opposite. But I guess that just resolves the two five pair. <laughs> mm, suppose That's so. What it does. Mm -hmm. So these are opposite high versus low. So that means this can't be a four. Why? Uh, because if this was a four, this would have to be a one or three. And, oh, no, never mind. I'm backwards on that. Yeah. Gotcha. I was thinking they had to be the same. They actually do have to be opposites. this cell restricted at all? Um, if it's purple, it has to go here. If it's orange, it has to be three or four. So it is one, three, four, or six. Which means we do have a two or five in one of these cells. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so if it's orange, it's three or four, and it gets repeated here, but that breaks this column. So it's not orange, it's purple. Oh, very nice. So those are both purple. Now, what does that do for us? Um, does that mean that these can't generally be purple? I think that means this has to be two or five, doesn't it? If it's the same high lowness. Three goes to two. Yeah, because three and four can't flip. So correct, that's two or five. Perfect. And there's also a two or five over here, so this can't be two or five. This is one, three, four, or six. Uh huh. That's a one, three, four, six quad. And column. that means that yeah, this is um so one of these is the one, three, four, or six that's purple. Uh huh. So this is orange. And this is purple. Uh-huh. And thus This is two or five. How do you know? One, three, four, six quad in the column. Oh, duh. Okay. You said that already. <laughs> that's two or five. That's three or four. So that is purple. This also gets colored. These guys are orange. Oh, yeah. That gets colored purple. And then one of these is going to be orange. So we are going to have like a flip. There will be a three or four. Yeah. So it'll be either. Oh, so it specifically three, has to be three, four. Four, five, yeah, it does, because that has to be like a flip over the center. Yeah. Um, that's not one or ooh, that's one or six. So that's not one or six. That's three or four. So that's not okay. three or four. That is one or six. Um. Okay. 
and then that's going to be orange. And then we don't know which way around these go yet. Um, Ooh, this one six. I don't think it can go here, can it? This purple one six. I don't think it can go on the Renban. Oh, because it would have to go with a two five. So that's got to be six. Yeah, it's six. You are so smart. E. You're fantastic. Okay. I'm helping. I. You are helping. You're helping it so much. Okay. Now that's one, two, three, four. That's one, two. That's six, four, three, whoa, one. And that's not three. That's not one or three. That's going to be a three and a two. That's going to be a two and a one, three, four, and three. I was so overjoyed when I thought this was just straight up right. Renban and it was going to be trivial. Um, the Renban are always the most challenging. At least I'm having a great time. And it's that's a two. Katerdoker oh, moment. Oh no, what is this? Okay, I have 15 minutes to go on James's challenge and I don't know what this puzzle is. Okay, normal error rules. The red arrows, digits in a cell with a red arrow are larger than all other digits in the cells along the direction of the arrow. Okay, that's simple. Oh, easy. Okay. Well, not easy, but simple. Okay. So that's three, four, five, or six. That's two, three, four, five, or six. Top left um, seems like a good start because it can't be. A... It does, doesn't it? So it has to be at least three. And it can't be five or six. These are one and two. So if oh, that's, and that's three, that can't be one or two. So that must Very be a four nice. with a three there and a four there. And then these are some combo of one, two, and three. That's a five, six pair. Yeah. That's a three and a one, two, five, oh, six, one, two. Now we're cooking. And then these can't have sixes on them. So that's my six. That's my five. Those are four and five. So neither of those are two, three, or four. So that is, in fact, a five, six pair. Okay. And now that's going to be a one or a two. That is going to be a three with a six. And three and six. And one, two, and five there. You can use the diagonal to resolve that. I sure can. Beautiful. So that's now going to be a four. And that will tell me which way is which here. And that is going to make that a three, two, and one, a four, and two, six, and five, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. What's the nice. next one? Well, shit. Standard killer? Oh, not standard killer. Multiplication killer, calc doku. Yeah, multiplication. Oh, it's pause's puzzle. Hey. Nice. Okay, so digits Perfect can timing. repeat. Hi, pause. Welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Glad you were able to stick around. Sorry about the storms. So let's do a little multiplication. So we can't have a 5 in the 12 cage. So the 5 goes there. 120 has and to be 4, 5, 6. Two. So that's got to be 1 times... Two. It can't be 2 times 4. So that's got to be 1 times 2 times 6. So that's 4 and 1. Nice. And that's going to be 3 and 4. 120 is what in the clip roll? 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. Fantastic. I believe you. I am not checking your math at all. <laughs> um, that's going to have a 3. So that'll be 3, 2, and 5. And that's 1 and 2. It's one, three, and four. And those are going to be one, two, and three. That'll definitely have a two in it. 48 is what? Uh, uh, two, four, and six. Is that I right? I believe that, yeah. Because yeah. it has to have all the evens. It does. So that's going to be a one, four pair. That's going to be one, three, and five with the one going there. And I'm going to place a five and a three. Okay. Four, three, one, four, one, five, four, three, five, two, three, six, and two. Okay, what is the Zoom. next one? Some kind of build your own killer kind of a situation? Oh, it... it's Vessel! Draw non intersecting oh, no. <laughs> loop through the centers of some cells that passes through every clued cell. Digits on every straight loop. line segment that touches a clue must have a sum equal to the clue's value. Just on a straight Yellow line segment. A loop. On a straight line segment that touches have a clue must have a sum equal to the clue's value. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. I. Okay, so Liberal help. Eighteen has to go up. <laughs> Ten. Don't know. Um. 18 has to be at least four cells, right? So if it turned, it would crash into the 14. So that goes vertical. Okay. 18 leaves out three in general. Oh, but it could leave out a one, two up there. That would be fine. Um, 11 can't go 
op no it, it could it could also go flat 10 oh uh, could 10 go vertical oh, so yeah it could be five two three one six pencil marks in the opening yeah you see that you can't have a line between row one column three and row two column three that oh that's something. cute yeah it could hmm. go down from there it could go to the right uh, yeah but it could go down or right it could go flat hmm. nine oh could it go three one it could go three one five and then another one three like that oh this is a tricky one mm. this might be where I'm... we die it might be. We have 10 minutes. Let's see if we can just get this one done, and then I will be incredibly proud of... I mean, I'll be incredibly proud of us either way. That's fair. If we can get this one done, that would be really sick. Okay, so what are we doing? We're drawing a loop, and every straight line segment sums to the clue's value. Yeah, so it could either be a straight line okay. segment, or it could be a turn, and I think then you get two of them. Oh, okay. So it's each straight line segment individually. Yes. That's pretty cool. Okay. Could this nine possibly go flat? No, because it would use too many cells. So it has to go down. Why can't it turn on? Oh, I see. It I does have to turn, and it has to make yeah, a nine. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying. I'm with you 100%. Could it turn so it to, to the right? I don't think it no. could. It, no, it actually cannot, because we can't do I'll one, two, you. six without breaking the cell to the left. So that uh, has yeah, to be one, explain, five. Then. Yep. Five. one, five. And then that's a two-six pair. This is part of and an then, eight, which therefore cannot go to the right, so it has to do we that. Have to turn and two. downwards out of the three. Okay. Uh, and now this nine could go into a four, or it could go into a could one go into three. Four or a one three, but if it's a one three, that would also be that a would nine. Make this also and it would nine. have it would to have turn to, to like the right. That. And that would have to also be one three five. Which oh, doesn't actually but, break, so I think we're cool. <laughs> oh, that could still be 2-1. Ah, oh, but this can't be a 3 at the top, for what it's worth. It could still be a 3 at the bottom. Oh, James has offered us a time extension, so we have until 15 after, because we spent 15 minutes faffing around with the pencil marks. <laughs> okay, nice. James is such a sweetie pie. He it's is. like he wants to spend money on Sudoku Con. It's like he wants the con to happen, guys. <laughs> oh, this is 9, so this can't add up to 14, right? Yeah, definitely it not. It cannot, because that would be 3, 4, 5. So yeah, the 14 is definitely flat. Cool. That is a really good realization. The 11 can't go up, so that 11's flat. Um, yeah, correct. Very nice. 10. Oh, it just can't go up, period. So it has to do that. Oh, nice. And so then that's either 4, 6, or it's 2, 3, 5. So there are relatively few configurations. Okay, well, that can't 10. be 4, 6, so it has to continue. And so that specifically is 1, 3, 6. I'll so trust then it you. it turns to the right. Yeah, so it turns to the right below there. Nice. Okay. And then either... So you can eliminate a 1 from, um, from row 3, column 1. And then the cell to the right of it is either a four or a five. And you don't know which way that loop goes. Okay. So you can leave that for now. Um, do we know anything about the 11? It could be one, two, and three, five. Thank you for five. the extension, James. You are a sweetie pie. We appreciate you. Three cell line. 18. Oh, it doesn't quite tell us about that, does it? Oh, man. oh, but this has to the turn one, up. The one like really loose. So this has to turn up. Is okay. also arithmetic. Okay, so we get so six, six four. five. Yep. Perfect. Six four. Six Careful. four. Thank you. And that's one five six. Okay, perfect. Can we do the fourteen now? Probably. So the fourteen has to leave off a total of seven. Oh, we still can't quite do it. It could be one two four. Or yeah, it could it's be it's multiple possibilities. Three Let's four. Just leave that for now. But I think this has to be two or four. Um, does it? It's either one, two, four, and three cells, four. or oh no, it could also or be it's six. One six, yeah. Okay. So as long as it's even. Damn. Okay. This two turns into that cell. Ooh. 
which now could that turn so and make a two? Down, it could. If it goes straight, it's fine. Mm -hmm. oh, I got a raid from like Skojo. Setter, I bet for the sake of like setter logic, it's absolutely going to continue going right. <laughs> or no, it's absolutely going to go down, I mean. Probably. Oh, but hold up. If it's down, we can't make the 14. Because that would be down, a two. We have to place a two, and then we have two cells to sum to twelve. Brilliant. Which is no good. This has to get right. out. Oh, that goes so down. Yar. <laughs> this has to be a two because it's outside of the eighteen. The eighteen needs three outside of it, so that's a one. It turns here. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Whoops. That's not two now. And we're getting some big donos, and we're definitely at risk of having to do another additional hour, which I don't even care at this point. <laughs> we're we're at two hours. I knew they were gonna torture us, so oh, we can't close the loop. Yeah, no pre no, pre 14, no premature closeies. So these add up to seven. Those could be either. Yeah, though either of those is fine. Um, eleven needs what outside of it? Uh, total of ten. So. <laughs> oh, so it has uh, to. Yikes! Yeah, so it's gotta be five six there. Oh, that's very funny. Hopefully that doesn't impact any of the other that. logic. I really hope this doesn't break anything. That's a three, so four, four there. So that's a six for the total. That was a very scary moment. That was. Um, okay. So... I think we can do Sudoku now. You want me to go? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okie dokie. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, there is nothing left. Cool. Right on. <laughs> and the question um, mark. Oh, is it ambiguous? Oh, no. Uh... Oh, the 11's broken. Wait. Oh, oh no. no. What did we do, guys? What did we do? <laughs> oh, no. We got too excited. I think that 5, 6 must have impacted some of the logic. The 11 needs 10 outside of it, so once that becomes a 1, 2, that's no good. But the 18, once it has a 2 outside of it, it needs... One and two, right? Yeah, and Kapiteki is commenting that, yes, in fact, we did have a little bit of a problem there, <laughs> that five plus four is still not 11. Uh, oh, no. Okay, so... And if the two went down, why couldn't we make 14? Because we just couldn't. Yeah, because it would have to be two plus, like, two digits that sum to 12, which is impossible. Oh, man. Oof. Oh, I trust that 10. Question, Malrog is saying the question mark in row 5, column 4, has to be taken from below. Why? By loop logic? Hmm. Why can't it be taken from above? Oh, because it would make the 11 a Oh, yeah, because that would prematurely close the loop in like a weird way. But yeah. I think we might have broken it earlier because I don't see any deductions that are bad ah. here. Hmm. Okay, we'll back it up then. This is why we got that extra 15 minutes. <laughs> True. This is what that was for. We knew we were going to need it. We needed it. We were all good. Okay, let's let's see. And let's just double check that we have the right digits to go in with. Four, three, five, two. Yep, we do have the right digits. That has to be a one, because it can't be six. It has to be five. I, I trusted all of this. This felt logical. That okay. six definitely can't go flat. That has to be a two. That can't. The 14 can't go down, because it doesn't have enough cells for it. So it mm -hmm. has to go flat. The 11 can't go up. It would have to be five, six. So it has to go flat. 10 has to turn there. Can't be 4, 6, so it has to continue downwards. So it's 1 through 6 with the yep, 2 at the bottom. I believe that. Mm -hmm. And then the 11 goes up on its left edge. Okay, let's, let's go from here. Okay. That's just all loop logic. That's good. So then the 10, the 10 going right is 6 plus 4. Yep. Okay, so now we need 1, 5, and 6 in column 2. This can't turn down because it would make that yeah, a 2. Yeah, because I can't do the 2 because that's that was busted with a 14. Okay, so that goes right. So this and has so to that's escape. Go... Uh, no, hold on. 
Slow down. Oh, I could go up to the corner. Like, okay, I see. Over. I bet that's fucking it. That's that's it, dude. Yep, that's gotta that be it. That was our end. mistake. So, yeah, so row two, column five must go up. Okay, so what did we establish? That the 14... Man, we're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this, this does have to turn down. That was the important bit. And this has to go up. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Can we just assume that that has to go off to the corner just because we know that it breaks if it doesn't? Uh, yeah, I guess Please. we can. Oh, you don't want to do it. It's okay. I if you don't, don't want to do it, we're not going to do it. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Then don't do it. I, I'm not going to make you, like, give away your pride. <laughs> uh, what was it that, that broke? It was this question mark, wasn't it? Can't go this way. Can't mm. connect those two. So it has to turn this way. Well, what about the 14? So that's either 1, 2, 4 on the outside of it, or... Yeah, we can't do much with that yet. Yeah, if this goes down, then this goes all the way around it, so it doesn't go down. That connects to there, and therefore this connects to okay. there. And now the 11, so can... which doesn't have a 2, does have a 1. So that is going to be 1, th one 4, and 6. So 4 in the middle. Okay, I believe it. Yeah. Three and five. Okay. Um, and now this definitely has to take. Yeah, now it can't avoid well, it's got taking a, it's that got a cell. one on it, so it's got to take that cell. Perfect. So that's now a three, and then we go left there. Yep. And now is it Sudoku time? Yeah, go ahead. Fucking go. <laughs> oh, and also the question mark here makes this a six. Question mark makes that a six. Beautiful, because that's now going to be a two four, right? Yes. Yes. And these have to add to seven. Fabulous. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Two, four, six. That's two, four, six. Well, that'll just disambiguate the right what columns. Missing here. Yeah. Oh, that's four, six, and that's a one, three, one. Th Ooh. I'm missing a six. There's my six. <laughs> I'm really hoping that that is just a misplaced so pencil mark. This is a six now. Just fucked it. Yeah. So that's now a four and a six, yeah. two and six, four and two. Okay. There we go. All right, we have 14 minutes. We're n not doing whispers. Too bad. Adjacent digits must Ooh. have a difference of at least n, where n is the number of cells the line passes oh, through. That's hot. So along here, we have to have a difference of at least four. So this is a three-four pair. This feels and so very contesty. So these guys have to have a difference of at least two. So this guy, this can't be one or two. So this certainly can't be three or four. It's got to be five or six. So this is either four and a six or a three and anything. Okay. And then, uh, that's kind of fun, actually. I kind of like that. <laughs> um, one of those is a 3. This is link 3, so one of these has to be a 5. And the other one has to be 1 or 2, so there's a 3 down there. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a 3 in one of these cells. Oh man, at least 3. Okay. So... What next? Oh, that's not a 4-6. I literally just... Oh man. That's a four five. Yeah. Okay. So one of these has to be a six. So that's one two three and six. That's one two and three. I don't think I really screwed that up. Hopefully. Seems so fine. one of those is going to be a three. That's a three. So there's a three there. That can't be the three. So that's oh, a three. Cute. Okay. Nice. That's very cute actually. Um, that can't be three or four. So that's one two five or six. We don't really know a whole lot more than that. That's four five or six. That's not a four. So that's a four and that's a five. That's not a four. That's also nice. one, two, five, or six. So one of those is going to be a four. Now, moment of truth. What have we got here? Um, three isn't one of those. That's not really that relevant. This can't be five, six. Why not? Make that a one, two. Oh, or... yeah. Well, well no. Here's well, one, the problem two, four. too. If that was five, six, one of those would be. Oh, but that would be okay. It would be four with six and three with five. But this can't be one, two, four, can it? It can't. That's correct. So that can't be five or six. You're totally right. Nicely done. Um. So yeah, there's a five or a six here, and then the other digit on it is not a four, so the four has to go there in that column. Mm -hmm. And then these are some combo of one, two, five, and six, and it can't be five, six, so one of them is one, two. So these are four, five, six. So that's not going to be six. So that's my six. Oh, and I think I hope that, was that right. means this has to be the five six, doesn't it? Uh, it sure does, because that can't be it. 
Um. Wait, no. Can't it be five here and six here? Well, then this would be a five, one, two. Six. Oh, good point. Yeah, so that's five and six. That's one and two. And heck yeah, that's not a one. Okay. So what do we get? Three is placed here. Is it? Oh, maybe the pencil marks are fake. Yeah, that pencil mark is not correct. Sorry. Um... So if that is a three, then that's got to be a one. And then that's a four and a six. If that's a four, that could be anything. That could be a three, and that could be anything. That feels kind of weird. That does feel weird. You know, strange deduction. Wow, and this is enough to resolve it. That's kind of cool. Apparently so. It's a beautiful puzzle. I hope it's not coloring, because I can see the one fives and the two sixes are paired here. Oh, we're idiots. So it's got to be at least four away on here. So this one is has to be four away from both one and two. So that's got to be Oh, six. yes. Okay, that's way and easier. And this, this can't be a two. So that's one and two. Yeah, oh, my God. Nice. Why were we so blocked on that? That Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to overthink it. That's not two or five. That can't be a six. Therefore, that can't be a three. So there's my three. That's just nice. a one. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay one, you're two, good. and a three there. That's going to be a two, six, ooh, one and six, one and four or five, and this has got to be a five. Yeah. Okay, oh, that was almost nice. very silly. Okay, light bulb by Dozy. Oh, it's, classic it's between, between lines. lines. It's just straight hey. between lines. Ah, you go, love Clover, to see go. it. Go, Clover, go. That's going to be one, three. <laughs> oh my gosh, so that's got to be my six. Okay. So now six that has that to be box, my six. Yeah. Yep. So that's two, four, and five. So this has got to be uh, one, two, or three. Not a three, yeah. of course. Um, six there, one six there, making that a four. Oh yeah. That's two, three, and five. Okay. And then these are three and five. One of those is one, one, three, five. Um. So if this is a two, then that would oh. Yeah, so one of these guys has to be a two, so this can't be a two. Oh, that's adorable. Because if this is a two, that's then there's cool. a two on the between line. So that is, in <laughs> fact, a one. That is very cool. Oh, and it is broken. Because now where do I place a six on the on this column? Mm. Yikes. Okay, so we have broken it. Yikes, That's not indeed. very cool. Let's make sure we got the right digits out of it. Well, that surely has to be a six. That surely has to be a six. And that oh, would make that a six. Have to be sixes, so the digits we can't a be right. Problem. Yeah. No, the digits are definitely right. Six, four, five, two. Huh? Oh, this four, five, can be two. a six. Yeah, it's got to be the six. <laughs> okay. One and three, and two, four, five. Oh man, <laughs> that was that was very foolish. Uh, we that's made. Okay, though. We both made the same mistake. <laughs> that's true. At the same time, yeah. brain cell. Um, <laughs> So now this has got to be a 1, 2, or 5. This has to be a 1 or a 5. These are so five basically instead one of, of these has to be a 5. Perfect, thank you. So one of those guys is going to be a 5. Uh, that's going to be 3 or 5. And I'm not quite sure about that. This has to be a 6. We've already worked that out. And so that also has to be a 6. And that has to be a one because there's nowhere else for a one in the column. Therefore, that's my five. And there's no five on the line. So that's now a three and a one. That's a one with a two or a four. Can't put a five on the line anymore. So that's two, four. That's two, three, four, two, three, four. Um, 
These are two and three with a five here. One of these is going to be a six. Don't know which yet. Ooh, what is going on here? These are going to be one and five. So that's a one, that's a five, and that's lower than that. So that's now a two, three. That makes that a four. Six, one, three, and two. All right, next puzzle. Malrog, if it you want is... the way to logically deduce the six, you can just look Red at bon Arrow. these two columns and then these as well with the... You have to stop clicking before I can solve. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> have at it. Okay, we're good. No, no rush or anything, but, you know, we're only making money over here. Yep. Malrog okay, wants so some logic. Four, five, or six. I know, I know. Malrog deserves his logic. Malrog has been very, very good. Um, thank you for sharing the logic. Ooh, Sudoku Pad's having a moment. Mm -hmm. but we have so also got five minutes, six, so... That's going to be a one. Yeah, we're good. So that's two, three, four, five, six. That's the same as that. Um, and then... These are going to be higher than that. So that's 3, 4, and that is 4, 5, or 5, 6. So either way, that's got a 5 on it. That's got a 2 or 3, so that's not a 3, that's not a 3, and that's also not a 1. And that can't be 4 or 5. So those are both 6s, actually. And those are both 2s. And that is a 4, 5, 6 with a 3. And I'm going to place a 2 now. And then this, 4 or 5, can't be 4, so it's a 5 with a 1 4 sum. That places a 2 in this column. And that's going to be 3 and 6, that's 1 and 5, that is 2 and 6. Um, ooh, where are we? 3 and 5. If that's a 4, we definitely have a problem. That's got to be a 1. And that's not a 3, that's not a 5. Four, six, one, one, four, five, two, and three, and four and five. What's the next one? Nice. Uh, zero through six with fucking Ooh, Schrodinger, Schrodinger cells. cells. Okay. I think this Can is... I do a Schrodinger cell puzzle in four minutes? <laughs> By Star Origami. <laughs> this might be it. <laughs> um, <laughs> oof. Okay. Killer cages. Cannot repeat and they sum to twelve sum or eighteen. To twelve or eighteen, and there's also Schrodinger cells. Shaded cells which are shared with other grids are not S cells, do not contain zero. So none of these are so Schrodinger these are cells. Your one six. Okay, and then Schrodinger cells also obviously once each in each yeah, in yeah. each uh or column in a region. So then we know those aren't Schrodinger cells, those aren't Schrodinger cells, and those are not Schrodinger cells. Yeah. So this has to sum to 12 or 18, so this is a Schrodinger. Uh-huh. Okay. And because this sums to 12 or 18, uh, what are my possibilities there? So it needs to be three digits, uh, well, probably not including 12. a zero, not including a three or four. Yeah, it's definitely 12. Uh, so no three or four summing to 12 is going to be, what, one, five, and six, I think? Making that a zero, making that a one six pair, and making this a two. Sounds right. Seems legit. Yeah. Um, and this can't be 12 no matter what. It could be 18 with a Schrodinger cell. Barely. Eh. Well, it has to be then. Zero is in one of those. So that's not a zero. Could it be eight? What do you mean? Oh, um, no, it could have a zero in it. It could have a zero in it. That would get to 12. Or it could be, it could be 18 without a Schrodinger, Schrodinger cell. It could also be 18 with a Schrodinger cell, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It could, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, Do we have... So this is 1 and a 6, so this is 7, so this has to sum to 18. Okay. So these three sum to 11 without a 1 or a 6, which means they are, I believe, 2, 4, 5. Sounds and right. And that's it. That sounds great. Okay. Okay. So that's not a 3. I'm absolutely not going to finish this in two no, minutes. I wish I could. That would be really cool, but I am. Th really I'm not cool. Tauntaun. I'm not Prasanna. <laughs> I, I wish. I aspire to that, but I am not there, I'm afraid. Um, but I am having a grand old time right now. I'm having so much fun. Okay. So... I'm totally... 
after one more minute, Glip Roll, I'm absolutely going to just hand this over to you so I can stand up and stretch for a minute, because I've been like, sitting here <laughs> clenching for an hour and 45 minutes, uh, just so you know. Perfect. I've been like sitting here tensing every muscle in my body. Um, so... I don't honestly see anything super obvious with this either. I also don't see anything super obvious. No. There doesn't even necessarily have to be a Schrodinger cell in this. Because no. there could be one there and then one up here. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Row, column, and box contains one Schrodinger cell. Oh, and we, this is perfect. We got exactly 100 bucks out of James. Oh, sick. That's amazing. We did exactly 20, apparently. Nice. Heck yeah. That feels great. That's a nice round number. And you know, if anybody wants to match that, don't know. <laughs> Are you trying to 20, get yep. them? Okay, challenge timer over. I'm going to stand up and stretch for a minute. Sounds Clip roll, good. I leave you to drive for as long as you want to. I'll be back in like two seconds. But I'll I'm go back and drive. poke at that. Oh, we got $1.11 from Malrog. <laughs> that Aww, just says, you, Malrog. it's so pretty. <laughs> Aww. And then 100 from Charlie. 100 for 100 puzzles solved. All right, let's see. What was the point here with the sixes? So these couldn't be six. So in these two columns, we had an X wings on sixes there and there. And the key point with that being that there's a six in one of these two cells. So if this were a six, that would also be a six. And the between line would have to have all of the digits be between six and six. Meaning that this is not a six and the only place for a six in the box, therefore that's not on the between line has to be there. So that's how you get that logically. All right, <laughs> let's look at this nonsense. If this has a Schrodinger cell in it, then it's got six digits total. So it's missing a single three. If it doesn't have a Schrodinger in it, then it's got five digits total. So it's missing either a zero three, a one two, or a four five or a three six. Okay. Is there a problem if it's a Schrodinger and it's missing a three? Not that I can see. If row five, column two is an S cell, it's four or five. Uh... Oh, right, because it's the digits in the column, which would make that a three, interestingly. No, it would make that a zero or a six. That'd be a four or five, that'd be a zero or a six. No, it would make it a three. What am I talking about? <laughs> Yeah, because this being a 4 or 5 would basically be this sum. And in order for 21 to get to 12 or 18, it has to get to 18, and this has to be a 3. Yeah. If it's not a Schrodinger cell... Well, actually, it still has to be from 4 and 5. Just if it's a Schrodinger cell, it's both.
So if it's a Schrodinger cell, this is a three. If it's not a Schrodinger cell, then it's either this sum or this sum, and we therefore need either a five or a four, but it could be a Schrodinger cell adding up to five or four or six, or sorry, or 10 or 11. Well, not 11 and not 10, so it would have to be a singular cell. So does that mean this is always, this is never a Schrodinger cell? Because if this were a Schrodinger cell, then none of these would be Schrodingers. Ooh, I think that's right. If this were a Schrodinger cell, none of these would be Schrodinger cells. If this were a four, then the cage would be summing these, and the remainder of the column would have to sum to well, not three, so nine. Oh, but this could be a one three. No, that would be fine. Are you wrong that it's just broken? Is it? How is it broken? Two, three, four, five in column three, four, five, six. Row five, six. I don't see what's wrong with that, no. Oh, you're saying this is broken. I understand. Yes, okay, valid. Because then that would be a 2-3 pair, and that would have to be a 3. Right. So this is a 4-5. or five. Meaning that the entire column sums to 21. The remainder is summed to either 3 or 6. Well, we're definitely leaving out either a 4 or a 5, depending on what this cell is. So the remainders have to sum to 9. Sorry, the remainders sum to 3 or 9, so the remainders have to sum to 9. So this is either a 4 or a 5 and therefore must be a Schrodinger cell, because it can't be a regular cell, because 4 and 5 are just used up. That's cool. And this has to be a Schrodinger cell that sums to 4 or 5, so it doesn't have a 0 in it. If it's 4, it's 1, 3. If it's 5, it's either... No, if it's 4, it's 1, 3. If it's 5, it's 2, 3, so it definitely has a 3. So there's no 3 there, but there, there is a 2 there, so that's a 1-3 Schrodinger cell. 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, so this is 0 and 6. And then that gives us a 4 in uh, row 5, column 2, right? Row 5, column 2. Because it's the same as the sum of the Schrodinger cell in the bottom left. Is the, remind me, is it the same sum or different sum? It's the same sum, right? Let me just do the math. So this column it's, has 0, yeah, 6, be a total of 12. 1, 3, 2. Yeah, and 4 to make 12. Mm -hmm. Nice.
Oh, and this definitely has a five. These guys, three in this box has to go there. Two and five here means this, well, I couldn't have two five anyway. <laughs> Well, it does mean this can't have two or five or four. And what did we say if this was a Schrodinger, it had to be Oh, that's a little interesting. Can this cage contain a three? If it did, it couldn't have a Schrodinger cell in it. I don't think this cage can have a three in it, can it? Yeah, because if, if it didn't have a three, it would have to be missing. No, sorry, if it did have a three, it would have to be missing two cells. Okay, slow down. If it had a three and a Schrodinger cell, it would have to be missing one cell that is a three. If it has a three and two if it has a three and not a Schrodinger cell, then it has to miss two cells that sum to three and can't be zero, three, or one, two. Oh, but could it miss, could it miss cells summing to nine? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Malrog. Uh, row five needs a Schrodinger cell. No, because it would have to miss out on four, five, Liberal. or three, six. <laughs> Liberal. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that this cage does not have a three. Anyway, R yes, R go on. Row five needs a Schrodinger cell. Oh, well, okay, fair. <laughs> that, I didn't, that wasn't from me, that was from Malrog. <laughs> but that was good logic, though. It was it cool, was. smart. It was smartness. really good logic. <laughs> it was really good smartness. Okay, so three in the column now it has too. to go there. Um, and this cage just is missing a three, which it is. So we've got left two, five, uh, zero, one, four, six. And definitely a four in those two. Definitely a three in those. So three down here has to go there. Well, in fact, three in this cell specifically. It was useful logic for removing the three anyway. Yeah, kind of. Two in row five. Oh yeah, fair point. So we get two and five. That places nice. five in this box. Okay, so this is... something. So if that sums to... oh, it could totally have a Schrodinger cell even if it sums to 12 because the Schrodinger cell could be 0 and 1. <laughs> oh, 1 in row 5 is in that Schrodinger cell, which eliminates 1 from the rest of that wiggly cage. Oh yeah, nice. That's nice. And if it's in the Schrodinger cell, then that means that this is 1 in this box. Uh-huh. And ones and threes both go over here. And then also either is zero or six. Yeah. Yep. 
I agree, this hurts me brain. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that we weren't trying to struggle through this one during the yeah. during the speed challenge. That would have been gnarly. <laughs> 18, we got incredibly lucky overture. with which puzzles we got during that challenge. Yeah, right? How many did you like get through? Incredibly lucky. 20. 20 puzzles. I think Jesus. it was $5 a puzzle, so we got around an, an even $100. What is that, 4.5 minutes per puzzle? And our average up until then was what, like, something in the 7-ish minutes range? <laughs> You're insane. So we totally lucked out. <laughs> yeah, no, I easily could have gotten puzzles where there was no chance I could have done that. There were just a lot of, like, classic one-variant puzzles in that range. That was really nice. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's fun to just, like, turn your brain off and go. I'm impressed that you can still do that even like however many hours I mean, in we are. Be be more impressed if I can turn my brain on. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Off is easy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're curious, we are sixteen and a half hours in. Sixteen. And we Jesus. have close to tripled what our estimate was for what we were going to raise, <laughs> and we have pretty much covered our tech rental costs. Oh, and we got our 100 from James Sinclair. Thank you, James. He says, You're a sweetheart. Thank you for humoring us. He says, awesome job. Definitely more than I expected, but I knew what I was getting into. Aww. No need for a thank you puzzle, but if you insist on it, maybe a nice 4x4 four four that I can send to my 8-year-old nephew. Oh, I could do that. Oh. Well, that sounds lovely. Oh, parody. This cage needs an odd digit in it. Right? Uh, let me see. Does it? Yes, it does. So it has Very to be nice. a one. So it needs a one in it, yeah. Nice. Okay, oh, that could be a Schrodinger cell, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, gotta love Schrodinger cells. Okay, so we've got one five, which is a multiple of six. And then we've got a zero or a six, which is a multiple of six. These have to add up to a multiple of six, I think, is the point. And therefore they have to be four and two. Which gives me the four and the zero, four there, zero gets placed in the box, zero comes out of there, and now it collapses, surely. Here's hoping. Uh, zero in this cage means that's a one six, so that's zero. That's six. That's now a five and not a Schrodinger cell. That's one six specifically. So that's three. Uh, this is zero. That's six. This is zero one. 1 and 6 go here in this box, and that's 5. Wah! Heck yeah. Okay. I'm scared because the next one is a pencil mark Sudoku, but I also, Sudoku pad's starting to lag, so I kind of want to delete some digits. Um, you can delete the digits and then just completely restart as long as you remember those four digits. We did that last time and the digits disappeared. <laughs> but they stayed there for like, I think I might have hit Control-Z or something by accident because they stayed there for like five minutes and then I looked up and they were gone. So I'm pretty sure that if you're careful with them, they shouldn't vanish. I think I'm just going to try solving this one and then if it gets real bad, then maybe bail out.
Oh, this looks cute, doesn't it? What's going on here? Is this a Y-wing? Um, that is a, um... Well, it is a Y-wing, is... but it's not doing anything. It's a, it's a CNL. Oh, no, it isn't. No, it's not. What is yeah. it? What is going on I don't on know. Here? It's very suspicious, whatever it is. Yes, I agree. No clue. And then we've also got this nonsense going on here. <laughs> is it just a snake? Let's see, five, six, one. Oh no, these two don't share anything in common. Oh, okay. If this is a three, that's a six. If this is a six, that's a five, that's a three, and that's a six. So this is always a six, isn't it? Alternatively, um. If the three six went this way around, then that would be a five, and that would be a five. Has your brain turned off? <laughs> Is it that no, time? No, I'm trying. No, I'm trying to reply to like a somewhat urgent email. I'm being really irresponsible. Okay, fair enough. I'll My keep brain is also then. turned off, which is why it's taking me so long. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this goes 6 3 like that. Oh, are these not. Can I not actually delete these cells? I can't actually delete these cells. Okay, in that case, I am gonna. Ah. Uh, so 3 5 2 4. And where even is that grid that's down here? Three, five, two, four. So this can't be three, six in that order, so it goes six, three like that. <clears throat> Can I do similar things with like these guys maybe? Okay, I'm back. No, I don't think I can. I resolved a 3-6 pair. Hey, not too bad. What is, what is going on with these? I don't know. It looks incredibly meaningful, doesn't it? If this is a 3, that's a 2. If this is a four, that's a two. And if they're both twos, that's just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, fours in this column. Oh. So if this is a three, these are both four, and there's nowhere for four in column one. Oh, it's that thing. Oh, that's clever. Who said this? Jojo81. Not somebody I know, I don't think. Same. Unless I'm not recognizing their name, but that is, oh, that is fun. That's fun and cool. I quite like that. Ooh, there's almost a similar thing with threes going on, because these can't be threes, but any of those could be three. Um, five in region three. Oh wait, no, five. you have a pencil marker with fives in column three. You've replaced some fives with sixes in column three. Oh yeah.
And now the puzzle will surely just collapse. Well, I'm now really suspicious, having looked at that thing with the fours, of the 3-5 and 1-5 pencil marks, kind of towards the right side bottom. Mm. Because those line up in terms of what rows they're in, with the 2-3-4-5s ah. there. Which is, like, really suspicious to right. me. Right, so either this is a 3, or that's a 1. And then also the two uh, sixes on uh, Ooh, the they left column. also line up with yeah, that, these fives. Those are the ones I meant, actually. I wasn't even noticing that they lined up with those other ones. So again, yeah, either that's a three or that's a one. Oh, there is something here. There really is, yeah. That's so suspicious. Oh, well, that is a Y-wing that eliminates one from row four, column five. Oh, this Y-wing? Yeah. Yeah, so that can't be one. So that's two, three, four, or five. I don't know if that helps. Oh, we're we're very dense. Yeah. Um <laughs> so claiming sixes at the top of column five gives us a five in row two, column six. Six is at the top of column five. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> so that's now a five, which gives us a three below it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think we've cracked it. I think we were just overthinking really hard. I'm ready for the et cetera part. Uh, three in column four, or column five. Oh, yeah. Maybe cracked it was like a little bit of an overstatement. <laughs> It did look like there was going to be something oh, on fives. Oh, we've, we've got an X. Yeah, we've got an X wing on fives now in columns three and five. Ah, uh, yeah. So, so that eliminates six, a five there. So that's six one. and then one. Perfect. Nice. Look at that. And now we can place a six in box three. Um. Yep. And two. Yep. Heck yeah. Hey. Nice. What a cutie. That was a cutie. I like that. Yeah. That's a nice little puzzle. I like a nice kind of medium difficulty pencil mark Sudoku. I like how it wasn't just the pencil marks, but you actually had to find like yeah. there there is only two places for what was it, four in column one or something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was more about like the spaces around the pencil marks. Ooh, Emphirio. And interesting line constraint that I've never seen before, shift lines. Right? Teal lines in the grid are shift lines. Each cell along one half Ooh. of the line is paired with the cell the same distance from the center on the other side of the line. So like palindrome cells are paired, but on one half of the line, each digit is exactly one more than the digit in the paired cell on the other half of the Ooh. line. So it's like off by one palindromes, except that the difference is always in the same direction. So one side is always bigger or smaller. Didn't I just solve an off by one palindrome puzzle of yours? Mm. It, you solved uh, consecutive clones. Ah, same consecutive energy. clones. That's yeah, yeah, same energy. Yeah. Glipperl needed a warm up before the stream, so I gave him <laughs> some of my six by sixes. He was afraid he wouldn't be solving enough puzzles today. One, three, two, four. Okay. <laughs> this can't be two or four. That's one, three, five, or six. And it can't be one or three, I think, because that can't be two or four. So that's five or six. That's five or six. That's a five, six pair, in fact. 
Huh. So that's not two, four, five, or six. That's one or three. So that's one or three. two yeah. or four. Oh, that's one really fact, cute. That's also by this. Yeah. One, three, five, six. This is not five, six, or two, four. So this five, six just goes there. That's a one, three pair. Cute. These can't be one or three. So this can't be two. Well, yeah, duh. And this can't be two. So that's one, three, or six. This can't be six, that would have to be five. Uh, I think everything else is possible. I think everything else is possible. Hmm. I wonder if there's something to be said of like the number of five sixes that can appear out here. <laughs> it kind of is Nap Danibin palindrome. Palindrome is an interesting constraint to apply Nap Danibin to. You wouldn't really think of it as like, you know, the digit, the palindromes read the same forwards as backwards, but also off by one, you know? Oh, I just realized something really funny. Was that? Okay. So this is going to be kind of weird to explain, but remember how it said that like one half is always greater or one half is always less? Like it says one half, each digit is always exactly one more. So like there's a big half and a small half, right? Oh, I did not pick that? up on that. Okay. Yeah. So look at this bottom line now. Yeah. These are the same. So if these are both ones, then which half is the small half? If they're both ones then you can't have a small half. Ah, They're that's cute. Small half, so those are both threes. Well, I think also in general, this two, four, and this one, three means these are the big halves, right? Um, yeah, that's true. So we also get the six, five. Yeah, and then we have a three, four on the right and three, two that's on the one. left. Yep, two and four and small half, two. so two. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're unstuck. That feels a little better. Okay, so if these always go in the same direction, well, this can't be a five now, so that can't be a six. So six in this column is going here, so that's not a six. So that's not a five. That's a one, three pair, so that's four and six in the row. And this- so that must be a five. Yeah. So that's the big half. Mm -hmm. Which could still go either way with these two. But column three is finished. Yep, it is. Heck yeah. Um, three. One, one, two, two, six, six, four. Nice. Beautiful. That was a cute puzzle. That was cute. I like that rule set. Double, oh, it's double arrows. arrows. Just like Jacob and Wolfer's puzzle from 100 years ago. Okay. So the circles and the line are the same, same tum, same sum. So this guy's the sum of those two, and that's at least a three. Mm-hmm. Then the middle is at least a four, so it's a four or a six. Yeah. This surely can't be a five, right? Because that would be at least nine. Oh, but that could be a six. No, it could be. Wow. A 
if this were four six, these would have to be two apart. That seems fine. If this were five, this would have to be one apart. That's also fine. These don't have four or six on them. So if they were, if they didn't have a five, no, even that's possible. If they did have a five, it's also possible. Wow, okay. Row five, column four, can't be one at least. Right, because that would be at most four. That's fair. So this. Well, thank you for is... being here for so long, Lior. Good night, and thanks for thanks for hanging out for so long. I appreciate having you around. Hey. Lior is signing off for the evening. After wow. being with us for seventeen, 17 hours, hours straight. That's insane. That's incredible. There are a couple of people I've seen in chat who have literally been here the entire time. Thank you for your. <laughs> endurance. You guys are amazing. We have the best chat. Wow, that's great. Okay, so these are either a difference of one or two. So these are either a difference of one or two. So that's not a six. Wow. <laughs> Amazing deductions. Ah, if this is a three, that's a three, so that's not good. Ah, and now... Now I think I can't have a five here. Because that, that would make it a minimum of nine, which no longer works. Yeah, so I definitely have a five so up five there. Five is definitely up there. So that means those two sum to a minimum of a minimum of six. So this has to be at least four. At least four, yep. Oh, and it can't be five, because then these two digits would be the same. Oh, I can eliminate one of these two. Which one can I eliminate? Either the four or the six. Ah, uh, it can't be the four. So eliminate four. Oh, thank you for trusting me. <laughs> Pretty sure I was right. I'm still working through it. If that's if that's four, this would be too bigger, so this would have to be too smaller. Yeah, yeah I trust you. Trust but verify. Trust but verify good motto to live by. Oh, this is cute. This can't be a one now because that would be a one. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, that's very cute. Not useful, but cute. Mm. Yeah, just appreciate it for a moment. Yeah. Oh, 99% sneaky just told the absolute worst dad joke in chat to celebrate uh to celebrate this puzzle being set by dad jokes. Oh god. It was real bad. Ah, oh, it's a classic. It got an appreciative smile from me. This could just barely be one if that were two, three, and four, and that would be six. That's definitely what we're meant to look at, is just picking off random cells. Oh! What you got? So, the sum of these cells. Ooh, no, better. No, damn it. Almost. Okay, there's two what? things going on. <laughs> the sum of these cells is equal to these two plus twice that. Mm -hmm. Which means by parity, this is contributing an even. So 
these have the same parity. Okay. But that basically just means that yeah, it doesn't give us much in far, as far as It just means these have the same parity. Yeah. yeah. Alas. Annoying. The other I thing I was thought. thinking... I did not pursue it that far. So this is... 11? Plus 4 or 6? Plus either 1 or 2? is somewhere between 16 and 19. Divide that by 2. So these are somewhere between 8 and 9. Where are you getting 16 to I 19? Can't be right. So Because you could just look at it as leaving out the 1 or 2 and the 4 or 6. Oh, no, I have to subtract the 1 or 2. Yeah, that gives you it's somewhere between 13 and 16. Okay, so 11, 15 to 17. 13 to 16. Yeah, okay, so 13 to 16 divided by 2, 7 or 8. Wait, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> huh? I'm confused. Uh, why are you dividing by 2? Oh, I, I shouldn't divide by 2. So 13 to 16. I feel like we're losing it a little bit. Do you want to Do you want to just like take 10 minutes? It. What What yeah. is the sum of these two? <laughs> I kind of want to take like 10 minutes to recover my math faculties. All right, I'm just going to color. So these two are this. These two, which means we're double counting this one, are this. So these plus that minus three times that cell, is that what it is? <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Oh, uh, how does math work? So this is either 15 or 17. I'm going to negate that from the equation, which means I'm left with this triple counted. So this is either 15 or 17. And I lose either a 3 or a 6. So this is either... Nine twelve nine eleven twelve or fourteen nine so it has to be nine or eleven, surely. Which means this has to be a five. <laughs> so why can't this be a six? Well, nicely, if this is a 6, that just makes that a 4. So if, if this were a 6, and that were a 4, and that were a 4, these would sum to 15. Yeah, because they would sum to 4 plus 6 plus x plus x, so 10 plus 2x which can't be 15. Like, x is the digit that you're highlighting right now? Yeah. And then your lines would sum to 4 plus 6 plus x plus x? Uh-huh. So 10 plus 2x. And you're saying, that that's, you're saying that that's 15? 
So 10 plus 2x plus x would be 15. 10 plus 3x is 15. Yeah. I think that's right. So this has to be a 5. So yeah, 5 is not a multiple of 3. Yeah, so it's going to be 5. Bam! Nice. Ha! Well done. And now these have to be Man. 1 apart. So they definitely have a, a 2. Triumph. <laughs> Math wins out in the end. Ironically, it doesn't even do much for me. Nicholas Pearl, guess what? We made it into our final hour. Woo! <laughs> I never thought I would see the day after the seven hours oh, we God. spent looking at that number saying seven hours. <laughs> right. We've been going a Man, ridiculously long time. What a day this has been. <laughs> right. Why did we do this? I'm actually going to be going to bed at like a reasonable time, too. It's not going to be like going to bed at six in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because I woke up at like 7 p.m. yesterday and have been going ever since. <laughs> yeah, fair. Okay. Isaiah, I'm glad you've been with us. So what does this 5 actually do for me? <laughs> Anything? Ah, uh, welcome to the sleepy and stupid part of the stream. That's my favorite part of the stream. It's a good part. The solve count for James Jubel was uh, 20 puzzles exactly. So that was 100 bucks from James. So you should all go subscribe to Artisanal Sudoku to help him make that up. Yeah, right. This is a tiny random little thing, but row three, column five can't be six because then you wouldn't be able to do the uh, the column five line. Because six plus six and four plus six would both reuse a digit. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it can't be four. Oh no, it could be four. Sad. Yeah, because it could be four plus four. Yeah. yeah, I thought I thought that through, and I almost didn't even say anything about the six thing because it seemed so silly in light of that. Well, we eliminated one through cuteness. We eliminated six through cuteness. Ah, uh, but five could be three, six. No, damn it. Yeah, it could be five plus four equals three plus six, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I know, right? What is this nonsense? Am I just that sleepy, or is this actually like an insane puzzle? I'm, you know, I don't know. I was about to say, I think it's actually an insane puzzle. I genuinely 100% don't know. Oh, could this be 1, 5, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 6, 4? No, right? Because that's a 4. I don't know what that tells me. Could this be a 5? I think that means this can't be a five. Why not? So five, four. Oh, it could be three, six again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could just. Oh, uh, hold on. So are you saying if that's a five, then it has to be a four with it? Yes. On the bottom right? Why can't it be a one with it on the bottom right? So five, one. These have to sum to six, and they have to be two, four. Oh. Yeah. Um, why did I think this could be a one? If it's a five, li listen to me for a second. So if it's yeah. five, then it definitely can't be a four or a six in row five, column six. Because if it's a four, you end up with like really fucked up roping that breaks the bottom part of column four. Five, four. So that would be three, six. And then above the five would also have to be three, six. <sighs> Oh, whoa. So that, that can't be 5-4, it can't be 5-6, wow. but the thing is I'm not convinced it can't be 5-1. I'm also not convinced it can't be 5-1. Yeah. Should it be 2? Two? 2 would make that 1. That would be 3 or 5, that seems fine.
two, three. Oh, four, six, we're five. really dumb. Oh, that's Clip weird. Roll. Yeah. Clip roll. We're really dumb. So try putting one in column three, row three, or row three, column three. Those are the same. Row three, column three. Try putting a one there. Okay. It makes the thing above it into a three, five pair, and that's eight, and we can't make eight. <laughs> Uh, yep, I would do it. <laughs> Let's just pretend that never happened, okay? Definitely and then the that's sleepy part be of the stream. Row three, column one is a four. Oh, this has a five on it. Row three, column one is a four. Row three. Column one is a four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you ever been this close to death? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was perfectly awake. Now I'm not so sure anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm sleepy enough for both of us. <laughs> oh, that's a one. Ha ha. Science. Hell yeah. So that's a one five, which makes this a six. No. Four. <laughs> Skojo, we are on puzzle number 108. Three and six. We are well over the halfway mark in the Katadoka Pillar. Shit, we are well over the halfway mark. Cause you I wonder if anybody's made it this far yet. Because you absolutely plowed through that section of just... Yeah, of just 20 puzzles, just yeah. bam, 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 bam. <laughs> I, I genuinely wonder if anybody has made it this far in. Because, I mean, me it's been too. out for a little while, but it hasn't been out for that long. And also we found mistakes we in found the Katadoka errors, Pillar, yeah, so... That people didn't seem to have known about. Right? So that's oh, cool. parody. Oh. Oh. Yeah, would you look at that? Okay, so that's got to be even, so it's not a one, so we can place the one. E. Cool. So I that's going to be odd. So, well, for starters... The bottom oh, it does of have column to be odd, five yeah. is even. Fair. Yeah. This has a three or a five along with a two or a six. Yeah, it's either two and five or three and six. Oh, Whoa. five plus two is seven. Clip roll. Five yeah. plus two is seven. Yeah. Column three. Column three. Five plus ah, two. Ah, yes, I, I see. So this big. Oh man, I just scrolled up in chat this and big. several people are saying like, why are you not adding the numbers together? Because <laughs> addition hard. It is. We don't know how to add numbers together. I we need only to have remember that chat exists and knows yeah, things. Yeah, same. <laughs> My screen is too small. I can't look at them most of the time. Yeah, right. And then when I put them away somewhere, I forget that they're there. <laughs> also, we definitely moment. only have two math degrees between us, so I don't know why they think that we could add numbers together. Yeah, seriously. That's a, that's a pretty oh, heavy expectation. This is a cute grid. So they are border sum circles. So split the digits around a white circle into two groups of two along a thick box border. These two groups must have the same sum as each other, and each of the circles has a different sum from the other circles. Ooh, okay. Okay. I dig it. And then anti-border sum circles, we split into groups where both groups have different sums from each other. So anti-border sum circles are basically like either way that you can split these. Like if you split them like this, or if you split them like this, either way, the sums have to be different from each other. So red can't equal orange. And when it and says... Red can't equal yellow. When it says along a thick box border, does that mean it has to be split like this? Yeah. Okay. So if these are six, these are six. Yeah. 
after cider. Two, yeah, exactly. Four, those have to be. Those have to be six. Yeah. Or one or, five. Yeah. Perfect. And then these and these. Well, I guess it could also be those and those. Oh, wait, but... Oh, no, I was about to say something stupid. No, it's not stupid. No, it is. It is stupid. Ah. Uh, okay. If if these sum to the same, do these also have to sum to the same? No, right? Like I could have one, four, two, three. Yeah, okay. I've convinced myself. <laughs> Shush, Malarog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we knew what we were getting into guys we knew we yep. knew we were getting into yep. some misery it's been good misery this mm -hmm. is what they call type 2 fun <laughs> that's the type of fun that's definitely not fun while you're doing it but it's a lot of fun when you tell the story later and it's for a good cause we're trying to make a really cool event happen for us and for all of you Both vertical and horizontal pairs must be satisfied? That doesn't sound right. Uh, for the anti-border sum circles, that's the case. Oh, sh Oh, on the one that's on the intersection of four boxes, that's the case. So like on the one that you kind of have highlighted now, it's both vertical uh, and horizontal have to be satisfied. Blah, the other ones. Okay. Yeah. Funky. Okay. So these I didn't quite appreciate that. And these, that's either one, four, two, three. One five, two four, or four five. So one something. five two four can't possibly work because that wouldn't satisfy vertical. Wait a second. If both vertical and horizontal are yeah, satisfied, it's got, it's literally surely, gotta all be the same, right? Surely it just has to be clones, right? It does. It has to be because so the these just have, have to be, be fours. Yeah, those have to be fours, and then the other one is one or five. I'm gonna trust you. I... Uh, it's correct. I, I've just spent like the last 10 minutes working through it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so these and these are the same. This guy so is... So this has to be a 2 now. Um, so row 6, column 3 is a 2. Oh yeah, nice. Parody. Parody moment. Yay. A lot of parody in this section. This is the parody zone. Ooh, and like, modulo some... 4 moment. Okay. So this is one oh. modulo four. This is two modulo four. So, so it's got to is... be three. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's cute. I feel like somebody gently whispered the word parody like into the air as this section was <laughs> being set, and we just ended up with a lot of parody. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay, these and these are the same. So these have a difference, and these have a difference that have to be identical, I think is what I'm picking up. So one, three, or four, and one, three, or four are all possible. <laughs> All right, puzzle collapse. Go. <laughs> we can do it, but do we want to if we lose Clover and Glipperol? I think it's if we love Clover and Glipperol, which is a little bit less gloomy than uh oh shit than yeah you read that. <laughs> matt just dropped 100 with no message thank you matt 
you're scaring me a little bit, buddy. I it's appreciate you. It's now only you. 75 bucks away in the next the hour. The con attendees appreciate you. In the next 45 minutes. But you're freaking me out a little bit, bud. I, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> you were the one that said they were all going to drop it in the last... I know. I, I know they will. I'm not actually scared. I could do this all day. <laughs> ah, and if these can't be the same sum, it means these... No, it's not what it means Before, at all. Hasn't, hasn't this whole thing been like a really good exercise in mm. trusting your math? Like, yes. the whole donation thing? Like, it freaked me out how fast it escalated <laughs> at the beginning, but I, I just have been trusting the process. <laughs> sure enough, it's coming out like exactly how we expected. It's really reassuring. Don't worry, I test. I tested my code. Well, I guess I didn't uh -huh. test whether it rounded over at the cent, but other than that, I tested it. Clover, go do big brain stuff. <laughs> I've been looking at it for so long, and I really am struggling. I mean, it's got to be about the anti-border sums one, right? But that just seems so... Yeah. Oh, each one has a different sum. Oh, fuck. Pardon my French. Okay, so that's six. That's seven. This... And that one's five or nine. Could never be six or seven, so... Whoop-de-doo. But the anti-border the anti sums one doesn't, doesn't fall under that, I don't no, think. No, annoyingly... So the border sums one, that can't be six or seven. Oh, that's right. It's not this way. It's this yeah. way. Yeah. So, so this surely this can't be a two, right? Hold on. Um, let me think through some cases here. So if this is six. I think two just breaks instantly. Does it really? Okay. Because it's either two one, which is three or seven. Yeah, so two does break instantly. You're right. Two breaks instantly, top and bottom. So literally, two is in row one, column four. Oh yeah, because then this would be either two four, which is six, or two five, which is seven. So yeah, that's just a placed two. Yeah. And on top of that, now with the anti-border sum circle, we can't have a three six pair on the left side of it. So we know we have three or six in row one, column three. Can't have. Oh, yeah. Okay, true. I'm waiting for Sudoku Pad to catch up, which yeah, so am I. We'll do eventually. It's doing absolutely nothing over here. Is it? Oh, it's my turn. Ha ha. Hmm. I have seized control. Andrew, I'll have you know that I didn't even finish my second monster. I've been so good. Okay, these two have a difference of three now. So that I also can't have be a five. Lot of coffee. That can't be one. Um. Oh, surely this. This has to be the small one or the big one, and this has to be the small one. Yeah. Okay. And it can't be seven. No. Yeah, it can't be seven because this is seven. So that's eight. Hey, we're cooking. Excellent. Oh, and that's a five now. So oh, that's a oh, five. Both that's fives. one. Yeah, perfect. Three, five. So that's two, now six. a six and then a two. Because we know that's These. a two because it's a total of seven. Yep. Not a two, four. four. And a five, and five. then do the bottom left corner. <laughs> Fuck the bottom left Beautiful. corner. Beautiful. That's my favorite corner. Okay. What the heck? Sequence lines. Oh, there's Ooh. a one in the corner. That's exactly what I deserve. 
Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Sequence line Sudoku by Awesome Sauce. So along each line, all pairs of adjacent digits have the same difference in the same direction. So we're going Ooh. like one, two, three, or like two, four, six, or one, three, five, or two, three, four, five, or whatever. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Let's like a sequence. It. Exactly. It's it's like a sequence. <laughs> I wonder why they call it sequence lines. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. No, I agree. Yeah, so this can't have a 1 because no matter what, like 1 would be too far away from the other digit. So that's going to be some combination of 4, 5, and 6. Now, what does that mean? It could be 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Or otherwise it has to count down. So like 6, 5, 4. Yeah. Interestingly, in both of those cases, this would be a 1. Or 6, 4, 2. Or five, four, three. But it always has a four yeah. on it. That is true, right? Yeah. So that can't be a four. And does it always regardless. have a five on it? Oh, this no, can't be not a necessarily. six. Oh, this can't be a five or a six. Um, row four, column three can't be five or six because we're counting down by too much. It best oh, would yeah. be like five, three, one, which just doesn't work. So that's got to be a one. Nice. And that's either one, two, three, or one, three, five. Either way, there's a three in one of those. Mm -hmm. So that's two, five, six. Okay. Well, geez. So that's not a one. So there's a one in one of those. Mm -hmm. So one of those is a one. Hmm. Only one hour and 38 minutes. Don't you start, Jubale. <laughs> Don't you do it. Row 5, column 6 can't be small, says Nalrog. Oh, that's a good shout. Because so 5 and 6 are missing. Because it? it would be... Oh, yeah, because 5 and 6 have to be up here. So this... No, it could be two, three, four, right? Oh yeah, shit. Never mind. And then two, and then one, and then that would be a five, six. Th that actually works perfectly. So it no, can totally be it. small. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Four, five, six. <laughs> so what do we have then? So this, Ooh, this that can't be digit. a two or a three. Or Where does four it go in the column? So that's one or six. Yeah. Yeah, it's one or six. Perfect. So either it's like one, two, three, which is broken because that breaks these cells. Yep. One, three, five, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Six, five, four, which is okay. Uh huh. Or six four two, which is okay. Um, so that's not a two. That's not a three. That's not as interesting as I really hoped. Oh well. Hmm. Oh, but oh, never mind. Uh, this can't be a 5 in this cell. That's something. It's tiny, but it's something. Because if it's 5, 3, 1, it breaks this cell. And Ooh. if it's 5, 4, 3, it also breaks this cell. That's cute. So that's not a 5. So it Ooh. could be... Uh, if this is six, even, four, that has two. to be even. So it's 6, 4, 2. Or 2, 3, 4. Oh, and that gives us a one. <laughs> so oh, one yeah. of those is a one, and it ain't there, because one can't be in the middle of a sequence. That's so there's funny. our one. Yeah. So this is either two, four, six, or it has a difference of one. Hmm. Either way, there's a four on here. So that's not a four. Oh, and this isn't a six, because you can't really put six in the middle of a sequence. Valid. 
So one of these is going to be a... Oh, we're so dense. One of these is a six now. Aye. So that makes it a one. So it's literally one, three, five. Thermometers moment. Oh, man. Where so do that the ones and sixes six. go? That can't be a three. Oh, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm real mad. <laughs> Stay I'm angry. mad. <laughs> <laughs> the most adorable anger. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, that Why four surely has to be seriously? five six, right? <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be four five six because it can't be six four two. So it goes like that. Um, two three. That's now a two. So that's a four and a three. Five and six. Three and two. Two and three. Three and five. Six and five. Nice. I had a little bit of speed solving left in me, apparently. Nice. Oh, look how close we are to being done with this chunk. Oh, that would be a nice ending point, wouldn't it? Oh, that it's really a codec puzzle! Oh, codec! Treasure hunt oh, clues. Man. Oh, man. A digit in a pink cell tells you how many of the eight surrounding cells contain digits that are higher than the digit in the pink cell itself. Somebody no. ping codec if he hasn't been pinged yet. I want codec in here, hanging out with us. But tell him not to donate. <laughs> Do I have codec in my friends? How do I well, not have Kodak in my friends list? Oh, Pal Palfly got Kodak. Nice. Palfly, I wasn't sure who the last person you got was. Palfly has pinged so many people today for me that they have started getting logged out of Discord for pinging too many people. Because they have pinged 112 setters. So these are definitely not five. Because I would say that there are five sixes around them. Right. Um, let me think through it. I have. I'm still reading the rules. So it tells you how many of the eight surrounding cells have digits that are higher than the pink cell. Yes, correct. And if they were so four, in fact, it could be four. Yeah, it could be four. No, actually, because if it were four, well, this one, it would need all of these. Oh. No, it could get so, one five yeah, in this be. box and then two in this row. Yeah. That's only three. Oh, good point. So that can't be a four. That this could guy four, could, though. though. Mm -hmm. It could get six, five, and then five, six up there. Mm -hmm. So now this is kind of interestingly restricted in the other direction. Because if it's oh, two, true. can we really only have two digits that are bigger than two? Well, we definitely have two left and right of it. Oh, well, listen, if it's two... All and then the rest of, of the box. Okay, so that's, yeah, so that's, that's just a three. three. And same logic for the other one, surely. It has to be a four. Yeah, perfect. It's got to be four. And so now means... we have that pretty restricted thing on fours, where yeah. this is a two-five pair. And then it's got to have we're... five and six in the we're row above it. We're going to get our other five and six here, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good old treasure hunt, Sudoku. Have you solved one of these before? I have not, but I've read the rule set and been like, oh, that's fun. Yeah, I think we gassed it once. Um, that's my only experience with it. <laughs> I think Actually, we gassed I, it once. I think Kodak set a hard one like shortly after we did it for gas that I think I must have solved. Oh, and That's nice. why it's rattling around in Kodak's head. So three. Oh, so this has got to be lower than three. This has got to be a two, because we already have a four and a five, and then whatever the hell this is. Oh, true. So this must be a two. And those two also have to be lower, so they five. can't be... Well, they don't have to be lower, they could be equal, so like those could be threes. But this has so to be the five, mind. six in the row. True. So that's a five, that's a six, that's a five. Beautiful. And then we have one, two there, and then everything is good. Good and hunky dory. Nice. And that's now five Hi. and six in that order. Nice. Go speed. Zoom. I am. Sp I am speed. <laughs> okay. That was a very cute puzzle. I liked that. Very nice. Boom. All right. While we're on the End final grid. End of a chunk. Yeah. Yeah, the minimal cluing in that was very cool, I agree. Oh, All it's rock. a Faluda puzzle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're doomed. No. 
Well, that's okay. We only have to bash our heads against it for half an hour, and then we can go home. <laughs> that is true. Unless they decide to fuck with us. We're true, dangerously true. close to the next hour. True. Okay, two orderings. Well, first of all, thermometers. I'm gonna oh, let you get started. I'm gonna oh, run upstairs disgusting. and get some water. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, what the actual loving. Thanks, Faluda. Thanks, Faluda. Oh, I love it, but I hate it. Along the thermometer starting from bulb and numerically or alphabetically. Oh, does that mean that the entire bulb or the entire thermometer has to be either numerical or alphabetical? Or just at any step it has to be one or the other? Whoa. Disgusting. How is this so minimally clued? Good question. Codex just a wizard, honestly. <laughs> That's how. Well, I guess and also two given digits. But it was a very pretty grid. Look at that. The two the two treasure hunt cells and then the oh, he's he's so good. Oh boy, this is gonna be pain. This is going to be pain. How do you even start this? Okay, I can see that these can't be the same. Oh, well, actually, this thermometer just can't be numerical, it has to be alphabetical. So we can go... Oh no, I need the letter tool. <laughs> oh no, not the letter tool. <laughs> How do I get to that? And Sven's, Sven's tools, as far as I know, they don't have a nice way to switch between. Do they? Uh, letters. Why can I not scroll up and down? Not Chrome help, what are you doing? Enable letter tool, there we go. And now how do I use the letter tool? Can I... Yeah, how do I get to... I think I'm just gonna have to do this every time I wanna switch between the two, that is disgusting. Oh, this is absolutely brutal. Have you read the Why rules? Is... I just read them. Why is Faluda like this? Okay, he's given us a nice start at least. Okay, fair enough. This thermometer can't increase numerically. Okay. Because it would go 3, that 4, makes sense. 5, yeah, 6. Yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I would break that cell. That makes sense. So this is... Wait, but is it... A, B, C, B, okay. C, D... Liberal. <laughs> Hear me out. Yeah. <laughs> So I have bad news. Are we sure it's the entire thermometer has to only increase alphabetically, or is it? I had the same step? question. I'm gonna assume so until proven <laughs> otherwise. I'm afraid it might literally be at each step. There's either an alphabetical increase or a numerical increase, so that we could literally end up with like repeated digits on thermometers. Well, we can't because they're all in the same boxes. Well, we can't. But... Well, I mean, in theory, we in could. In theory, yeah. 
You can make that puzzle. I think I won't. <laughs> Could you assign a color to each letter? Oh god. Yeah, and increase them um, cal calorically. <laughs> okay, now what? If this Renban Renban were alphabetical, Renban. it would ha <laughs> it would have to be C D E F. With a B A below it. Oh, and that doesn't work. Yeah, if this Renban were C D E F, that would be B and that would be A, but then this B would make that A. Mm -hmm. So this Renbon is numerical. That makes sense. And that means that um, row five, column five is one or two. Oh, it's one and six. Row five, column five is one, and row six, column five is six. Wait, row five, column five is one or two. Why? Because Listen, what are we excluding from the Renbon if it's numerically uh, a consecutive set? What are we excluding from it? Oh, okay, gotcha. Literally one and six. Nice. So, like, this has to be a one and that has to be a six. So, six is B, C, or D. I agree with that. You've got some sixes on your thermometer or on your. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have access to the letter tool over there? I did not put those ones and sixes there. I also and did no, not. I, I didn't either. Can you delete them? Because I don't see them, so I okay, can't gone. delete them. Okay. And I agree that one of these has to be a six which amazing pencil marks. Let's try that. Yeah, close enough. See, Mano, it does not mean we can just fill in the thermometer, because, assuming you mean the thermometer in column five, because it could increase um, alphabetically. I don't know why that's cut off or whatever. Okay, does it say anything about this thermometer? Did we? I don't remember de determining it's increasing numerically. Oh, this this Renbon now can't be numerical. Really? It definitely has a six and a one on it. Oh, that's hot. Okay. So that's got to be that literally has to be A B C D, and so yeah. those on the thermometer at the ends are E and F. Yep. Okay, this is actually very clever, and I'm enjoying it, genuinely. All right, have you got the letter tool? No. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> the letter tool is quite obnoxious, and I want corner marks. Oh, uh, let me try for you. C D. Ah, uh, it's all the way D. down here. <laughs> Fine. Okay. It's okay. Here. I got it. I no. I'm no. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I can't. I lost my menu. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my menu? This is guys? so scuffed. This has been scuffed for the last 14 hours. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I found the letter tool. Okay, you're gonna do numbers and I'm gonna do letters and we're gonna cooperate and we're gonna do Perfect. such a good job. We're gonna really impress everybody with our teamwork. Okay, E is from 345, F is from. So, yeah, two, this three, is four. E and F. You know what, I'm also going to try, since we're going to be switching off a lot, I'm going to try cloning this and uh, deleting most of the digits. Oh, and I can leave those in. And 
and just real quick go. Oh there. no, somebody donated. Oh no. <laughs> How oh much? no. Oh no. We're real close. We're real close to death right now. Who was it? Which one of you little fuckers was it? <laughs> I'm never gonna forgive you. <laughs> I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is the tracker? Oh my gosh, we're tw we've got 20 minutes. Which one of those little 81 motherfuckers? 81 cents? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? I want names. It was dogs making woofles. No, they did it. They did it, Glipperl. They did it. It no. was also Jim. No, actually. No, they did it. Dogs <laughs> making woofles pushed it over, and Jim gave 50. <laughs> I may as well request another puzzle. <laughs> it's fucking over. <laughs> and, woofles, and woofles just said another hour! <laughs> exclamation mark. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I, I guess we're solving a Faluda puzzle. <laughs> I guess we are, whether we want to or not. Oh, boy. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever wish you were, like, good at puzzles? <laughs> well, we've made progress so far. Hopefully it just continues to keep progressing. Progressing, that's the word. Oh, I don't want to finish my energy drink. I'm dying. <laughs> <sighs> we can't stop were... mid-puzzle, especially they... a Faluda. Yeah, they did it for our benefit, so that uh, so that we wouldn't stop halfway through the puzzle. We weren't gonna stop mid-puzzle. We were gonna get... <laughs> I don't know about you, I was gonna stop mid-puzzle. <laughs> we were gonna solve this one, like, right as the timer hit zero, and it was gonna be perfect, because we'd end on a chunk. That's really cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so this is either two, or it's... A, B, C, or D. Well, it's A, B, C, or D anyway. Never mind me. Okay. So what were you saying about the other... Oh, we already figured that out. Okay, the other Renbon having to be um, having to be alphabetical. Gotcha. Oh, but this Renbon also has a 1 and a 6 on it. It does, so it also has to be alphabetical. So it's not yeah. A, B, C, D... So it's got B, yeah, it's got C, D, and E on it. Yes. So this is not C. Mm -hmm. Do you do you have the letter tool? I do. Oh, I don't have undo apparently. Uh, oh, there you go. That's X. No, I. <laughs> how do I? Oh, that's Hold center on. marks. Oh, we're making progress. I, I literally don't know how to do this. How did you manage to get between center and big mode? I held down control, but nothing seems Ooh. to change me over to corner marks. So control I don't normally X doesn't do, like, change the whole it over? Thing. No. Sudoku pad and the Somebody who's uh, on Mac. Shift, I'm... apparently. It's shift. There we go. Okay, I'm... C's gone. Oh, very I nice. It. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I miss Penpa. I miss Penpa. Why didn't we just do this in Penpa? Because we thought people were going to use Markcell and then they didn't. Yep, not a single use of Markcell the entire time. Literally stream. not a single use of Markcell. <laughs> Sad. Okay, so there's definitely an A in one of these two cells. A is not one. Or so six. LSF, um, Mark Cell is a feature, an obscure Sudoku pad feature for streamers. 
where you can donate bits on Twitch to mark a particular cell in the grid to draw the streamer's attention to it. Very nearly 1,500. That's insane. How did this happen? That's wild, dude. People <laughs> really it? people want Sudoku Con. Apparently. I mean, that's why we that's why we keep doing it. And also, we're surviving an ordeal. Dimano, um, Glipperol did something really savvy and set it up so that it affects the specific sub puzzle that you're in. Mm-hmm. I which is very brain. cool. Yeah, he went to a lot of trouble to set this up. That to yep. have nobody use it. And now it literally just doesn't even. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Also, fifteen hundred even. Oh yeah, look at that pal fly with the thirteen eighty nine. Might as well make it a nice and even for tall cat. <laughs> Thank you, pal fly. I appreciate you. Yep, nice round even numbers in tall cats. Uh, just to send a little love to tall cat. I almost said in Tall Cat's memory, and then I was like, Tall Cat's not dead. <laughs> That's me, I'm the one who's dead. Yeah, hi, it's me, I'm dead. Uh, it's me, I'm dead. Okay, B or E has to be five. Wait, no, that's A or B, don't listen to me. But A, B, or E has to be five. So C and D are not five. Ah, uh, yeah, Pellfly is pointing oh, out I where worked. he goes, Pellfly. That this oh, I column forgot to... Four... Oh, Mark Cell, hell yeah. So column Oops. four and column six Ren Bonds both need C uh, and D because they're both the... alphabetical. Therefore, these two cells are C and D, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. So one is either C the or ether. D. Oh, there it's back. Yeah, so one is C or D. So that's a C, D pair. And this is an AB pair. Oh, why is that a CD pair? I missed it. Because the two Ren bonds that are alphabetical instead of being numerical, uh -huh. the two in column four and column six, uh -huh. those both have both a C and a D on them in order to be alphabetical. Ooh, right. Okay, smart. Yeah, that was Paul Play. That was not me. Big brain. Big brain Paul Play. So this now is either... Oh, so C and D is a 1-6 pair. Can you... You have the numbers, you have the number oh, yes. tool. You mark C and D as being a 1-6 pair under the grid. Perfect. So this is either 2, 3, 4, 5, or A, B, E, F. As reluctant as I am to admit it, I like this puzzle. This is cool. <laughs> it is cool. Yeah. And not as hard as I'd expect from Filuda. Oh, I'm sure it'll get harder. <laughs> so this can't be a two for what it's worth. Okay. It's amazing that all of this is just going to resolve with one more. That's Baffling, so dumb. yeah. So this Renban is good. Renban! Bon! Ah. This Renban is good. Oh, this Renban is also good. Yeah, all the Renbons are good. Except okay. for this little guy. Which now... Oh, it could be CB. Mm -hmm. It totally could. Well, it's either C, B, or 1, 2. Ooh, wait. This thermometer, if it's numerical, has to go 1, end with 6.
They're yelling yeah. about something in chat, and I'm incredibly confused, like, why they're telling us that we're forgetting something that we worked out. Oh, never mind, I think Dimano is wrong. <laughs> Wait, column 5 therm- like, why are they all yelling about how the thermos have to be consecutive? Thermos don't have to be consecutive, bro! Column I'm so confused. Five thermo. A, B, E, F isn't consecutive. Yeah, the column oh. five thermo is numerically. Oh, so yeah, it is literally two, three, four, five. So we actually have the digits. Now I understand. No, it could be. No, we do. It could be letter. Letter increasing. But. <sighs> That's true. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Okay, so why yeah, so why are they yelling at us about that? You're right. They just I made me doubt know. myself. But Glipperl, you're correct. Yeah, it could be numerically consecutive, but just increasing by letter order. That doesn't mean it has to be numerically increasing. A B E F. Hopefully that worked the way I think it did. Mm. Okay, yes, it did. Good. <clears throat> okay, so the point I was trying to make is that either this is A, B, E, F, or this is small letters, uh, C, D, E, F, but both are not possible. So, but could neither be possible if this were, if these were both numerically increasing two three four five and one. No, okay. Can't be. Yeah. So one of these has to be A B E F or C D E F, which means we definitely have roping yeah, in these there. Yeah. in these in this stack. Yeah. We do. Yeah, okay, nice. Nice. Dreaming Librarian took a break and we made another hour. <laughs> yeah, why weren't you here to stop them? <laughs> We've just blown past 1500. That's insane. Well, it turns out if we need to raise money for SudokuCon, just like offer them an opportunity to hurt us. Well, not just roping on letters, roping on digits, too, because the letters and digits are tied together. Yeah, let's see who else has been donating. We got 3791 from M Nasty 2 he says, nice even number. And then we have 491 from James Sinclair, who said, donating a random amount to make it a round number. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they countered each other. Yep. Someone else can correct that if they want. I, I think... Actually, two someone else should try to correct that. That'll be way funny. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. <laughs> That's great. That is great. Okay, so there's definitely roping. So we definitely have A B pairs, C D pairs, and E F pairs. Yeah. If this were two, three, four, five, that would make E F two and three specifically. Well that yeah, that means E F is at the bottom of one of the thermos. 
which means that E and F are pretty freaking low numbers. It would have to be F2 and E3. Or basically, E. so e, EF has to be at the bottom of one of those two thermos. And whichever of the two yes. thermos EF is at the bottom of can't is not be a letter one. Increasing, so it's Ooh. numerically increasing, which means that it's F or yeah, Oops. um, it's EF, and neither of them can be five. Oh no, I'm still in letter mode. Ah, hang on. Retreat. So neither of them can be five because five can't be the first or second position on a thermo. I agree. So that eliminates five from E. Mm-hmm. So either... And we can eliminate it in the grid, too. Aha! Uh -huh. So that is a 5, right there. Um, why can't 5... Oh, yes, it is. Very nice. So that is, in fact, a 5. Bravo! So then this could be... So then where does 6 four, go? 2 or 3... Oh. Oh, and... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that the roping also extended to... um. Well, I guess it kind of does. The roping is also numerical, just because every alphabetical digit is one-to-one -one with a numerical digit. Row four, column four, what about it? <laughs> hmm. I hope this was set off stream, Numano. Ooh, it has to be a 1 or a 6, because it's either 1 or C. True. Oh, okay. and that settles the roping. It does it? Oh, yeah, so that's Whoa. the CD, and then CD is up there. So CD is at the top of column 6. Yeah, okay, so C, D, E, e F. F. And then AB is in column 6 on the right side there. So A and B are in rows three and four. Can you do the letters? I don't have the tool up. I can. I absolutely can. And we can remove B and A. Whoop. Like that? Yeah. So now we know that the middle thermo has to be numerically increasing. So it is exactly two, three, four, five. Yes. And that means that E and F are two and three. And F has to be 2. I suddenly have a bunch of 2s that I did not have before. There we go. We're good. Yeah, so E and F are 2 and 3. F is 2. I agree. And then A I, and B are 4 and 5. I should put these in big. I should put them in small. Yeah, center marks for those, I think. Also, this, this cell needs to have E removed from it. Okay, I will do that. Perfect. And then these are going to be EF yeah. um, right here and right here. Mm -hmm. And I need A and B in some unknown order up here. Well, this is coming along really oh, nicely. Oh, this Ren bond now can't be numerical, so it has to be BC. Yeah, correct. So it is BC, so we're going to remove A and D from there. And Sudoku Pad's going to crash a little bit. Just give it a minute yep. to get over it. Because I clicked on a thing while you were clicking on a, a thing. BNC, yep. We can't, we can't do simul-clicking. Yep. It's very dangerous. Doesn't like that. Oh, and now this is a 4. Can you do some numbers? We have a 4 and a 3. I in can, five. Once, once it wakes back up. Any second now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so B is four, A is five. That's four and three. I guess we don't really need the letters for these guys, do we? For which guys? No, we don't. We don't need to keep track of those. Two, three. So 
So this that can't be a five because there's a five in the row already. Oh yep. And that can't be. And a then four. that also can't be a four, yeah. So this is from E, F, C, or D. And the tip is from C, D, or F. So really, they're all from C, D, E, F. Mm -hmm. We're back under an hour. Oh, and actually, this can't be an F. DC. Oh, we know C is one because of the little because of the little run bun. Ah, so we can do. We mark C is one in our little key. Yes. Can you mark this cell with letters? I'm pretty sure it's interesting. Yeah, so it's C F D. It's not F because F is, is in the row. Going to be F E D. Yeah, so that's not F, which means it's not two. So can you eliminate two there? Yep, can. Okay. And then this cannot be E because E is in the row. So I'm going to eliminate E. And then you can three. eliminate three. So if this were a thermo, this would be six. Oh, it's got to be numerical, because it can't be alphabetical anymore. Like, all of the alphabetical options are backwards. Ah, yeah, so this just is... That's just got to be a six. It's got to be a D and a six. Yeah. And so then that's two at the top of column four, because F is two, and then three. What a puzzle. This is actually pretty good. OK, so that's this is two very now. Cool. That's two. One and five. Three and four there. Oh, it's storming again. I just heard like some massive thunder even down here in the basement. <laughs> that's fun. That is fun. I completely missed like a really rainy day. Yeah, thank you guys for making us finish this puzzle. We only would have gone over by three minutes. So I'm not sure why you thought you needed to go to such extreme measures to get us to finish it. <laughs> but thank you. You're great. I appreciate you. Wait, how do we actually solve this? Um, the don't Ren know. The Ren bonds are all good. The thermos. Ah, the CD. This has to be one and that has to be Perfect. six. Beautiful. So that's now a five. Yeah. Yeah, we can get all of it from there. Or at least I sure hope we can. That five is going to do the four over here. Which is going to do something, I'm sure. The four, six, five value in row three, column two is now a four. Uh, this is just a three, six. Four, one, four, three, five. And we're done. We're done. Yeah, that's it. You want to just fill in, fill in the numbers just to make it look nice? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, yeah, and we'll need the numbers for the next grid. We will. Unless the next grid is like, start with the letters from the last grid. <laughs> Could right, you so imagine? I, I would I love would that. Scream. <laughs> that. I would love it, but I would also scream. <laughs> start with the letters from the last grid. Oh, and also it's a Kachoku. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, you cannot. <laughs> okay, five, one, four, six are our letters. So let's get a new chunk. Well, shit, we're we're still going, aren't we? We got fifty five. We are. Minutes. We have to. Yeah, we got oh fifty five minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> they they paid for that whole hour. They're gonna get the whole hour. Oh uh, yeah, they did. They only want they only wanted five minutes of it, but they're getting the whole hour. All right. Have you got the digits? I don't remember what they were. 
It's 5146. I am no longer capable of remembering anything. I just had to look at it again. <laughs> Why is it completely offset now? It's having a moment. <laughs> it's had a few moments. It has. Alright, it is 5146. That's down here, right? I'm still in the letter tool. Damn it, Sven. Oh, Sven, come on. I'm not even in the letter tool. What does it think it's doing? Okay, disable letter tool. There we go. No, delete. Five, one, four, six. Huh. I'm still on the old grid <laughs> for some reason. Oh, no. Oh, it's because it needs to be. Right. Yeah, this is the old this is the old grid. Aha. I have figured out what was going wrong. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> Thank you, Clover. Beautiful. Alright. Ah, this looks better. Oh man, this is stuff we haven't seen before. German so, whispers yeah, and palindromes. Oh, that seems so gentle. Who said this? Can we give them some love? It was Lizzie O one. Oh, Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. You're the best. We love you. Well, I've done all I can do. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. Oh, this out. can't be one or six, because there's one six in the column and this make a weird Oh, that's virtual fun. Yeah. thingy thing. So that's two or three. That's really cute, actually. That's pretty cute. Uh, hmm. Okay, so let's figure this out. There's definitely so, a two or three along yeah, here. Yeah, so there's two or three, so there's not a four there. In fact, there's not a four over here in general, so four isn't one of those cells. Ooh, four is... Ah! <laughs> Panic. Oh, what do you do? I didn't Panic. do anything. Uh, I'm still using the letter tool. <laughs> I saw C show up there for a moment. <laughs> give, me, give me a minute. <laughs> oh, that last grid had a one in it. Why? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I agree. Ah. Uh. Current status. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, so four is in one of these cells because four cannot be on this German whisper line at all. Yep. So that's kind of fun. So this is going to be one, five, or six right here. Uh, this center digit cannot be a three. Yep. How much more money you solve all the rest of the puzzles? <laughs> Yeah, it probably several thousand. <laughs> yeah. We'd have to fund SudokuCon for a few years. Yeah. We definitely started out the planning process for this stream, like, thinking how much money would it actually, like, how much support would SudokuCon have to actually get out of this for us to, like, endanger our mental health for it? <laughs> Elo SF, just maybe let them sleep. <laughs> No, oh, you precious soul. Sleep. Yeah. We know what we signed up for. We didn't quite expect the generosity of the community, but we we were aware it was a possibility. We were aware it was a possibility, and we continued we to be surprised. We talked about the possibility of it being up to twenty four hours. Yep. I don't think we wanted it to go to twenty four hours, but we talked about that as a possibility. Oh, Sarah says we're adorable when sleep deprived. Oh, it's mostly you. No. Maybe a little bit me. So these are the same. Yes. Um she says intelligently <laughs> about palindromes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, there's there's a four along here. So there's a four along That's here. That's true. So like none of so this guy isn't a four. That's yeah. the only limb that gives us actually. Yeah, true. <laughs> but it looked cool. Oh. Hopefully, wants to know when we are not adorable. The answer is never. We're never not adorable. Oh, there's some nonsense here. Hang on a second. Tell me. The, these are the same as these. So these are the same as these. Oh, so... shit. Coloring time. OK. Yeah, OK, coloring time. Color, coloring Fuck time. It. OK. Go for it. So these, these. Oh, and here we go. The green can't contain these. a two, three. No, no, no. It's all green. Make it all green. Where's green? Four. But these are also green and don't contain a two or three. That's brilliant, dude. That's amazing. Bruh. So those are not two or three. That is, that's so disgusting. <laughs> that is very disgusting. Lizzie. And that's just from the palindrome construction. Why would that, you do I, this to I, us? I literally never would have thought of that. That's absolutely <laughs> mental. Wow. Okay, okay now so I feel smarter. Three and three are up here. That was really cool. Oh, yeah, that's true. That makes that a six by German Whispers. Oh, very nice. So that's going to be a four now. That's going to be a one five. That will be a one five. That's not a one. Now that's we let two, Clover three. cruise. Yeah, Clover cruise in. Okay, those are equal. That's a six. That's a six. It's a two or a three. This is different from that. So this is the other two or three. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's five. five. Two, three, one, five, and one. Four and four and five. And five, one. That was really cute once we cracked it open. I kind of liked that one. Mm hmm. That was all right. Ooh, tell me this is just standard killer. I kind of want to go hard on a standard killer. This is just standard it killer. It is. It's literally just standard killer by me versus it. fiance. I think we're in the section of puzzles that were set to like join the head and the tail together. Oh, nice. Which is fun. Um, so this has got to be one, three, six, leaving over a four. Uh, that's a one to four pair. So there's got to be a four there because it can't be in the eight cage. So those are one, two, and five. That's not a one. So that is a three or a six. There's a one there. And that's a two or a five. What okay. is going on with the next grid? That looks nuts. It's almost as cute as the cats in the pillar. What's going on with the one after the next grid? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that one from you, that far uh, ahead yet. There are, there are some mice. There are some ducks. There's a snake. There's a lot going on. Um, <laughs> so three and five have to be down here in the 15 cage. So that's going to be six and two. So that'll be two. Okay, and that's going to be now two and five. And that has to be one or four to go with three or six. Ah, uh, that's going to be my one. And that's three, four, five. That's one, two, six with the six there. Four and three. Six, three, and two. Okay, so that Very was nice. a lovely killer. Now, what is going on with these cats, leaves, and like asparaguses? Oh, these are the ones by Memerster's cats. Wow, that is a lot of rules. This is um, this is Clark. This is Memerster's orange Aww. cat. Hi, Clark. We have. Oh, what a, he's such a good boy. Well, that's great. We had to get to the cat puzzles. We really did, actually. We had to. We had to go see Benny and Clark. They're very special boys. Yeah, we already got Dexter. Oh, it's true. And then we didn't quite get to. We didn't quite get to Lola. I think uh, Lola's oh. Malrog's dog, who is like oh. at the very end. Well, but that's we okay. We'll do it another end. time. Yeah. Yeah. 
We've been doing pretty good. Arrow loop. Draw a loop for Clark to count to travel along counterclockwise that starts and ends in his favorite spot indicated by the cat. Okay, can do. Um, Clark's loop must visit all of the mint and lettuce. <laughs> Uh, as he goes, Clark sniffs his surroundings so that his loop doesn't intersect, cross, or touch itself orthogonally, but it may occasionally touch itself diagonally. Okay. When he first enters a row or column containing lettuce, he must travel directly to the cell containing lettuce and nom nom on it. The only lettuce in the grid is in row two, column three. When leaving a mint cell, Clark rolls on his back and therefore must travel along a diagonal in any direction. In all their cases, his loop travels orthogonally. Okay. So as soon as he enters a lettuce row or column, he has to go straight to the lettuce. There's only one lettuce. I'm already seeing like <laughs> three different ways this puzzle is just broken. <laughs> okay, tell me some of them. Okay, well, he leaves the mint cell diagonally. Uh huh. So, but this corner has to be. Oh, counterclockwise. Uh huh. Okay, so he leaves this diagonally. Uh huh. And now he has to go straight to the lettuce. Now he has to go straight there to the go. lettuce. <laughs> and he has to nom nom on it. Okay, now I understand. Because my second question was how does he go straight to the lettuce from here? Yeah. But the, the, all of your problems are solved now, I Yes, assume. yes. Okay, I'm okay. so glad. And he can't touch himself orthogonally, right? Yeah, but he can touch himself diagonally. So he has and to go down there. Consists entirely oh, no, but he could arrows. come from mint, never mind. His path consists entirely of arrows, where we go from a circle, and then we do the digits along the arrow. And his favorite spot is the first arrow circle. It is not included on the last arrow at all. So the whole loop is just a series of arrows that are like circle, arrow, 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 circle, arrow, arrow, circle, arrow, et cetera, et cetera. And it just kind of glues around to the end. And the first circle is on the mint or on the cat? The first, the first circle is on the cat. Okay. And then it continues and it's like two or three long. It can't be one long there because it would be in the same region. Okay, and it can't be three long because... This can't be one, two, or three. Good point. So that's too long. So this is the next so that's head. that's a circle. Very nice. This is an adorable puzzle. <laughs> it is. Oh, someone brought us to a round number. Also, wait. Now it's already broken again. Because this is at least four, and this is at least three. Chat is advising each other to... Uh, risk their financial well-being for Sudoku Khan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Mr. Good Don. Good job, chat. With just the comment, attempt to round off. Thank you, Mr. Don. I appreciate you very much. Okay, row two, column four, not one or two. It is. Shouldn't it be? So these are going to be four and five. Wait, I don't understand how this is... What's wrong? Oh, no, I'm just dumb, aren't I? I don't know why I thought this no. had to be at least four. <laughs> You're one of the smartest people I know. You're just also <laughs> clinically insane at this point. <laughs> yes, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, I hope you'll accept that. Yes. Okay, Carry so on. we can't go left out of the lettuce because that would have an arrow with oh, a six on an arrow cell. Good point. Why can't we go up? We can't go Ooh. up. We can't go up because the loop doesn't cross. And that would just take us too long to escape. Well, we could go 5, 4, oh, 1. Oh, but we then we'd could. go into a 2. And that's no that's good. That's true. And we can't go diagonal unless we go from mint. Right. And we can't, so we can't touch ourselves orthogonally. So we can't go up. We can't go diagonal. So we've got to go down. Okay. So then that cell is lower than 4. So it's 1, 2, or 3. So we can't Basically, enter not a six. the rest of this box at all. At all, yeah. Do we have to eat all of the mint? I don't yes. remember this in the rules. Doesn't he? No. Clark, Clark's loop must visit all the mint and lettuce. Where does it say that? The first oh, line. Oh, right there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you asked. I, 
Yeah, that doesn't mean you had to answer. <laughs> Alright, so we need to visit all the mints. So, uh, the mints to our immediate left. Yes, that I guess looks we don't suspicious. Technically need, we don't technically need to visit it right now, though. We have to leave it diagonally. Which I mm -hmm. think means we can't leave this way, because it'll be orthogonally touching that cell. That is true. So we have to leave it this way. And then leave that this way. Mm -hmm. And we have to enter this mint without orthogonally touching ourselves, so it has to come from there. So it goes like that, yeah. So that means that this circle, the circle that's on the lettuce, is attached to an arrow that's exactly too long, so we can place our next circle. Our next circle is on some mint. Nice. Which is interesting, because that means our next circle has to be a six. Ooh, it does. And then this five has to go there, surely. Yeah, because it's got to become a one. Oh, no, no, no. Could it oh, go left? But that's broken. No, because then it's it, touching it orthogonally. Oh. But this is also broken, because whichever mint it goes to, the other one's going to be touching orthogonally later. Ooh. This puzzle's Weird. fucked up, man. <laughs> man, Meme Rister, what is wrong with your cat? Right? <laughs> Too high on mint and lettuce, apparently. Apparently. Maybe maybe we just aren't respecting the subtleties of distinctions between mint and lettuce. Oh, somebody's pointing out that it could be a five on the circle. It could just be a one. Ah, one. so it and has to be a five say. on the circle. It does, it because does, Because this, yeah. it can't go there, because that's going to be orthogonal yeah, problems. We, yeah. So it has to go there. Because we have to go to a non-one cell next. There, oh, man, there. I forgot that that existed. Bam. There we go, so that's a five. That's a circle. Wow. Brutal. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> very evil cats. Very Oh, they're good boys, though. Benny and Clark are very good boys. Oh. They are S-tier cats, and I don't say that lightly. That's I'm true, a Benny. a very strict judge of cats. There's no way Clark would set something this evil. Someone must be maybe impersonating was, him. Maybe it was Benny impersonating Clark. <laughs> Trying to make him And look then the bad. other one's Clark impersonating Benny. Oh, no. My okay, cat set this, a banger. That can't be a single cell. Your cat did set a banger. And and you met my cat. I did. He, I mean, he doesn't have a brain in his tiny head. It's really <laughs> remarkable that he was able to set a puzzle like that. Okay, where does this line come from? Can't come from because he's there. He's a very thoughtful little man. Yeah, probably. He just spends all his time thinking about puzzles instead of mm -hmm. literally anything else. So that line has to have come from the mint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and the only way for it to work. This mint surely has to exit to there, because, like, yeah. how is it going to exit that way? Because otherwise, how would it exit? Yeah. Yeah, it would have to be like that, mm -hmm. which is definitely not true. This is actually, like, a really aesthetically satisfying loop. Oh, and this has to exit diagonally, too, and it can't go there. That's going to make orthogonal mm -hmm. connections, so it has to go there. So it goes there. So therefore, that is a circle on the six. Okay. Oh, it could be three longbow. Totally could. In fact, doesn't it have to be? No, it doesn't. Those two could be mm, the could same. Be two, four, yeah. They could. Okay. One of these two has a one. No, actually, yeah, one of them has a one, so. Why not four, two, two? Why can't whoop be 422? Yeah, I'm not sure we've ruled that out, so... What do you mean, why not? <laughs> I assume they mean the arrow at the bottom. Like, why doesn't it have twos on both mints? Which is fine. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did you rule that out and I just wasn't noticing? Yeah, I don't think we can rule that one out. 
Oops, that's a mistake on my part then. It's all good. Clover, do something smart. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think about where sixes might go in column six. I'm really trying to get my brain to function. Ooh, okay. But, oh, duh. So by Sudoku, we can place a five here. Is that smart <laughs> nice. for you? Is that good? Yeah. Is that smart? I'll take okay, it. Just making sure. Okay, cool. I'm glad you accept that. Okay. So now it's also one, two, three, or four. So that's one or four. Okay. So this could either just be those two, in which case that's a two and four. Or it could be these three. These got oh, check this out. It can't okay. be link three. Because if it's link three, here's what happens if we kind of write yeah. that out a little bit. That would make this a four six pair. Right. And then what would we put here? Four. Oh, that's true. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Yeah, it would just yeah. be four four. Ugh. Um, I mean, either way, that's one, two, three, or four, I guess. Yeah. Uh, nah. uh, I hate it. These darn cats. Mm -hmm. They're ridiculous. Is there some nonsense, like the lettuce has to be odd? No, I checked. I, know, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it. <laughs> What a weird yeah. rule set. <laughs> this got real it's... like setter's first puzzle energy. Well, do you think that Memorister's cat has set a lot of puzzles? That's before? fair, that's fair. <laughs> I don't think that's surprising at all. <laughs> oh, this can't be a six. <laughs> Can this be a six? Oh, this... If this is a bulb, oh. that's also quite restricted. Yeah, the one I have highlighted? Yeah. I'm wondering where six can go in the column. So right now it's in one of these two locations. Can it even go here? No. Because if that's a six, this is a two and four. So and then this, this can't cell be a is two broken. And four, can't be a five and five. That's true. Yeah, so that can't be a six. So six goes right here. So that's a four or five, and that is a one or two. Wait, six goes and where? And so this is now a three. Six goes top right corner. Why can't it go the cell below it? Uh, oh, right, because that would be a four, four. Be arrow cell. Right. It, it has to be a non-bulb arrow cell. Okay, yeah, that's an easier way of looking and at it. And therefore we'd have to have a second six yeah. in a position where we can't put a second six. Yeah, okay, at, no. at Yeah, cool. That's not three. Okay. Oh, that's so a that's one, two pair in the column. Five. So that's... Oh, hell yeah. Four, six. And that's not a four, therefore. Oh, no, that's not a four, so it's hey. not a link three, six. So it turns out I was being smart after all. Bam. And so that six at the bottom right is a two, four. Yes. Oh, that's such a relief. And so now that's one and three. Beautiful. This has to Man. be three, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, because it has to be more than one cell. Perfect. That's exactly what we got. And a six is four plus two up at the top right. Nice. And then that's, yeah, four is one and three. Parody. Also, there's a two four pair in the row. Also, there's a two four pair in the row. <laughs> and three plus one is. I think it's four. Yeah, fair. <laughs> Just gonna take a wild guess on that one. Dang, Glipper doing some speed solving. You love to Zoom. see it. Oh, so I'm speedy. So speedy. <laughs> so speedy. Hey. All right, now let's so see if now... Benny is just as diabolical. Yeah, Clark was pretty fiendish. 
at least so the rule set is a lot shorter it is so this is called string is the best part by benny aka memorister's other beautiful cat and the rule is string toys these are benny's string toys for all the toys the digit in the toy cell is the number of digits on the attached string that are higher than the digit in the toy cell Ooh, it's almost like treasure hunt but with lines it is but with lines that's really neat Okay, so this has to be one, two, or three. It can't be a three, because if it was a three, this couldn't be higher. It surely couldn't be a one, because then there's at least two that are higher. Ah, uh, that's correct. So it must be a two. Beautiful. And it has to be those two that are higher, so no one and no twos. Okay. Okay. So three, four, five, six. Well, this definitely so can't, be a, can't be a six. Yeah. Or a five, I don't really, think right? It can't be a five, that's for sure, because we would need so many sixes. So there's one that's bigger. We definitely have... We definitely have one here that's bigger. I think we only know two of the ones that are bigger, for sure. So the purple worm, I think, has to be a four. Oh, but we do know this can't be a one, do we? I think we don't need to go so deep into the weeds, actually. Okay, I think sorry. the purple worm has to be a four. Oh, yeah, because five would... Yeah. And one is too low, five is too high. And that's pretty restricted, because it means we need five and six in the row. So in row four, the five and six are right next to it. There you go. Oh, yeah, because these three are... Yeah, yeah I see. Those are all in the same region. And then this can't be a five or a six. That can't so be five or six, so it's those two. Yeah. Yeah. See, Benny set us a nice gentle puzzle. You were expecting something she monstrous did. like Clark set for us, but Benny made a nice puzzle. Benny's Thank you, great. Benny. Benny, you're my preferred meme cat. Benny's my new favorite. Oh, and Meme Rister is in chat again. Hey. <laughs> Tell Benny that we love him. He's a really good boy. Benny deserves he all the pets. He set a beautiful pets. puzzle. Yeah, g give Benny some squishes if he likes squishes, and if not, then ignore him if he likes being ignored like my cats. <laughs> They're all about that. Okay. Uh, so that can't be four on the snake, because then we would need to have... We can only get one five or six. We can't get any fives or sixes in region five. Oh, so we true. can only really have two fives or sixes there. So that's going to be a three. Get one there, hmm. two there. Actually, we can only get. Could we get three here? Yeah, yeah, we could. Never mind. Okay. Ah, okay. Now this guy in this box we have a one on this line. So I think we can mm -hmm. only get one that's higher than a three, two, and then a four in here for the third. Good point. So there does have to be a four in there. And then Very I definitely nice. need this can't be one, two, three, so that's a three. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is a cool puzzle. <laughs> this is a cool puzzle. Good I'm job, really Benny. enjoying this. Yeah. So we can place three in row five now. Uh, row five. Yep. Clark is annoying, we missed his. Aww. Clark's puzzle was kind of kind of monstrous. Yep. <laughs> I concur. Yeah, may, let Clark watch the VOD. <laughs> 
Or maybe don't. Maybe just... Clark would just be disappointed by... <laughs> yeah, by us not uh, celebrating his puzzle enough. I liked his puzzle. It was cute. I, I had... thought it was a very aesthetically pleasing loop. I had mixed feelings about his puzzle. I really didn't, actually. Yeah. They were mostly negative. <laughs> 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 okay, I guess it's okay to shit talk him because he's a cat. Uh, column four, we can simplify a bit. Oh, yeah. Make it one and six. Yeah. And then we've got our two. Oh, so now um, row six, column three has to be greater than three. Because one, two, three. Yep. And that should resolve everything, because that five we just placed gets the bottom left corner. Yep, yep, it does. Hey. Heck yeah. Good puzzle. Oh man, we're down to 24 minutes to go. Maybe this time for real. <laughs> mm, heck yeah. You never know. They could, they, there could be like multiple wealthy people just waiting. You never know. White Space by Fuchsia. By Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Fuchsia's cool. She definitely stole that name from White Room. <laughs> and that's awesome. Arrow sums. A digit in a cell with arrows is the sum of all adjacent cells in the directions of the arrows. The D in the bottom left is for the next puzzle. Oh, somebody did the thing oh. that I did. <laughs> tusk, tusk. Who was it? Who do we have to blame? Sayori. Sayori. Sayori How dare you? Encroached on the next puzzle. Uh, do you want to drive for a bit? I can drive, yeah. This seems like a very cruisable so... puzzle. Yeah, so that's one, three, four, or six, so that can't be a one. Um this also can't be a one, so that's four or five or six. That's gonna be one, two, or three. One, four, or five. Someone what? said yeah, I would recommend just doing Sayoris for next stream. Oh no. Sayori is also definitely known for setting just like really monstrous puzzles. Well, we've yeah, got, I don't think we're going to be getting through Sayori's. We've got 20 minutes to play around and then go to bed. <laughs> yeah, that sounds really nice. I am so excited about going to bed. I have been more excited than, than this before about going to bed, but not by much. And of course, I'm probably going to wake up at like 2 a.m., Honestly, this hasn't been half as bad as I expected it to, though. That's not I am be a six surprisingly or awake for being up almost yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, it, I mean, this is like kind of stimulating. I wouldn't want to do it regularly, but I've had an easier time like staying awake and conscious and like able to speed solve than I expected to, so that's been kind of nice. So that's definitely going to be a two with either a three or a four. And then that definitely has a one. There's kind of this, this funky structure here. Hmm, so that's not a two. One of those is gonna be a two. Where are the deep pocketed donors when we need them? <laughs> it is incredible that the last hour cost almost like what four hundred dollars <laughs> and they did it anyway yeah. yeah that's insane guys our 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 best estimate was that we were going to raise a total of about 500 bucks and we were going to be super excited about that genuinely right like that would have made a really significant dent in like our tech rental situation shit how are we doing on the tech rental we might have just Gotten... I think we are good on rental and we can start talking about purchase. I think we've gotten the rental and we've gotten yeah. all the auxiliary equipment as well. Yeah. Like, we're just covered. <laughs> yeah, we can go over it in the meeting on... Well, actually, Thursday... Uh... Ooh, we gotta figure out what we're doing for a meeting on Thursday. Ooh, true. Because I get in the afternoon before, I think, like early afternoon. And we definitely want to get out early on that day. Yeah. So we might just miss that meeting, but we'll see. Or we could tune in on our phone in the car, <laughs> something like that. 
That doesn't sound very fun on vacation. Fair. Maybe just <laughs> okay, but if, if you feel if you feel like we should, we can do it. If you want to be responsible, I'll be responsible with you. But I also would be happy to skip it. After all, we did do twenty hours of Sudoku Con work yep. this week. Yep. <laughs> so we get some credit for that. I probably did more than twenty hours. I mean, yeah, so did I. Uh, you you did more than I did, but yeah, there was a lot of prep work that went into Especially this. Especially if you count the stream itself. <laughs> does this count as work, or does this count itself. as it's play? I mean, it's both. It's joyful work. Yeah. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy doing it, but also it's hard. That's fair. You know, like I, it's it's tougher to have to do things like this and like talk through them and make sense and also like wear clothes. Yeah, they can suffer through the meeting without us. Yeah. Although I say that, but really, what's going to happen is they're going to be like, "Is anyone here? Nope. All right, meeting adjourned until next week." <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh... That's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, so puzzle, 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 puzzle. puzzle. Yes. Um, I'm actually like weirdly struggling with this. I think it's not as cruisable as it looked like it was. Help me. Oh, oh no. Um, mm -hmm. I have not been paying attention. It's literally just like this is the sum of these. Yeah. That kind of thing. So it's a diabolical placed, arrow puzzle, is what you're saying. I've placed one digit. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm -hmm. One stepper. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't think we're going to be getting to Sayori's. Yeah, maybe not. Oh yeah, Dimano actually went and dug it out of the um out of the Discord server. So I was right, we were just about at the total for renting. So our renting subtotal was 1600. Someone says row six column one is not two. Uh, oh, because oh, there's, there's a two in the region. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Well, okay then, that would do it. You're right. Uh, does this mean we have to have a one in one of these cells? I'm afraid it does. Oh, Because if this does. is a three, it's that's gonna be a cute. one with a four, so that's not a one. So there's a one in one of those and a one in one of those. Yeah. That's cute, yeah. I'm not sure how meaningful it is, but it's cute. And today's award for most useless deduction goes to... Not me. There have been way worse <laughs> ones. <laughs> That's fair. Probably eliminating the two from row six column one. <laughs> okay. One of those is going to be a two. Oh, row I just don't know. Row 5, column 1 is not 6, because it would cause impossible roping. I'm sorry, what? I don't know, that's <laughs> what Demano said. Uh -huh. If that's 6, that's 1. That's 1. That's a 4 or 5, that could go fine. there. That would it be seems like it causes four. roping, but not impossible roping. Um, 6 and 1. Oh, is it vertical roping? Two yeah. and three, four and five. No, that also seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. Six, one, five. So who's saying it makes the sum five, one plus one? Two, no, it four, seems five, fine to me. We're five, column two. There's not an oh. Oh, okay. So yeah. So if this was six, this would be one, which makes that one, which makes that two. Wait, why does it make that one? Because this would have to be six, because it's rope. Oh, okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah, so that can't be a six, so one of those is a six, so that's not a six, so this is a two-six sure. pair. Sure. And that's a one-three pair. Okay. That's not a three, so one of those is going to be a three. Okay. So this can't be a three. That's kind of cute. Because that would eliminate three from both of those cells. Ha, huh, that is cute. That is kind of cute, yeah. Hmm. 
What about positions where we're able to place sixes? Aren't those Ooh. getting a little tight at this point? Hang on. We can place sixes here? What do you see? This being a three does nonsense. Like what? Oh, no, it just barely works if that's a three. I was going down a wild chain that ended up with this being a three, and then the only place for three in the column being here, and then this being a four with a one-two pair. Oof. But I don't think it works. Mm. So I was considering like where we can put sixes. Apparently there's a skyscraper on ones in row four and row six. Oh, let's have a look. So, oh, that's not promising because it could totally be a one. Yeah. The, literally any of these cells in those <laughs> rows could be ones. <laughs> oh, but there is because we know that there's got to be in one and one of those two cells because of what I worked out earlier with this cell. Oh, and, and the then there's got to be four one makes here because it... the three or four. Yeah. Interesting. Now, uh, that just tells us that there's a one in yeah, one of I mean, these thing two is, cells. That's not a. That's not really a skyscraper. Like it doesn't have eliminations. Well, I guess it eliminates ones from all of those cells. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, goodbye ones. <laughs> oh, the five pencil marks. You'll love to see it. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> mm. What is this? This is big, right? I can't be one. Or two. It can't be two. It's three, four, five, or six. You put three, four, five, and six in a lot of cells just then. I not on my screen. I didn't. Okay, let me. Oh, it it's fixed. Okay, never mind. I'll just stop t stop touching things. <laughs> I mean, it kind of sounds like I'm the one who needs to stop touching things. Actually. Oh heck! Somebody took us up to the sixteen hundred estimate for covering our tech rental. So now. Oh, was yeah. dream librarian. Thank you, Dream Librarian. So nice. yeah, now we are like a hundred percent that even if we don't raise another penny towards tech stuff. Like, we can do our rental from the company we were looking at, and we can have what we need. That's true. To make the con stuff happen, and have our have our printing, and, and our projector, and our streaming, and everything. Like, that's really cool. That is very reassuring. Yeah, we were not expecting to cover that with this stream. Like, we were expecting yeah, that to right. very much go into November. So that really gives us like a lot of uh, a lot of freedom. That's so exciting. You guys are great. Thank you so much. You're so cool. We have the best chat. We How many do. times have I said that? A lot. <laughs> it's this, true. This community though. is so cool. They're so cool. Like, I'm so glad that this community adopted me. <laughs> They're just the best. Oh, I got a one three four triple in row five. Oh, nice. Uh, so that's now a five six pair. Oh, so that can't be ah, a three. Ah, very good. <laughs> get a load of that. That's so Let's cool. Let's go. Ah, that's so cool. So that's a one three pair. Good job. Well, it's not just a one three pair. It's a that. resolved one three. It is. I don't know how I saw that, but somewhere deep in there, something is still functional. I'm it's impressed. very deep though. That's good, because this would be a messy grid to leave it's it on, to. It's 2-4. Yeah, it would have been a, a little sad to leave a mess like that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> just a random it wouldn't, pencil It wouldn't have been right, over. yeah. Yeah. I feel like you would have felt compelled to fix it. <laughs> I would have. I mean, I'll you feel... Kind of would have. I'll feel compelled to solve the next puzzle too, but not quite as much. And this is going to be a five, three, five, and three. Lovely. And we're, there's no way we're starting the Sayori puzzle at this point. That's where we're ending. We've got ten minutes to chill oh with Oh god, that. what is it? Doublers? Thermometers? We can read the rules. Arrows. 
Oh, one of the doublers is given. Do you know off the top of your head how much of a cut PayPal takes? Somebody just asked in chat. Uh, I want to say it takes like some some percentage and then also 49 cents additionally. Yeah, it's annoying but not devastating. Yeah, it's something what like what Elo SF said. I think it's 3%, because all the credit card companies also charge 3%. Mm. Thermo arrow ambiguity. I feel like we could start this one at least, and then just stop when it's okay. the Fine. end. Fine, then you start it. All you right, start, you it. start it, but I am leaving when the timer ends. I genuinely am, and if you're gonna feel bad about that, then I want you to just like be prepared. Sounds good. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you like make puppy dog eyes at me and convince me to stay. Oh, if this regardless of this is a thermo or an arrow. Oh no, that could be a doubler, never mind. I was gonna say this couldn't be a four, which would have been really cute. Okay, if it's an arrow, it's 4, 2, and then either a 1 or a 2. Well, it would have to be a doubled 1. Oh, and it can't be a doubled 1. So it's not an arrow. So it is a thermo. Watch Glipper will actually just solve this. <laughs> so this has to be at true, least... True confession, I have not read the rules. This has to be at least 5. It's just doublers and then arrow thermo ambiguity. Okay. What's the big D? It's a doubler. I see. So that has to be a doubler. Um, yeah, that just is a thermo, and that's just working. Unless that's a six and that's a three. That's the only way it could break. This could be an arrow. If it is, it would have to be... Well, actually, it could be a lot of things if it's an arrow. It could be a doubler. Row 5, column 4, can't be 6. Boy, that's a random cell to pick at. <laughs> I'm going to look at this arrow, and I'll come back to that in a sec. Yeah, a lot of ways to make this an arrow. If it's a thermo, it would have to go 2, 3, 4, and that doesn't work, so it is an arrow. So that's not a 2. 4 would be 1, 3. 5 has a 1 or 2 there. 6 definitely has 2 and 4. So either way, there's a 1 or a 2 down here, but not both 1 and 2. So that's a 1 or a 2. Um, this guy, if it's a thermo, it goes 4, 5, 6. Ooh, is it interesting if this is a 6? Because it makes that a 4. And then that would be 2, 3, and 5. Maybe not. Uh, this could be an arrow in a lot of ways. I think this is the part where it gets hard, isn't it? <laughs> hey man, you're the one who wants to start it. Yep. Well, I'm not going to finish it, probably. 
I just wanted to start it. I'm just I was just curious because I could see <laughs> I could color a cell. Thermo arrow starting in row two, column four. Be a four arrow with a two and a doubler one on it. No, it can't be a doubler one because we already have a doubler one. We were literally given a doubler one. <laughs> row four, column five, and column six. That's fair. So this. Regardless of whether this is a therm or an arrow, it has to go up here, so that's a 5 or a 6. You can place 2 in box 4? Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. These can't be 2. And that can't be 2. That is weird. Oh, so this now can't be 6, because it would have to be 2, 4, so that's just a 5. Five comes out of those two. These have to sum to five, so they're one four, so that's a doubled three. So this now can't be a six, so that's a four. Okay, sudden progress. This five, this can't be a thermo. Well, it could with a doubled five. In fact, one of these is a doubled five. And this can't be a doubled five unless that is a doubled six, which is still possible. Um, or this is a 2-3, that's a doubled 5 and that's a doubled 6, or 6 doubled 5, and then this would be a 3. Ah, this can't be a 3, because it can't be doubled, so this would have to be an arrow, it would have to be 5-3, making that a 2 or a doubled 1, so that's 5, that's 3. This therefore does have to be a doubled 5, because otherwise this would be god knows what. Ah, four minutes left, come on. So this has to be a doubled 6. And we've got Bro. two doublers left to place, and it's 2 and 4. He's, he's going to go and solve it. I'm trying. <laughs> that 5 arrow, that has to be a 2 and a 6. That arrow is good. This thermometer is good. Uh, it's two, two and six. Careful. Typo. Oops. Thanks. That arrow is good. That arrow is good. This thermometer... Ah, that has to be a two. Probably had that uh, a while so that's ago. Not the doubler f that's not the doubler four up there. So the doubler four is down at the bottom. Ah, very nice. So that resolves your one four arrow that your mm -hmm. five is on. Two, four, five. We've got a doublered four and a doublered two. Wait. Yeah. That's not a two, three. What is it's this? It's not a two, three. It's a three, five. It's three, five. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. So now you have uh, three is in um, three and column three is placed. Yep. Six makes that a one. Nice. And this arrow, it could be, it can't be an arrow because it would have to be a doubled four, so it has to be a thermometer, so that's one. Ah, uh, we're running out of time. Clover, help. <laughs> I. Um, so that is a one, so that can be. Uh, oh, this is the doublers. Anything. Oh, okay, the double is there. Yeah, beautiful. And so that has to be the doubled four. Five, Shall two, I do the Sudoku? Five. Oh, you've got it. You've got it, dude. You've got it. Do the Sudoku. You've got it. Hey! <laughs> two minutes to spare. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Dude. Oh. I genuinely, genuinely thought that we were not going to finish. Well, what a clutch. We were not going to finish that. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I'm not even going to look at the oh, next man. puzzle. I don't want to know. You are a fucking legend, dude. That was so cool. <laughs> that was incredible. Oh man, what a stream. Oh, uh, okay. So how how many puzzles did we do? What's our count? Oh dear. And God. what's our what total is our count? time? So our time is nineteen hours, so it's nineteen hours <sighs> and hundred and eighteen puzzles. Nineteen hours and hundred and eighteen puzzles. 
Okay, so 19 times 60 over 118. It took us, on average, um, 9 minutes 40 seconds per puzzle. Wow. Wow. And that's that's including breaks and everything. And look at that, the remaining time just hit zero. How many of you guys have ever solved 118 puzzles in a day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not me. I mean, maybe, like, absolutely grinding, like, difficulty two puzzling. Oh, that's fair, maybe. But not freaking, like, very, like handmade variant Sudoku. There's right? No way. That's oh insane. my god, dude, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are so amazing. Thank you oh. so much. You're amazing. Wow. We uh, more than tripled how much we thought we were going to make in the stream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, had, we did. I had so much fun. I learned so much. You guys are so cool. It was so wow. cool to like <laughs> revisit the work of so many people who I've known for such a long time. Right? It's cool to see how many different names popped up in this Katerdoku pillar, especially ones that Seriously. we haven't like seen setting in a while. Yeah, like freaking like No Feet McGee showed up out of nowhere, and I was like, I talked to that guy like five years ago about Thermo Sudoku. He dragged Fistimafell out here, and Kodak, oh and God. Shy, and <laughs> all the heavy hitters. This is, this is such a cool project. It was so cool to get to be a little part of it. Right? Yeah, kudos to, to Meme Rister. Yeah, you guys are you guys are amazing, chat. Thank you so much, especially the folks who I saw here literally the entire time. That's insane. <laughs> Paul, Paul Flood, I think, showed up like three hours after we started and has been here ever since. <laughs> and offering um, useful hints the entire time. So. Yeah, and and pinging setters until literally Discord started kicking them out for right? pinging too many people. Yeah, there are a bunch of names who I have seen like throughout the day and night here. We I don't think we ever dropped below maybe like 25 or 30 viewers even literally in the depths of night. That's nuts. That was really cool. That was you guys really are amazing. Fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's end the stream. Yep. Um We've officially hit time and the donations have, we have not hit time. pushed We've us hit over. A beautiful round number. You guys are yep. so cruel to us, but <laughs> you also pushed us to get a ridiculous amount of fundraising done, so that's amazing. That's okay, we asked for a little cruelty. That's true. I mean, people people love to watch us suffer, apparently. We gotta remember yeah. that for the future. That apparently is motivating. Alright, my friends. <sighs> good night, good morning, good afternoon, 